Hello, hi Kevin Mac. Uh, yeah, no worries at all. I hope you're doing good. Uh, I also still need to undecorate from Christmas, so that's really nice of you to help your grandma. And um, yeah, congrats on being first. Um, I'm trying to think what else there is to say. I'm really gross and hot and sweaty because I started a little late. I was like running up here trying to get all set up again. Um, and I had moved my switch downstairs like for the holidays so that we could have it set up to our TV. Um, so I was like hustling to get it like, I don't know. I don't know why I always do this. I never prepare the day before. I'm, <laughs> I'm always convinced I could do it the day of and still be on time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been doing pretty good. Um, starting to get ready for school, which starts up next week. Um, I don't know what our schedule is going to be. I feel that's so hard. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know why. I'm always like, no, 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 no. It'll be okay. I'll do it tomorrow. And then I'm just always rushing. Um, I, it's great that I have the confidence thinking I can do it, but <laughs> maybe if I could do it a little better. Um, school starts, oh, two weeks for you. Okay. Uh, full-time classes. Ah, okay. And you said you're not working anymore, right? Like, Oh my god, hey Nicole, how are you doing? Yeah, the rainbow lay. I know, I'm really happy with it. Um, Nicole may have like, you know, uh, been one of the people who gifted it to me, so thank you again for that. Uh, yeah, I really, really am happy with it. I think it looks really nice. Um, I hope you're doing good, Nicole. Thanks for stopping by. Definitely can't juggle work in full-time classes. I know, me neither. Like, there's people in my program who are working but we're in a full-time program. Like, I know people have to do what they have to do and like tuition is not free here. So yeah, work if you have to work, but I just feel bad. I'm like, I, I don't think I could do that. I think I'd be really stressed out all the time um, and not able to focus on school when like, it's like a graduate program. So I'm like doing it so that I can do my like ideal job. Um, So yeah, I don't think I could afford to like, I feel very one track minded sometimes like it's really hard for me to have like multiple things on the go because I really just want to focus like wholly on one thing at a time anyway yeah that would be tough um so yeah glad to hear you'll be able to just focus on school oh my god hey bunny how are you doing local Thomas enjoyer yes 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 I hope you're doing good um I'll be lurking oh yeah during work yeah no problem I hope work goes okay Nicole um yeah well maybe we will get into it oh yeah kevin mac okay so anybody can use the treasure command just so you know um kevin mac reeled in the fishing rod and found a lavender stone Ooh, i've been so excited for the stream oh no i've been feeling so lonely your company is always so nice oh that's really nice to hear bunny um i'm i'm sad like i'm sorry that you've been feeling lonely um um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, let us know how we can help. Um, like I, I have like, I don't know, immediately some suggestions come to mind, but you know what, like, maybe that's not what you need. Um, but I'm glad we can keep you company. I hope things get better for you, bunny. Um, how to hook that on my fishing hook? I don't know, maybe we're fishing in like, a pond oh maybe by the mine or something so like some like amethyst washed into it or something just being here is all I need okay yeah I hope you can take it easy and that today helps um and that things get better for you bunny so yeah um <clears throat> I'm trying to think oh my god okay mini show and tell because I found this and I lost my mind um Nicole already knows about this but um I did like a little like post Christmas shopping as one does because I had like birthday gifts I needed to buy and I was like okay well let me look for gift ideas um and then there's this store called Hallmark right they sell like gift cards gifty stuff and they also sell Christmas ornaments and as I'm scrolling I just happen to find a Minecraft ornament and I don't know if I've shared this with you guys like this was my birthday before I started streaming I kind of developed like I don't want to say an obsession. Like, I just completely fell in love with axolotls from Minecraft. And my boyfriend, like, I asked him to buy this for me, but he bought me a crochet axolotl. He made me an axolotl birthday cake that looked like the Minecraft axolotl. Like, it's just a whole thing for me. 
and then look at this ornament I found at Hallmark and they had it in stock and I was just trying to not like scream in the store because I was so excited. Look at this ornament. Isn't it so cute? Like how is this an ornament? Um, I'll try to like give a good a good moment so you can really see. But it's got the azalea bush, this like rainforesty thing, and then the little look at this little guy. Oh my god, he's so precious. I'm crying. So I just have this sitting in front of my switch now. Um, you can't even tell it's an ornament, right? Like it's got this little hook on it, but whatever. I could try to remove it, but I feel like it'll break. Um, anyway, okay, mini show and tell because that's there. And I haven't posted about that anywhere. Um, been enjoying uh, playing GameCube. Yeah, I know five games. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know if I've been keeping track of which games. You have two Sonic games, right? I don't know if I know the other ones. I got my mom some ornaments for Christmas. Oh, one of her favorite Christmas movie, Elf, by a local artist. Oh my god, that's amazing. Wow. I wonder, like, what the ornament, like, was the ornament of, like, what's his name? Buddy? The Elf? Oh, that's so nice, though. It's also when you find, like, a local artist who makes something that's, like, perfect. Um, yeah, that's really, that's really exciting. I love ornaments. Like, um, this year... We're going to get into the game in a couple minutes, I guess. Um, we've always had, like, a mini, like, probably this big. So not that big, like, Christmas tree for our apartment. But this year we live in a bigger space. Um, and I was like, ah, do we buy a new tree? We ended up getting one. I'm really happy with it. And I ended up decorating it. And I'm like, okay, now that I have, like, a big tree, like, maybe I can get into ornaments again. Because I collected them when I was younger for like, oh, when I move out, I'll have all these ornaments. And I do, I do have all these ornaments, but I kind of stopped collecting them because I was like, well, I just have this dinky little tree, like, um, so yeah, I'm like, oh my gosh, now I have like a bigger tree. This axolotl one is too precious though. Like I need to look at it year round. So it's just going to sit on my desk in front of the switch. Uh, Spyro, a hero's tale, enter the dragonfly. Oh, Spyro, that's it. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Rider, Sonic Mega Collection. Oh my god, amazing bunny. Oh my god, so many games. That's so exciting. Wow, yeah, it's, I feel like I have more games than I can play right now, which is like, oh yay, like I'll always have a game to play, but I'm also like, damn it, I wish I had more time. Um, Like we, my boyfriend and I kind of like, not splurge, because it wasn't that expensive. It wasn't a full price game, but we bought Detroit Becomes Human. We still haven't, we're not very far, so please no spoilers. Um, seems like a very intense game. I'm really, really into it. And I just want to play, like, all the time. But it's a game we're playing together, so I can't just play without him. And if he plays without me, he would never do that. But, um, yeah, anyway. Um, and I Pokemon Violet. Like, I want to play more Skyrim. There's so many games to play. And, like, I don't know, I've just been thinking, as I get older, like, I don't have kids or anything, but it really does feel like I have less and less time, <laughs> um, which is kind of just, like, I don't know, um, I used to play, anyway, it's all good, it's all good, but yeah, uh, I wish I had more time to play games. Speaking of which, maybe we'll jump into this, um, let's, like, okay, I'm gonna turn down the game, the soundtrack music. I'll turn on the game music. Hey. Oh my god, it's Mew Mew. Hey. As I started I hearing it, I was like, I think that's probably gonna be Mew Mew. How are you doing? I hope you're doing really good. Uh, we're just booting up the game now, so you haven't missed much. Um, but yeah, I hope you're having an awesome day. Oh my god, we're almost in spring. This is probably awesome. Jay's here too, hi. Hello there. Uh, hello, Wicked, how are you doing? Um, Nice to meet you. All right, let's hop in here for a second. Um, I just want to orient us slash me. <laughs> yeah, I am pretty nice. I'm a little judgmental, but I feel like I try not to be judgmental of real life people. <laughs> um, oh, Joyce says hi. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> been a while since I've done Obi Wan. Yes, it has been a while. Thank you. That is um. Always appreciate it around here. Okay, so I just need a quick little, holy shit, um, quick little refresher of what we're doing right now. Um, hasn't seen you on stream since last year. Oh my god, yeah, this is our first stream of the new year. How exciting. 
Okay, and here's the thing. I got these awesome new headphones. I have a Razer mic I've had for a while, and I just haven't gotten around to setting them up. Again, because I'm always like rushing to start the stream the day of. Um, maybe we'll do that after stream. We'll get that set up. If you could only play one game for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would be Hearthstone DS. Oh my god, yes. Been playing for Loving Your Straight and still not bored. That's amazing. Honestly, that's a really solid choice. If I had to play one game for the rest of my life, that's, um... As much as I would want to say Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons, I've played so much <laughs> that I kind of like, I don't know, I think I would do something like Skyrim or Minecraft. I'm leaning towards Minecraft though because it is open world, you can be so creative. Um, like you could run out of things to do, I guess, but you can always build something new. You know what I mean? Um, in Skyrim, there's always so much to discover, but I think I would get bored at a certain point. Whereas with Minecraft, it's like, you could just keep building something. You could build something new. You could build a hot castle, you know? I could play Skyrim forever. Yeah, but Minecraft is probably safer. Yeah, that's, that's my thinking as well. Um, let me know if it's too quiet, too loud. Okay. Um... I'm a very brave it's impossible for me to get bored of a farm sim, so long as Thomas is in it. I think that's very understandable and very fair. Um, I'm just gonna... I almost went, want to say Left 4 Dead 2, but that's hyperfixation. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff on the workshop. Ooh. Oh, like I haven't played it. I don't think that much anyway. Um, I'm gonna switch over to this for a second. Oh, it's not here. Okay. Um, <laughs> there we go. Okay. The way this moves around like every effing time. I don't know why it does things, does me dirty like this. Um, how is that looking? Not good. This is just, this is just our little like a uh, Google doc of like progress and stuff like that. Um, anyway, um, Oh, you have fresh Mineral Town news. Oh my god, okay. Let's hear it, Kevamek. I'd love to hear it. Thomas is my husband. I wouldn't feel right choosing a game without him because I need him. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, I just need to check our cow situation. Like, where did we leave off last time? Our focus right now. Okay, for anyone who... Just a quick recap. Uh, We're on a quest to marry the Harvest Goddess. We've met basically every requirement except for... um, We need to be in year five, but we'll get there, no problem. We need to confess to the priest that we want to marry her, but I think we'll do that last. And we need to ship every item in the game, which is the toughest one, I would say, because it's like all animal items um, and they're pretty difficult to get. So basically right now we're just working on winning festivals for like every animal type. Um, so this is my rough plan. It looks kind of crazy. So don't worry. Uh, don't worry about it. This is this is mostly for me to keep track of what we're doing. Um... Our next festival coming up is the Moo Moo Festival. That's summer. We said we're going to enter Cookie. Okay, and then I'm just checking the game. Um, Where's Cookie? Where's that little Cookie? Um, cookie is pregnant? Okay, I believe you. Doesn't that give me an indicator in the game? I guess I have to talk to them. Uh, there was a roleplay server... I mentioned about two months the Rick RP are dropped out. <gasps> are you Rick now? Okay, let me. Um, I was reluctant since you kind of run them in a way that's pretty different than I would. Have some ideas to the table. <gasps> oh my god! Yay, that's so exciting, Kabamek. Yeah, so I might get to write him in. Oh my god, if anyone should do Rick, I think it's you, Kabamek. Um, because like I started out as like a Rick hater, and like he has his flaws, but you know what, like. No person or character is, like, inherently pure evil. <laughs> I don't think Rick's evil. I think it's a little problematic. But, like, you know what? I think it's really great that you, like, like, you see the good in him and you accept his flaws and you're like, I can do this. Like, I'm also writing Gerald and Lou. Oh, my God. Wow. You, you have so much to work with. That's so exciting. Also, hi, Sora. How are you doing? Yeah. Good afternoon to you, too. It feels like morning to me because I haven't been awake that long. Um, okay, so Cookie is going to be entered in the festival next. 
Kofina is our backup. And I wrote a note that we're going to... Oh, we need to breed a Kofina. Okay. I had written that as a note from last time. I woke up at 12. That's fine. Being evil is bad. Yeah, that's true, Wikidemia. That is very, very true. Also, um, like, have you played this game before or any other Story of Seasons or Harvest Moon games? Um, just curious. Um, you know, just like, I like hearing what people is experience with the game is, if they have a favorite character or anything, but also welcome on in for sure. He's a character is really interesting to explore just why he acts the way he does. Yeah, he definitely is more, some of the characters are just like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like they're pretty three-dimensional in like Friends of Mineral Town. Like Doctor feels very two-dimensional, for example. It's snowing again and not raining. Yeah, the rain was kind of, oh, it is snowing. <gasps> I kind of love the snow. I also love the rain, so it's a tough choice for me. But yeah, it is January, so I'm kind of like, when are we getting snow? Um, I could fix him. Oh my god, I take a camera and I fix the character. Yeah, like, I, listen, I have my fair share of, like, problematic fictional characters that I love, 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 even though they're, like, <laughs> um... Like, Vegeta immediately comes to mind because he's, like, has killed so many people. <laughs> um, but I do really like him. Oh, you played A Wonderful Life. Oh, my God, amazing. Are you so stoked for the remake? I've been playing the special edition on the PS4 right now. Um, and it's so much fun. I'm, I'm, like, really enjoying, like, experiencing the original. I turned it. Jared said Vegeta before you said him. Yeah, yeah, you know, I had such a huge Vegeta phase. Um, I still really like Vegeta. But yeah, he's problematic AF. I would understand why anyone is like, what? But he has character growth anyway. Um, okay. So Corder is pregnant. Um, we're gonna enter them in the... F no, who's going in the Fluffy Festival? Bobby, our Angora rabbit. Oh yeah, and then we can let the coop animals outside. Okay, and I have to remember to never let our animals outside. Um, as long as my wife Nami returns, all is well. Yeah, Nami's going to be in it. I love Nami as well. I'm actually marrying Muffy in the special edition because I think she's the only one I've never married. It's hard to remember because it was, it was so long ago I played as a kid. Uh, Thomas for marriage candidate. Oh, my God. That would actually be really out of pocket and wild. Um, my mom asked me to do something. Yeah, no worries, bunny. No worries at all. Okay, so we've got Cookie. Kofina's our backup. And then for the Fluffy Festival, we're entering Bobby. And then Corduroy is maybe the backup. I don't know if we'll have time to get their hearts up to full. Okay, anyway, let's let's flip back over. Um, that's just something I'm going to be referencing throughout as a like, what the fuck is going on um, in this game? Because it's kind of a lot to keep track of. Okay, it's a little quiet for me. Hopefully that doesn't blow my ears out. Okay. Um, I might marry Celia. Yeah, I'm actually tempted to marry Celia as well. It is like tricky, tricky, tricky to decide. Cause like the, especially the like bachelorettes like are all just so, um, I don't know, they're just all so amazing. Am I going to be fully regenerated in the morning? I don't know. I would be really happy. It's possible, I think. I think it's possible they'll add some of the marriage candidates from, like, Harvest Moon DS. Will they add Thomas? Honestly? I don't know. <laughs> okay, shit. I have to run to the animals because the sprites will get there first. Polly! Oh my god. I ain't marrying anyone in the game if Thomas isn't in it and marriageable. Oh, interesting. Okay. Like, I expect nothing less of you, Bunny, but I'm also wondering, because a wonderful life is all like, you're, at least in the original, you're pretty much forced into marriage at the end of the first chapter, because that's sort of what the game is about. Like, it's a very family-centered game. Okay, and the way I said that, I didn't love that term. I guess I just mean like, it's like watching your kid grow up and blah, blah, blah. But what would happen if you didn't want to get married? Cause all the other games you don't have to unless you want to. Chickens are cute. Yeah, I love the chickens. I love them a lot. 
I like that Cody is new. Yeah, so I'm tempted to go for him. Yeah, that's really valid. I know, me too. I really want to see his heart events. I think it just prefers OG design. OG design. Yeah. Um. Okay, can we milk vanilla? Yeah, we can. I think I did hear people say it's very mixed. Like some people were saying his original design was a little like, um, not everyone feels this way, but some people were saying his original design felt a little, what do you call it? Like caricature-ish in a kind of racist way. I'm like, okay, I can understand, like I can understand wanting to change his design then. But I don't like that he looks like, at first glance he looks athletic, which is fine, he's buff and stuff, but like, would I guess that he's an artist? No. And is it, in his original, his look is like, is enigmatic the right word? I don't know if it is. Um, you can tell he's like, oh, he's like, he's like a creative mind because he's like stepped outside of like, he doesn't wear a normal outfit, you know? Um. I've seen a really good redesign on Tumblr of Cody. Oh, I would love to see that, Cabin Mac. I enjoyed Harvest Moon more for social dating rather than the farm grind. Honestly, same. So the way I'm doing this Mary the Harvest Goddess where it's just all a farm grind, <laughs> it's a little like, it's not out of character. That's not the right word. It's more like, it, this isn't usually how I play the game either. Usually I'm like, I'm beelining to get married, um, have kids, and then I'm good. Like... That's usually what I love. So that's part of why I love A Wonderful Life. Um, there's a lot I love about A Wonderful Life. Okay, I'm trying to think. Um, I need to do Kofina. Wish they'd gone with that. I feel like it's new. Cody, totally different character. Yeah, he does seem totally different. Um, I'm the opposite in some games. Stardew, I couldn't get to any of the candidates. Oh, really? Wow, and there, there's so many. But yeah, that's really fair. There's so much farming to do in that game. Okay, do I have the... Shit, I don't have the potion on me. You know what? We can do Kofina tomorrow. It's okay. Um, let me just check my notes. So I'm saving normal milk because we might do some cooking to get some of the products. Um, I need to never let them outside because that really fucked me one time. <laughs> Enigmatic is the right word. Okay, cool. Uh, Stardew Valley and more farming. Really? Farming more than romance, Mimo. Oh, that's surprising. Other games, more dating. Yeah, it depends on the game. And like what candidates are available. Oh, okay, Kevin Mike, thank you for sharing. I'm gonna pop that open. Oh, here, I guess I could switch to it because I already have that set up. Thank you for sharing that, Kevin Mike. Yeah. Can I make it bigger? Oh. Um, yes, I love this. Like, he's still got his kind of, like, like, rough around the edges look, whereas his redesign is not that at all. His redesign is, like, he just stepped out of, like, Lululemon or, like, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I love this. Muscles lifts a lot of iron. 70s punk style. Not a character and still unique. Yeah. I know. I always thought... Like, I always thought Cody was handsome. Like, I can understand the cri criticism again, but um, I remember when I first played, I really wanted to marry him, and I was, like, so disappointed you couldn't. Yeah, his redesign is Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, that's exactly right, Kevin Beck. Like, nail on the head. And it, it, that just doesn't feel like him, you know? Um, also, yeah, anyone can order a little beverage or a little snack from the cat, uh, the chat cafe. So yeah, enjoy your coffee, Kevin McYum. I have coffee. It definitely went very cold this morning very quickly, but that's okay. I'm also getting over a cold. Um, I'm actually feeling like almost back to healthy today. I don't see Pokemon trailing after him. Okay, imagine... Imagine though that they're like, okay, here's the thing for Cody though. <laughs> In this one, he's like a Pokemon trader. Okay, that actually be so cute if he had a little pet following him. Oh yeah, it'll be out in Japan this uh, year. Oh no, soda. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'll try to add soda. It honestly, it kind of depends on what emotes like 
emotes, emojis. Like, so if there isn't, oh, hello? I think I have a lot. Oh yeah, I do. So maybe I couldn't find a soda emote um, or emoji. I'll try to add one, I'll take a look. Yeah, it's snowing here too, it's so nice. Um, we had like this huge snowstorm right before Christmas. And then it's all melted and gone away because that's like what our new Januarys are like. Um, did I miss something? Coming up worldwide. Oh yeah, we don't have a release date yet. Oh, okay, also here's the thing too. I've kind of decided, okay, first of all, I'm bummed that they're getting it, like Japan is getting it um, this month. We still don't have a date, but it's coming up this year. I'd rather it come out in the summer because I feel like I'm gonna be really busy this month with school. So that's fine by me. But I've unfollowed, like, I just feel like if there's any plot twists or like, like, oh shit, like they didn't tell us this was going to be in the game. Like, I kind of don't want to know about it because I want to like experience those things as I play it. Like, okay, I've been thinking if they were to do a plot twist, not even a plot twist, just like, oh my God, that's unexpected. And it wasn't in the original. What if they gave us a second kid? Like chapter two in the original, you have a toddler. What if chapter three or four, boom, you have another toddler. Wouldn't that blow your mind? I would actually be like so, I would love it. I would probably scream. Yeah, so things like that. I don't know if they'll do anything that different. But if something like that's in the game, I kind of want to keep it a surprise. I know that's going to be like impossible. Um. So yeah, I've... I'm wondering how to do that with Discord because I want people to still be able to like be really hype about the new game before it's out, but I'm, I'm kind of just going to be avoiding new information myself. Your toddler's such a handful already. I know, but wouldn't that be crazy? What if they gave you the option? Like your partner comes to you and is like, hey, like, um, okay, wait, why do you use their voice? I don't know. Like, I've been thinking, like, what if we, what if we want another kid like maybe they give you the option I think that'd be ideal um okay sorry I'm, I think I missed like a whole bunch of messages let me see um mom, mom, mom. Uh, no soda I know bunny I'm sorry I'll try to add some there's the soda emoji oh cup with straw okay cool Miyomo duck through the trash and found a cherry egg oh my god hell yeah I want that um inclusive of the oh soda pop Okay, I can add a command where it'll do either. Like if you do soda or pop, it'll bring up the same thing. Um, what do we need to do today? Let's go to the Harvest Goddess. Can I ask people the spoiler tag? Yeah, I think we'll do that. Um, partner comes up to you and it's like, hey, you want to make another? Yeah, exactly, bunny. Exactly. It, I would really respect if they decided, like, you know what, we're going to make marriage optional and we're going to make having a kid optional. But that is kind of the whole gist of the original, so I wonder, like, what would you even do? Is there anything I need to do right now? Um, I'll need to ask the sprites for help soon. Oh, we could go practice the fetch fest. Let's do that. Cause I don't mind knowing ahead of time. Yeah, I think that is something we'll do, Kevin Mech. Um, I I know some things are. It's gonna be like really hard to avoid. Like I'd have to. I've unfollowed like. I know the game's not out yet, but I've just done this preemptively. Like official Story of Seasons Twitter accounts and stuff like that. But I know other people are gonna be reblogging because they're like hype with stuff, and that's okay. Like I've accepted. I'll know some things in advance. But I do want to avoid things if I can. Um, oh, like be if you're the one who checks the spoilers. Yeah, yeah, because everyone's different. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm going to put a little more thought into it and we can, we'll figure that out. Oh, that was close to breaking our record. If now the same sex marriage is a thing, I wonder if having a kid is impossible. Oh, it's definitely possible. Like... In the trailer, they show, they at least show Nami and Pony with the kid together. Like, I remember it being, like, confirmed. Or having a kid. Yeah, honestly, marriage optional. Hmm. Oh, fuck. That was, whoa. <gasps> 
Whoa, that was actually so close. Okay. They've been doing that with just avoiding details or saying the harvest goddess gives you a kid in those roots. Yeah. I think that's how it works in this one, right? Like if you do same sex, it's like the harvest goddess shows up and gives you a kid or something. But I think they do give you the option in this game to have a kid. They don't like force it on you. Having kids seems critical to a wonderful life story. Yeah, for sure. I know. That's why I'm like, it's nice because not everyone wants that. But how would you do it? Like, honestly, I feel like the game would be kind of boring. Like, you're just farming, but maybe people are fine with that. Who knows? I don't want to be forced to marry anyone who isn't Thomas. I'll be avoiding marriage like the plague. Like, I wonder if they'll do... Um... Oh! Cappy Barb's done. That's okay. Good job, Cappy Barb. Um... Because, like, in this game, or no, in the original, you're forced to marry someone. Like, even if you don't romance anyone, at the end, someone comes up to you and, like, or the game ends, I think, if you reject them. Um, uh, made Nami a bit too mask. Doesn't appeal much. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I feel like Nami's kind of always given... Nami's always been a bit masked to me. Um, it kind of gives me, like... Is it weird to say non-binary vibes? I don't know if that's weird to say. Like, because you can you can be like androgynous or like mask looking and not be non-binary. Like, of course. Um, but I, I really like Nami's redesign. But yeah, to like each their own, you know? I guess like, okay, like for example, Karen. Karen's look was very similar to Nami's, right? Like Karen wore, it was like shorts. Wait, wasn't Karen's look, like, really similar? And then they really made Karen's look, like, way more feminine. And, like, to me, I was like, mmm, I kind of liked it when it was a little more, like, you know, a little more masculine. Um, so, yeah, it's, I don't know, can go either way, I guess. I don't think it's weird to say, yeah, a lot of fellow non-binary people say that. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I think I just wanted to make sure I was, like, Someone can look more masked, but that doesn't inherently mean now they're not binary. I know that wasn't what I was saying, but yeah, I liked how 90s uh, OG Karen looked. I know. I honestly loved um, Karen. Like, Karen was maybe the first person I married ever. I don't know. It's so hard because I played this game so many times as a kid. Like, I, I either romanced all of them. Oh, I definitely did romance all of them. Um... I definitely did marry Karen at some point. Like, I loved her. I can't get into her new look. So I'm just like, okay. It was like tomboy, early 2000s vibe. Sort of punk. She looks like Kevin Hart. Kevin Bacon from Footloose. I actually haven't seen Footloose, so I don't know. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. Yeah. Um. Is it her outfit kind of similar? She's more like, instead of like a vest, it's like a t-shirt. Like, it's like she's taken off the vest and she's still wearing the t-shirt underneath. Yeah. I I feel like, like personally, I feel like they've improved Nami's design. So I'm like really into it. But I can understand. Like, I have felt disappointment with some of the redesigns. So like, it's all, it's all good. All right, let's like stash some shit. Are the sprites already gone? Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. That's okay. I was gonna give them gifts, but it's fine. Oh, wait, no, they're right there. Hello. Oh my god, I think I have to blow me now soon. Flannel tied around her waist. Yeah. Oh my god, you could also be non-binary in the new game, right? Like, 100 doing that. Honestly, when Olive Town came out and you could be... Wait, can you be non-binary in Olive Town? You either can, or I just gave my character really non-binary vibes. Like, I loved it. I was like, I don't know, I think I've mentioned I'm probably non-binary. Non-binary and I like, I still identify as like being like very feminine, but I don't like wholly see myself as like a woman, you know? They made her look a bit softer in the remake. Nami? I think so too, like, yeah, I don't know. 
Gustafa's design was the one I was disappointed with beside Jordy's. Yeah. Uh, oh, you can't be non-binary in all of town. Okay, amazing. Gustafa's was fine as it was. The haters are just kind I know, Gustafa's looks was totally fine. Like, Celia's look, they kept the same. She was like peak cottage core. Gustafa was peak, like, what would you call it? Like, garden gnome core? Like, I don't know. And then like, no. We're changing our look. I don't like Gustafa's new look. Okay, I have to blow my nose. I'm getting over a cold. I'm gonna just like turn my camera off and mute myself, but I'll be right back in like a second. Okay, I'm back now. Thanks for being patient. Um, let me see. Okay, they made Gustafa. It's very John Lennon. And they made him more John Lennon. I know. I'm like, mm, that's not really the vibe that we want to be like aspiring to. Um, in like 2023. Yeah. Um, wait, what is this? Oh, oh, you pinned a message. Oh my God, cool. Okay. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Um, he need to be less John Lennon and more God and Gnome. Yeah. Uh, bucket hat is weak compared to the Snufkin hat. Oh my God, Snufkin. Um, more Snufkin, less Lennon. Yeah. Oh my God, I, I completely agree. That kind of reminds me of like, uh, the Story of Seasons account tweeted like, they were like, oh, like, we, you know, we're so excited for the game to come out. Like, we want to show you what you're interested in seeing. Like, is there anything you're interested in seeing? Um, and we can show you. But I think they worded it not super clearly because people are like, oh my god, please add this to the game. We really want to see this in the game. But the tweet was more like, no, like, what do you want to see that is already going to be in the game? Like, and all the comments and replies are just people being like, please add this person or please let us. And it's like, no, the game's coming out in, like, a month. Like, that's not what they meant. Um, but I just felt so sad for people being like, oh my god, they want suggestions for what to add to the game. And that was not what their tweet was like at all. I tried to set it to pin, but it says 19 minutes left. That's okay. That's totally... It's fine. I gotta get ready and go. Yeah, no worries, Kevin Mike. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for chatting. Um, yeah, maybe I'll put a chat, like, a, in our, like, mod chat. I'll talk a bit more about how we want to handle I guess like release spoilers for the game we'll figure it out though but yeah I really appreciate you um show me my way Flora I know I know actually for real uh vibes are immaculate wait which vibes Snufkin vibes um Pooh had DLC with new candidates so I can totally see them doing that I know I think they kind of like with that I think they did sort of set a bit of a precedent or like expectation that when we release games like we might add DLC with more marriage candidates because that's exactly what they did and they weren't brand new characters they were like older they were marriage candidates from earlier games but yeah take care Kevin Beck if uh if we don't chat again um thank you again for stopping by oh my god my my like situation is getting all nasty but it's okay yeah like the way I also really wanted to marry Flora in the original but you could marry her in DS and the way like they didn't make her a marriage candidate in the remake like maybe they still will but who knows name me Flora so bad I know I love Flora so 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 much
I feel like the characters are pretty, like, interesting in A Wonderful Life. Like, no one seems two-dimensional where they're like, um, no Tina no shade to doctor, but like, hi, I'm a doctor and my name's doctor. Like, that's nice. What's your story? Uh, I just want to be a doctor. Like, okay, maybe I haven't seen his heart events in a long time, so maybe there's more to his character than that. <laughs> I don't know. Um... And it's fine to like him. Like, I just kind of be like, that's just like not super interesting. And I feel like in A Wonderful Life, there aren't any characters like that. I don't know Cassie and Patrick that much. So if anyone's like that, maybe it's them. Where they're like, we're twins, we make fireworks. But I don't know. I've, I've never played past like chapter three of A Wonderful Life. So who knows? Like... Why would they let you marry someone in the old game and not the remake? I know. Yeah, to be fair, it's like she wasn't a marriage candidate in A Wonderful Life, but she was in DS. Like, it does seem weird because it's like, well, it's the same town. Theoretically, the exact same characters, but do you ever find you want to play other games, but you can't just not play your fave? Hmm. What's your fave, Sora? I'm trying to think if I know it or not. Um, I don't know, because I kind of go through, like, phases. I go through phases where I'm like, I'm playing nothing but Minecraft right now. Or, like, Skyrim. Or, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I feel like I don't play video games as, mu as much as I used to. So often when I'm playing, it is because I'm streaming. So I do try to mix it up while also like staying with Friends of Mineral Town. So I don't know. Cassie, Patrick are both just, I have a thing for blods. Oh, and he likes brunettes like Lumina. That's it. Whoa. Mixed feelings about that. Mixed feelings. Um... No, I want, I want to pick up this emerald. Stop, what do we keep picking up? <laughs> oh, emerald, okay, good, good. Okay, I think I can do like two more. All right, is what it is. Um, <clears throat> oh, Animal Crossing. Oh my God, that's so fair. Yeah, I straight up, literally when Animal Crossing came out, I was like this with New Leaf as well. I played every single day for like a year. And then most most days for like another half year. And then I kind of ran out of stuff to do. And again, if you could buy a second game and have a second like island, hands down, I would have done that so forever ago. Like honestly. Okay, I want to brush Mocha, but it's not going to make me pass out. Mocha, get over here. We don't have to we don't have time for this so i can't i can't brush you and have you walk away there we go okay i want to play pokemon violet but i can't get off animal crossing oh fuck did i pass out or is this my warning pass out that was my warning okay Whew. we're good we're good it's all fine um okay we'll save here oh my god um, I got a second switch and have another island. I was so tempted. I almost, oh shit. Um, actually let's go replenish our energy. Otherwise we'll sleep in and the sprites will get to the animals before we do. Am I equipping the right thing? Um, no, no, no. There we go. No, this one. <clears throat> yeah, I literally almost impulse did that during the summer because I really had it in my head. I was like, what if I made... Oh my god, we still haven't done this. Um, like made Mineral Town, like replicated it in Animal Crossing. And I was like, oh my god, I just want to do this so badly. But I was like, this is such an expense to do one little thing. And I might get it's actually a lot of work to like start a new game, get all your things unlocked, blah blah blah. Like, so I ended up not doing it. So I was like, I don't think it's gonna be worth it. But okay, I did look up a bunch of uh, dream addresses where their town was called mineral and they glanced at the maps to be like does this look like mineral town and they have them saved up i have them written down 
and I was like, okay, well, one day we'll do a stream where we just check these out. Could even, would we do that today? I don't know. If we're, if we're really tired of this, we could. Um, but yeah, I sometimes play Animal Crossing just for the paradise, the happy home paradise stuff. And if there's no good design, I'm like, man, don't play. Yeah, that's fair. I love the, um, the designing your, the different homes thing. I, I love it. But yeah, some of the prompts are like, I want to live in a public bathroom. I'm like... <laughs> I'm not doing that for you. <laughs> That's not happening. Uh, like some of them are just so dumb. I'm like, no thanks. Guess I'm not doing this today. Um, That's a good idea. I have huge chunks of space that I'm going to do stuff with, but I just haven't got to it. Yeah, and there's no rush either. Like you can just take your time and enjoy the game, you know? Um... Okay, and if I ever miss a message, feel free to let me know. Um, because I'm 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 happy when there's lots of messages to read, but I please don't um think I'm ignoring you if I haven't read it. I'm try to get to all of them. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to play Happy Home Paradise now. Like it's actually been so long. I forgot how good it is. Oh shit, I keep forgetting to. Urgh. Will he make it in time? Okay. I keep forgetting to bring the cow potion over here. Because I'm just like beelining it. But it's alright, I'll, I'll go grab it. Why do I feel like I must rush? I don't know, Solra, I don't know. Maybe it's like if you have the idea in your head, you really just want to like get it out into the world so you don't like forget about it. Is Cookie pregnant? No. Wait, who's pregnant right now? Nobody. Weird. Okay, my note said Cookie was pregnant. I must have not updated them, which is fine. How much grass is there? Because I ran out of grass one day. And that was a sad time. Um, okay, let's get this. On my BD. Oh, I played Calico and almost cried. It's so cute. Oh my god, I'm so glad you played. Yeah, Calico. Um, like, okay, I mentioned I'm working on some YouTube videos because I have a YouTube channel. Right now it's VODs and Clips from stream. But I want to start, I have started. I just haven't uploaded them yet or like finished editing them. I want to start uploading like intentional, like edited videos for YouTube. And one of them is going to be like underrated Switch games. And Calico is one of them because I feel like people talk about it sometimes. But I'm like, why hasn't everyone played this game? Like, it's amazing. Um, it's so cute that I actually couldn't keep playing. Yeah, I literally. Okay, for anyone who doesn't know, Calico. It's like a you run a cat cafe. And it's kind of like Neko Atsume where you're also like collecting you're trying to like discover all the cats and like pets and stuff. I still have not discovered the last one, but I know an update came out, so I think more were added. Uh oh, did you get to Kofina already? Get away, get away, get away! Where's Kofina? Oh fuck, my barn's too full. Okay, I did list some I could sell. Shit, okay. It's Wednesday, so I can sell animals today. Okay, it'll be fine. I still haven't delved into Calico, even though it's totally my thing. I know, you're the one who told me about Calico. And then I remember when I was checking, it said, like, on your Switch profile, you'd only played a few hours. I was like, what? You're the one who told me about this game. And it's, like, incredible, but... But that's okay. It just, like, really surprised me. Yeah, it is super cute. I really recommend it. It's, like, it's an indie game. It's a little, maybe they fix it, a little tiny bit buggy, but not in a like, oh, it's impossible to play. More in a like, oh, that looked funny kind of way. Um, yeah, and an update came out for it kind of recently. So even if you played it already, like I do want to get back into it because I want to see what else there is to discover. Uh, how you can carry the cats, have them sit on your head, and then you get to ride the giant kitty. Yeah, my brain can handle it. Oh my gosh. I was like the same. Um, hey, and I, I said this before, but like, when did I play it? Was it early pandemic? 
I played it at a time where I really needed it. Like, not to sound dramatic, but like, I think my life was super stressful. It may have been early pandemic. Um, or like mid pan oh, I don't know. That was a stressy time, uh, because of my work, but, um, yeah, the game is just like so peaceful, calming, the colors are like soothing, and it's just so chill, there's no rush, like nothing is time limited, it's all just like gentle and fun, um, and like, yeah, I don't know if I cried while playing it, but like, I definitely was like, wow, what is this game, like, this is, I'm like not being dramatic, like literally I was just like, this like healed something in me. And I wasn't expecting it at all. That's like Animal Crossing for me, my emotional support game. Yeah, Animal Crossing is actually so amazing. I feel like it, it definitely got super popular with like New Leaf and then obviously New Horizons. So I feel like its popularity might turn some people away, but it's popular for a reason. Like for anyone who hasn't played it, maybe you know it's not your thing, but I would argue it's a lot of people's thing because um, it's awesome. Yeah, I love I love uh, Animal Crossing. That might be my most played game ever in my life. Like New Leaf, holy moly! I had two towns. Um, I need to go sell animals. Um, okay, my brain is like taking a slow moment right now. I need to go sell animals. Okay, let's go sell animals then. <laughs> I did write down which ones I can sell. I was just like putting it off because it, it makes me really sad. Am I crossing Mario Kart are probably my most played games. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, I think this is my most played game on the Switch because we've sunk so many hours into it. Okay, let me save first so I don't fuck this up. <clears throat> or if I fuck it up, I can... Uh, Reload. Oh my god. <clears throat> my nose is still kind of stuffed up, so sometimes I'm like not able to breathe for a second if I'm like eating or drinking. Um, okay, so animals. Let me check our list. We should do a multi person stream Mario Kart competition. Oh my god, that would be fun. I. I'm like not bad at Mario Kart, but I'm not experienced enough to know like what you're supposed to do. Okay, so I said we can sell coffee, coffee and vanilla. Hmm. What size milk am I getting from vanilla though? That's kind of what I want to know before I do this. Cause I am saving up milk. Kofi's at six? Who's older? I don't know, like it won't let me sort this list in any way. This is why I had to write them all out in like a Google doc. Cause I'm like, who the, what the fuck are my animals right now? Like I can't sort this list, <laughs> it's such a nightmare. Um. Ooh, that's a trouble. Okay, hold up. I just saved, right? I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna reload for a sec. Um, I just want to see who's making what before I sell them. I think I'm too competitive. I have no chill. Um, that's totally okay, Sora. Like, I'm kind of competitive too. Yeah, enjoy your lurk, Mamo. Thank you for stopping by. Um... And same to you, Jared. I hope you're both doing really awesome. Yeah, I just want to run over and see who's making... Oh, first, first. Let me check how much we have. Eight small. I think they're both making medium. Okay, I'll just do a quick check. Ooh. Yeah, I don't like playing games where I know I'm no good because I want to be competitive, but I'm just like, what is the point? I'm not good at this game. Wow, vanilla makes medium. Okay. 
And then Kofi was the other one, right? Yeah. If they both make medium, maybe I'll just sell them both. Yeah, they do. Okay. Let me double check the fridge again. Wait, so nobody makes small? Cookie, Cremwell, Cremwell. What does Cookie make? I just, I just want to see. Like, I never pay attention. I'm just, like, doing it. A large. Okay. Okay. Um... This is it, right? Yeah? Wait, what? <gasps> oh, I was like, why is the date saying like April? It's because I changed. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. I changed the date on my Switch and I never changed it back. Yeah, enjoy your lurk as well, Sora. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, it was really nice chatting. Okay, okay. I was like so confused. I was like, what the fuck? I definitely just saved there though. <laughs> I know I did. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Um, all right. I'm really sad to do this, but we gotta sell some. So I'm gonna sell both Kofi and Vanille. Okay, goodbye, Kofi. Mwah. We love you. Oops. And then Vanille's the other one. Right? Okay. Goodbye, Vanille. We love you. Mwah. All right. I don't know if I needed to sell. Let me see, actually. Yeah, I do. I need room for two more babies, so we're good now. We probably won't have to sell any more cows. All right. Done. Let's go practice for the fetch fest. Because they're trying to get all the power berries. We have all of them except for the one you win from the Fetch Festival. Oops, I don't want the rules. So we are practicing up because that's actually happening really soon. Um. Oh, Cappy Barb. That was an easy one, honey. Found gold. What? I've never had that happen before. Okay, Cappy Barb. I was like, Cappy Barb, that was such an easy throw. What's going on? They got like distracted because they found something in the sand. That's so cute. Nice, nice. Okay. I'm hoping to win. We just need to do like 50 or above because 50 is the halfway mark. I believe in you, Cappy Barb. Oh! Oh, the little jump! <gasps> A new record. Amazing. I think I read that they can find something in the sand for you. I was just like, what? Because that never happened. Oh, that was close. That was close, honey. It's okay. We're still wearing our cow outfit, I just noticed. Usually we wear the, like, the chick one. Maybe we'll change our outfit. The cow's cute, but... Okay, nice. We can consistently do... Ooh. Oh no, Cappy Barb was like, no, too much for me, which is fair. And we have that gold, that's so cute. Oh, Zach, hello. All right, um, did we gift the goddess today? Oh, I have, wait, what? Hello? I don't know why that launched me, like... Hi, Cappy Barb. You did amazing. Okay, shit, we need to be harvesting. I forgot <laughs> Forgot we have all this to do today. Uh-oh. Okay, it's only 11.30. We might be fine. We are trying to save 10 million gold, so we're at four. Um, it's just something, because it's just something we're doing while we're waiting to marry the Harvest Goddess. Not waiting, more like making progress but it involves a lot of patience um and yeah and you need 10 million gold to buy the the villa in the town 
which you need to collect all the truth jewels. So that's why we're, that's why we're like bothering with the crops when we're mostly, we just need the animal products at this point, but we're just trying to make money as we go. So we're getting there, one straw at a time. Maybe we'll change up the music too. I had like a really hard time sleeping last night um because I'm I'm starting placement next week I, I don't really know what to ex I know what to expect from my like interview but I haven't chatted much with my like new supervisor since then so I sent them an email being like hey like just want to know what to expect for the first day like am I coming in in the office because I think I'm working from home most of the time. Um, so I think I'm just feeling a little, like, anxious about that. But I'm just trying to tell myself, you know what, like... I'm trying to keep in mind, like, what's in my control and what's not. Like, I can do what I can to prepare, but I can't know things there's no way for me to know. Like, anyway. Yeah, I was, I was preparing for, like, some back-to-school stuff yesterday. And then, like, I don't think I spent enough time, like, doing something else before going to bed. Because then that was, like, all I could think about when I was trying to sleep. Anyway, everything's fine. It's more like, I'm just kind of tired today. <laughs> um, but I have my coffee and, um, I don't think I'll make another coffee in the afternoon. But I'll probably make a tea or something. Uh-oh, hold up. No. Oh. Okay, I need to ask the sprites for help. We're not full staff today. Which is fine, but yeah. The harvest sprites are very crucial to success. Like, success in terms of like caring for animals and crops, because there's just like, it's a lot. Oh, I want to say hi. Goodbye to you, Blueberry. Oh, fuck. That always happens. Oh, Blueberry. Okay. Don't think it work. Don't think it work. Okay. Well, we'll finish harvesting and watering. It's all good. Oh shit, okay. Let's go on these. Yeah, if you guys have any ideas for, um, I have like three cued ideas for YouTube. Um, I sort of want to finish filming. One is totally done and it's uploaded to YouTube. It's just not public yet because I think for like launching um the youtube channel like it already has all the streams stream vods like clips and stuff but i do want to make youtube videos um so i think when i want to like launch and like promote that there is a youtube with like um more than just stream stuff there i want there to be more than just one video to watch so i want to have like finish filming the remaining two what is going on here and have them like ready to go so I can like publish them all in like a week. And then from there on out like, oh my God, I'll see if I have time before school starts to like even do that. That's my goal though. Um, yeah, from then on out though, like I'm gonna be, this might be my busiest term yet for school and I was already so busy last term. So I don't know how often I'll make YouTube videos, but I think by then I'll be over most of the like editing learning curve so it should be easier to make videos I won't be like making my first one ever you know um but yeah if you guys if there's anything you want to see or you have like ideas um I'm really happy to hear them because I I have some ideas but I'm also trying to be conscious of content that's already out there like I don't want to I 
I'm, I'm really just doing it for fun. Like, oh, it'd be fun, like, to make a video about this or, like, but I don't want to do something where it's, like, like I mentioned before, I wanted to do, like, top underrated Switch games. And, like, um, someone I follow, who like, I like their content. They recently literally just posted a video like that, which is fine. It's not, like, a very original, like, um, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I don't want to make content for the sake of making content. Like, I want it to be, like, oh, yeah, like, that would be fun or, like, interesting. Um... So as much as I want to try to be original, um, you can only be so original, I suppose. Okay, I have to blow my nose again. Alright, I'm gonna mute myself and turn my camera off for a hot second. We're making pretty solid bank every day with these, like, strawberries. Okay, one second. BRB. Okay, I'm back. It's not that it takes me that long to like blow my nose, but I'm just like, okay, hey, let me do a little mirror check to make sure nothing <laughs> is looking um, not pleasant. Okay. Oh, it's Sasha's birthday? Sasha. Okay, I can quickly, I have like, I didn't know that Fogu had made like a birthday guide. Um, my sister did make me one, but I haven't. It's not missing. I know I packed it away somewhere back when I moved in the summer. I just like don't know where it is and I haven't come across it yet. Oh, she loves chocolate and moondrop flower. Wait, is that what I have? No, that's toy flower. Moondrop flower. Oh, but she does like toy flower. What? What's moondrop? Oh, that one. Okay, I don't know why I couldn't remember that. Fetch Fest tomorrow! Yes, we're gonna enter. Okay, goodbye, Cappy Barb. My beloved. I'll take them then. Don't worry, they're in good hands. <gasps> See you tomorrow, Cappy Barb! Oh my god, it's tomorrow. If we if we can win it, then it means we don't need to keep practicing, which is just like one less thing for us to have to do every day. So that'll be nice. All right, Kofina, let me just double check my guide. Um, it is Kofina, right? Yes. I don't remember how long pregnancy is because they're the backup. Oh, that would be fucky. Um, they're the backup for, I think, Cookie? Yeah. Wait, let me just double check how long does pregnancy last? Uh, cows. <clears throat> like, I need them to not be pregnant before the festival starts. Twenty-one days. Oh shit, I don't know. Hmm. So maybe I'm actually not gonna do this. I think it's okay. 
Um, what about the Fresia? I'm just looking at my guide. Fresia's at eight. So we're gonna enter Cookie. If Cookie immediately makes platinum instead of gold, because I need to sell platinum and I need to sell gold and platinum. But if they win and they've spent too much time outside, they'll skip gold, which is a problem because I need to ship the gold. Um, so Cookie and then Freshia's, Kofina's are back up, but I'm like, I didn't leave myself enough time because it, pregnancy lasts 21 days, but they're going to be like the festival summer 20th and it's spring 30th right now. So that's actually not enough time if I do it. Um, hmm, I don't know. Okay, we're going to, we're going to hold off then. This is, this is the complicated part, is, like, trying to figure out, like, when to, like, breed them and stuff. Um. Yeah. Let me just double check. Kofina's at a full eight hearts. So is Fresia. But the, the problem is that they've maybe already spent too much time outside. Because I've stopped letting them outside. But I may have been too late in doing that. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay. All right. We will wait. We'll hold off on doing the potion then anyway. Shoot. All because it took me too long to get my shit together. It's fine. It'll be okay. I wish I could see like their birth dates and stuff like yeah I don't know the game just kind of like whatever here's your list of animals uh, go fuck yourself <laughs> like all right I guess I will oh I missed the milk oh well it's okay <clears throat> I'm excited for the fetch fest. Hopefully we can do it first try. If not, I'll just like reload. I'm certainly not against that. are looking forward to in the new year or like hmm like I I kind of want to ask about new year's resolutions but I've heard so much criticism of that lately just in the sense of like it just being so much pressure and often new year's resolutions are kind of like I don't know I wonder about the motivation behind them maybe it's all just the way of people being like make change because you want change not because you feel like you have to i don't know i've just kind of heard like Ugh, new year's resolution how about just doing what you want to do like i've been wanting to get back into writing i kind of even hate saying that out loud because it just makes me feel like I'm like, oh crap. Now I'm like accountable, you know, but um oh, it's it's hard finding the time. I think if I set aside time every week, that like kind of worked well for me in the past. It kind of comes down to like forcing yourself to do it because you know you want to, but it's like hard to get motivated. But once you've sat and done it for 10 minutes, then you're kind of like in it and now you're fine, you know? 
I wonder, like, what is that shit? What is that resistance all about? Maybe it's all just like. <coughs> like laziness? Like, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm critical of the term laziness. Like, I said it, but I'm just like, I don't know how much laziness really is a thing. Um, this is a little break. Okay. okay. Did I even finish harvesting the strawberries yesterday? Oh, you know what? I wanted to look up this glitch, um, hmm. there's this glitch where if you pass out on the last day, so it, you're not like going to bed and starting the new day that way, you're like passing out and you just wake up in your bed, um, your crops won't be destroyed the next day, so if they have an extra harvest in them, you can do it, which I'm like, oh. I wonder. Okay, we have a few things to do today. Sasha's birthday. We need to ask the Harvest Breaks for more help. Um, summer is tomorrow, so it's like pineapple season. I need more pineapple seeds. Is that from? Okay. Yeah, that is from the supermarket. Let's go do that now. Here we go. Oh. Oh, his name is Yu. I keep forgetting because it used to be Stu. Oh shit, where's Sasha? She's probably in the plaza already. Wait, this dude doesn't sell them? Wang sells them? Oh, they're not available until next season anyway. Oh. Cause these are all spring ones. Oh. I have a feeling it might be Huang though. Let's go over. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure it's eight by eight. So I think it's, and I have one already. So if I buy 63, that's, that's only 3,000 gold? No. Three thousand? That's like nothing. Wait, I'm confused. Three thousand? I'm trying to buy like 60 of them. I'm really confused. Am I seeing this right? Oh, no. What? Why is it only 3,000? When it says it's 1,000 per bag. What? Oh, I'm missing a number. Okay, okay. I'm just like, I, I have to not be reading this right. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like 60,000. <laughs> okay. I was like, huh? All right, it's 60,000. That's fine. All right, God bless. God bless. He has a truth jewel. There's a few we can grab right now, but I'm like, well, I might just do them all like at once. Um, we can do that if we want to break from the grind. We'll be like, okay, gonna go looking for the last truth jewels. That's for help. Life sucks seven days. Yep. Okay. Um. Oh, I can't remember what I want Aqua to do. Blueberry waters, plum waters. Aqua. Oh, but it's gonna be the pineapples tomorrow. So I think I do want watering. Okay. Ask for help. Water. 
And then I will get them their meat flower. Bless. All right. It's Sasha's birthday. I could tell. Oh, there's Sasha. I. Hello? Okay. There's Mana. I guess I'll talk to her. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, it's your birthday today. How very thoughtful of you. Goodness, how long have you known about my birthday? Thank you, sweetheart. Yay. All right, let's go gift the goddess. What else is there for us to do? Hmm. All right. Maybe I will... Do we have more harvesting to do? God. Eh, it's going. They can finish it. Okay. Should I mine for the day? I might cut more grass because I'm like. You, uh, like I hate all these weeds. Holy shit. I almost did it too much. If you do too much, you will chop every crop on your property, which is a bad time. Yeah, should I try that glitch? I don't know. I don't have enough seeds to do, and the store's closed anyway, so I could benefit from an extra harvest. Let me look it up quickly. I, like, forgot about that. Okay, let me see. Um, all right. SOS, FOMT, um, harvest glitch season. Mm. How do you feel about feet? Um, I don't know. That's kind of an out of pocket question, Wikidemia. Um, I don't know. Why do you ask? Oh, I'm trying to, where did I find this? Did I bookmark it? If I can't find it, we'll just like, we'll just try it on our own, I guess. I don't remember how to trigger it though. That's the thing. End of season glitch. Um, what is this called? Okay, sorry, I'm just taking a quick little second to do this. Stop, okay. I think this might be it. Here, I'll, I'll show you guys. Just so you can see what I'm looking at. Um, This is it. How is it winter though? I'm so confused. How did they do this? I don't understand. Um We could me. I just I just deleted your comment. Um I know you're like probably joking, but um, I don't know, it's just like bordering on uncomfy, so I just removed it, but. I'm so confused by this, I don't understand. They're in fall? Like, how do they have pineapples in fall? 
I know this is like a six minute video and I've just like skipped to the end. Oh, you have to do it exactly six. Okay, this is like too much work. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. Um, but I was curious, so. Okay, never mind. That's too much work for us to do. Um, I feel like it wasn't that complicated when I saw it, but maybe the person who mentioned it was being brief. Like, they didn't really give the full picture. They were like, oh yeah, you just pass out and then your crops are there. Like, they said it in like one or two sentences, which is not... I know, it doesn't seem like reality. Okay, anyway. <sighs> I think they're done doing that. So, I guess all that's left to do is get the goddess. Have we done that already? I don't know. Alright, and then we will mine it up. Oh, we did give a gift already! Whoops! Oh well. That's okay. Alright, I have to remember to change our outfit for the festival tomorrow. Imagine a capybara out, but I've said that before, but like, and this game has been out for a while now, so it's not like they're going to add it or anything like that, but. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's go... Let's go mining. Okay. I had I had been watching this show called In Treatment. Basically, okay, we got when we moved here um, in the summer. With our like new internet provider we got a free six month subscription for crave um which i'm like oh great okay and i found the show called in treatment to watch but like six months is up now so i've just been like really trying to you know while i've been setting up my new bullet journal for the year i was trying to like get through as much in treatment as possible so that I'm like, I don't know. I don't know when they're disabling our free trial because I still can access it. I hope they don't charge us or anything. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen it. It's basically like a count, like a therapist um, who sees clients at his like home office. And each episode is supposed to be like a session. Um, but they're very like, like usually sessions are 50 minutes. But the episodes, there's there were a few that were like 46 minutes. Um, but usually they're like 20 something minutes. So it's like as if it's a condensed session. But it's it feels um it feels pretty what's the word? Hmm. Like you feel like you're sitting there watching a, a therapy session, but it's like it's drama, it's it's fictitious. The acting is pretty good. Um, and it's kind of just, like, interesting because the ethics are a little questionable sometimes of, like, what the counselor will, like, do and not do. So, it's been interesting. Um, I finally did finish watching it. It ended kind of abruptly. And I, I don't get why. Like, maybe they weren't sure a new season would be renewed or not. Um, because they... It kind of makes sense where it ends, but it's kind of like, oh, that's it. Like, done. Okay. And then they made a new season, but I think it's during COVID. And I'm like, ugh, I don't. I'm so sick of, like, I don't. I, I don't know. God, what a stressful time. Like, I don't need to talk about it anymore, but I'm just like, 
I don't want to watch a season where it's like, oh my god, we're immersed in the pandemic and how new and scary. I'm like, no, I don't need that. Like, so I'm not going to watch the new season. Um, and the new season is like a new therapist because it's a reboot. Like, it's been 10 years since the last season. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel kind of bad because I'm like, I, I would want to give the new, like, therapist, like, it's, it's just too stressy for me. I can tell that. I'm like, mm, I don't, I don't need that right now. But yeah, I don't know if anyone else has seen it. It's pretty good. It's questionable at times, but I guess that's part of what makes it interesting to watch. Cause you're just like, what? <laughs> what are we doing? You know, but yeah. Oh my God. And then what a gift I found. Um, I love watching like therapist reacts videos if they're if they're like a content creator who I feel I've come across a few like therapists on YouTube who make YouTube content who I'm like oh. like I'm like nope I don't vibe with that um which kind of seems sort of sad like you would think I don't know you would think like for therapists like your content wouldn't be that problematic but I, I it just goes to show like there's problematic people in like every field and profession you know anyway but I did find one I found a new like I think they're psychologist um and they do like reacts content and they did a couple of videos where they were reacting to in treatment and I was like yes it was like really interesting to watch I love like therapists reacts to therapists in TV show like it's just so funny to me for some reason I think I think flooring because like I don't know therapists are sort of so whack in media sometimes it's, it's really funny especially Grace Anatomy um this youtuber who's a therapist um Mickey Atkins they're like one of my favorite youtubers um but they did one where it was like reacts to the therapist in Grey's Anatomy and it was so fucking funny because <laughs> the therapist in Grey's Anatomy are just like kind of whack. Okay, I guess that's all we can do. <sighs> like there was, um, this isn't like spoilers. A bunch of characters on the show go to therapy sometimes. Um, but Owen Hunt goes to the therapist one time. And the therapist just like, it's so funny. The therapist is like, here, come here. And they put their hand on Owen's head, like forehead. And then Owen starts sobbing. And it's like, he's healed. Um, and it, the therapist who reacted to this is just like, therapy doesn't work that way. Like if all you needed was like a magic healing touch, <laughs> like, um, first of all, the world would probably be a better place because healing is that easy apparently I just laughed so hard at that because I was like what the fuck like I never thought of that when I watched that episode <laughs> like what happened there it didn't make any sense like oh man just funny um okay it's the last day of the season and usually I s usually I save a file um okay these are my two like alternate night ones Year three autumn, year three winter, year three spring, year three summer. I don't know why my brain is like struggling right now. Cause these aren't in order, that's why. So I'm like, huh? It would have been spring first, then summer. Like this should be spring, summer, fall, winter. What the fuck? I wish I could rearrange these. Okay, maybe I'll just, I'll just save over the previous spring one. Okay. Oh, and I need to go heal up. Whoops. I forget that I need to do that. Cause if I don't, I'll sleep in. Um, and then the harvest birds will be done looking after the animals. So I won't get to do the stuff I want to do. Hmm. I 
can't tell if it's still snowing. I think it stopped. <sighs> We're almost two hours in. Oh, you know what I could do is update our title because we're about to be in summer. Mini marathon. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be summer very soon. So I've, I've updated it now. It did say updated, right? There's been time. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There's been times where I've updated my stream title and like game and stuff. And it just doesn't actually do it. Um, but I did get confirmation, so. Okay, let's go. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, let's save again. We'll save. Um, here, yeah, yeah. Okay. giving my eyes a little break because it's been almost a couple hours <clears throat> oh my god today's the day that's where a cherry sprite outfit maybe we'll change up the music i wish it would tell me what one we're listening to i think we're listening to this one oh Oh my god, I love this one. Wait, what's it called in real life? It's called a quiet something? A quiet winter? Oh, so good. I need more records. I don't know how to get them. This one's very synthy. If you guys have a request, let me know. That's what we were listening to. Okay, we could try this one. It's summer now. How loud is it for you guys? Yeah, it's a little quiet. If it's too quiet, feel free to let me know. I'm happy to make changes. Okay, what's our sprite situation? One day left. Okay. Oh, Kai's here! Uh, feels like forever since I saw you. I feel bad about being gone that long. I'll be around all summer again, so let's pick up where we left off, okay? I've already given everyone a preserved flower, which is like one of the achievements in the game. So we don't need to worry about that. Polly is such a cute name. Okay, I can't with the animals, they're way too effing cute. Do you think there would be a strawberry cow in A Wonderful Life? Because it kind of feels like such a thing at this point. I don't know. I haven't been trying to keep up on A Wonderful Life news like for a while now, so. Probably not, because they're going for a more realistic angle, which is fair. I understand it. Oh my god, the cow festivals this month. Ugh. I'm trying not to be stressed about it. I think it'll be okay, but wow, I don't know. Whatever happens, we'll make it work, but it's a little stressy. Cram is still a baby, right? Okay. Oh yeah, I sold two cows. I totally didn't need to either because I decided not to use the pregnancy potion. Wow. Sad. Okay, well it is what it is. Um we'll just move on. Okay, I'm, the sprites are like, what are we supposed to do with this? You just got a hundred dead crops sitting around. Man. Okay, maybe when I buy pineapple seeds, I'll like double up. I don't know. Wait, no, I have pineapple seeds, don't I? <gasps> 
protected by them. Oh, good, good, good. Okay, I forgot. We already went through that. <gasps> oh my god, mystery solved! Okay, okay, guys. So, this is random, but this was such a mystery to me. Um, okay, we started with brown chickens, right? And in this game, you can buy a chicken, the lay an egg, and you can incubate any egg. Um, so we had four brown chickens, but... I wanted to collect like small eggs, which I've been doing, um, but I had to sell, like you basically have to buy a brand new chicken to do that. So I sold two brown chickens. Um, wait, what? How did this work? Yeah. Okay, okay. I sold two brown chickens. I bought a brand new chicken who is white and that was just an easy way to be like, they're starting at five hearts. They're not like in this lineage where they've got like a million hearts going on. Um. But then I wanted to incubate an egg to be like, let's put someone new. Like both these chickens have won the chicken festival. I still haven't, they both make platinum eggs. I still haven't got an X egg. I'm like, well, we may as well enter another one in the new year, right? Um, so I'll incubate one of their eggs. I'll incubate a platinum egg. It couldn't have come from Bianco because Bianco does not make platinum eggs, but it made a white chicken. But look how many hearts they have. They have like 10. Like, what the fuck happened? One of these brown chickens, like, I think the game got confused about who laid the egg. But clearly, they have 10 hearts. It came from one of the platinum eggs, but they're a white chicken. Anyway, like, they were a yellow baby chick, and I was like, aren't the brown chickens, aren't they have, like, brown baby chicks? But now that Terry's all grown up, so, okay. That's just, like, weird. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Like, I, I don't know. I, that wasn't what I was expecting. Like, I thought it would be a brown chicken, you know? Anyway, it's all good. Um, anything else to do? Okay, let's put these in here. <clears throat> if we don't win this fetch fest, First of all, I'm just gonna reload and try again, because what the hell. Um, but also, I'll be like, what do you have to do to win? I'm so confused. Are you guys for food? You should be good, okay. Okay, I should not be wasting time with this. I really gotta like, um, get going on planting stuff so they can water. Yeah, I need more small milk. I do need more large. I, oh God, did I need 50 or? I don't know, it's okay, it's okay. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to save up these because you could get X egg and X milk if you cook us enough recipes using my, um, eggs or milk. So. I'm gonna save before I do this. Oh, that's sad. I didn't have to sell those guys. Oh, well, it's okay. Um, I'd have to sell them at some point. Yeah, I'm gonna save over it. Okay, because I gotta go clear the field and I'm a little worried about what's gonna happen when I do that. Oh my God, it's so colorful. Buy colors, what are we talking about? Oh shit, I did not line this up well. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh well. It's because I never used the sickle, so I, I'm not like really familiar what its range is like. Okay, I need to stand more here. Oh, you can't cut all crops? I swear to God, I did one time. Huh. Didn't I do that before, though? Because I, I keep being so afraid I'm going to chop down all my crops by accident. Oh, no, that was the hammer that does that. The hammer will break everything on site. And one time I broke my stone fence and it was... It, it's not that big a problem, but it was annoying. Oh my god, fuck, there's so many. 
My character is not having it. They're like so tired already. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's get these pineapples. Go in. Oh, Maki's so cute. Okay, I think I could just stand in the middle of this. There we go. <sighs> Okay, Cappy Barf, don't worry, I'll be there soon. It's 11 right now. Ugh. I don't want to be late for the festival. But the sprites are here. I don't know if time goes by. Let's just try. We'll see, we'll see. I'll reload if I really have to. Okay, guys, get watering. Let's go. <laughs> They're still like, la la la. We don't have anything to do. Guys, get over here. Look at Blueberry staring at it. Blueberry, you know something needs to be done. There you go. There you go, honey. Okay. I'm like almost out of energy. <sighs> we'll just deal with this when I come back, I guess. Pineapples are like the most profitable crop in the game. So... The earlier I can get this done, the better. I don't want to be late for the fetch fest, though. I'm kind of worried about that. Maybe I'll just do this. I'll do one more row and then I'll go. And I'll plant the rest when I get back. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm worried. I'm worried. I guess I'm not saving beforehand. Like, I don't know where I would save. Where did I save? Um, This was like before I started doing anything. I'm pretty sure you can't save once you're in there. You know what we'll just if I don't win I'll just reload from that point okay there we go it's fine okay I was just worried I was gonna show up and they would be like it's over you fucked up you know here's our beach house by the way not this um over here the harvest goddess gave it to us it's very cute very luxurious very romantic you know Here's Thomas Bunny. I don't know if you're still around, but here he is. Alright, let's get this part of start. What is the TikTok? I'm trying to think of it. It's like when you're kind of starting a like an argument with someone. And it's like, yeah, let's rock this. It's something like that, but it's like. Oh man, I can't remember. All right, guys. Oh my god, let's do it. I don't need to know the rules. Oh my god, look at Kai and Popery. I love them as a couple. Um, yeah, they're not going to be any different. Okay. <gasps> Why am I so nervous? Okay, okay. I think I get two tries. Oh, come on, Cubby Bar. Okay. That was over 50, so that might be good enough. Alright, we're gonna go hard on this one, Cubby Barb, okay? Oh, I didn't. I just did the same. I just had a really gross ad. What at oh, is it the one where they're like throwing up about cars or something? There's one where they like it's like feel nauseous about car stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, ew. What is it called? Is it edemophobia? Something like that, where it's like a phobia of people throwing up. I'm like, fuck those people, I guess. Like <gasps> I didn't win. 
Fuck my life. All right, we have to try again. What the fuck? What does it take to win this GD festival? I'm angry. No. Emeto? Yeah, em emeto. Emetophobia? It's something like that. FML. Okay, we'll try again. I thought you just had to get over 50, but that's wrong. Tell me I loaded. Okay, okay. I don't have a fear of it, but I have that thing where other people gagging makes me gag. Oh. Yeah, that is valid. I know, it's just kind of a little like. Um, kind of just an insensitive, like who pitched this ad? Like, you know what I mean? Just like, okay. I don't even know what it's for, to be honest. Like, it just shows how like piss poor <laughs> the, their ad was. Like, I don't even know what it's for, but I know I hate it, you know? Yeah, Twitch is really um strange with their ad choices sometimes. There was another one I I don't know. There's another one I didn't like, but I can't remember right now. That's like um this isn't like super disturbing or anything. Like TikTok has this ad for Mars. I love Mars bars. I love it. Like, can I make a complaint about an ad somewhere? Honestly, I bet you can. I, like, um, I know you can on TikTok. I don't know about Twitch. There probably is a way. Yeah, because it's, like, um, also, that might be kind of, like, triggering for some people. Like, who needs that? Do I need any of these grasses while I've got, like, a million of them in my pockets? Oh, I do need purple. How are the other ones? Oh, I'll do 11. Pop that off. Red is fun. And the blue is good. Yeah, there's a TikTok one where it's like, I think they're trying to do like, oh, it's like Mars ASMR, but it's like someone holding a Mars bar and clicking on the wrapper. And the first time I saw it, I was like, oh man, that ASMR really did make me want a Mars bar. But now I hate the sound. I'm like, oh, can we like fuck off? <laughs> like, I don't know why I hate it so much. I think I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah, ads are really obnoxious though. Honestly, ads feel a little dystopian to me because Ads really had a time and place, and now they're just like, not everywhere, everywhere, but they kind of are, you know? Um, like we bought a smart TV so you can access like apps, like the apps are on there. You can download apps for like Spotify or Netflix, but there's always an ad showing, not when we're watching something, but when you go to the menu to be like, oh, okay, like what are we gonna watch? or I'm going to switch to my PlayStation. There's always an ad in the bottom left corner. And I'm like, I already paid for the TV. Like, I don't even know what the ad's for. I think it's for like, oh, like subscribe to Prime Video or something. It's something like that. And I'm like, like, I already bought it. Maybe leave me alone. Ugh. Yeah, I get like weirded out by ads because it's just so like, you live in a capitalist society. <laughs> There's no escape. <laughs> um, yeah, like what else would be weird to see ads on? I don't know. Like imagine buying a refrigerator. I, I know there's some refrigerators where it's like, oh, it's like programmable and you can tell it to do things. But imagine it always had an ad showing on some, like always an ad. Like what the fuck, you know? That's kind of how my TV feels. At least it's not there when we're watching something. If it was, I'd straight up bring it back. I'd be like, fuck this. Like, what the hell? But anyway. Um, 
I got a diggy diggy hole there, so I'll come back to that, I guess. That's already fucked up, um... Oh, I don't even have the hoe with me! Okay. <laughs> oh shit, I need the festival to not end, though. I'm a little worried now. Okay. But I should really save, because this is problematic. Okay, let's, uh, save. Because I don't want to redo all that. Um... This was last night, so I want to keep that one and save over this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Wow, I'm really shocked we didn't win the festival though. Like... Please don't be over. Ooh, thank god. Like, we've been here since 11 a.m. Where have you been? I hope my stamina doesn't affect it. Can you save before it? Yeah, I just did. I just did save. Um, I did, right? Okay, I can't check, but I think I... I did. I did just save. Um... Like, what the hell? Look how good my thing is! Urgh. Okay, over 50 wasn't enough to win. Who else is competing in this thing? Like, who else? Come on, Cappy Barb. Oh, I believe in you! Oh, so close. Oh my god. I'm way too into this, because if we win, we don't have to do this again. <laughs> Popery's chicken just fucking up the court, I guess. Oh, no, that's too, no, that's not gonna win. Hey, that was pretty good. That was close to our high score. Oh, man. Give me that power berry! Okay, we will reload. It would actually be so cute to see other, like, pets and stuff. It's not my stamina, right? That'd be dumb. That wouldn't make sense. Oh! I didn't know you could just teleport right in here. Who's fucking pet? I know! Also, the way like five people show up to this festival. This is the best festival by far, and like five people show up. <sighs> Let's get this party stored. <sighs> I just want this over with. Okay, okay. Oh shit. Okay, we got one more try. Nice. Okay, that was a good warm up. Yep, yeah, yeah, good, good job. I just remember the cow festival always being on my B day. Oh, summer 20 and resenting it. Why would you resent it? Just because you're like, we should be celebrating me. Oh fuck, that's not happening. Cappy Barb, you're so brave. Oh, who's this dude? Look at this dude in the bottom corner. Oh, Cappy Barb, that was such a good try. That was my bad baby. My bad baby. Fuck. I'm so, I'm so salty. Okay. I need to be a little more intentional. Okay. Okay, I gotta blow my nose again. I think I thought they would talk to you about your birthday on your birthday, but they don't. <laughs> <laughs> You're like salty, like, no one's talking about my birthday. But they wouldn't even do that normally. Oh my god, so funny. Okay, beer back, just go blow my nose. I'm getting over being sick, so that's a thing.
Okay. I think we can turn this back up again. My eyes are just getting like a little watery. Okay. Third time is a charm. Honestly, Capybarb's in it to win it though. Like the way he almost caught that really, really far one. I think we can do it. I just have to land the right throw. Wait, is it? I think so. Maybe that'll be good enough. Oh, I was like, I'm gonna push it because I'm thinking the first one might be good enough. So we may as well go. <laughs> okay, that was close, that was close. Oh no. What the actual hell? I'm trying to think about what we should do here. Mm, I want that last power berry because then we don't need to worry about like practicing. Is it harder than previous years? The thing is I've never won it and I think I've participated like every year. I remember in the original this was easy like I won the first year I participated so I didn't even think I had to practice that much. But then I lost in this playthrough, like the first time. So I was like, oh, I guess we have to actually practice a little harder. Do you need like 75 or something? I'm gonna try one more time. Wow, cause it, oh, ugh. it would just be frustrating. Bulletin board has the records of previous winners. What the fuck it does? Okay, let's go. Let's do that. The bulletin board like here? This one or a different one? It's talking about the next festival. Maybe if I checked last time. Yeah, hold up. Let's um... I'm gonna go back. Um, I'll teleport there from here. It's on the beach? Oh, maybe it's on the beach. Okay, let me quickly check. I'll go. What the fuck? Fetch Fest is coming. Okay. Okay, let's check the beach. Maybe it's there. Oh, maybe if I check, oh. Like maybe if I check that the day of, okay. <sighs> I feel like such a little time traveler whenever I'm like, let's just go back a day. Okay, and then we'll come back to today. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the beach. Is it gonna be here? <gasps> what the fuck? Bernard? <laughs> oh, okay, we're close then. We're actually close. I need to get at least 66. Maybe it's different each time. Holy shit, maybe it is. It's in, okay, let's, okay, the pets are so cute. You beat that record earlier, right? Um, I wanna say it was like 65.3. I don't think we hit 66. Or did we? Oh my god. 
Okay, I had no idea this was a little thing. I was like, who the fuck else is in this <laughs> contest? The way a penguin is like first. Like I want to pet penguin eventually and I want to see their running animation because I kind of can't imagine it. Like how can they run that fast? All right. Yeah, at least we found it. Thank you for your help, Miyomo. That's because I was like, I don't know what we're trying to beat here, but that does put it in perspective. They just slide on their tummies. <gasps> and that's why they're so fast. Holy shit. Like, I wish we could see, you know what I mean? I wish we could see the competitors, like, like the horse race. All right, we're trying to get at least 66. And if we lose this one and I reload, I'll check the board again to see if the records changed at all. Wow, this is way higher stakes than I like, or just like way more difficult, okay. I believe in you, Capybar. You're champion of champions. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, I think we just did it. I think we just did it. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Oh. All right. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay we just got a 75 that's incredible 75 clean capybara was like now that i know what the competition is i like to scream i like to holler i like to yes. break things i like to yell oh my god i like to get my anger out oh my god capybara's rage unleashed today okay okay oh my god i think we did it i'm so excited Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen up, everyone. The champion of this year's Fetch Fest is Iris and Capybarb. Oh my God, wear the Capybara hat. Okay, okay. It was a total victory. Good work, you two. Okay, am I gonna grab the hat right now? <gasps> Last power berry. Capybarb, you champion. <sighs> Yay. Oh my God. That, oh. <laughs> Oh my god, the way oh, that little animation. Yes, Cappy Barb is king. Nobody else. <laughs> okay, I gotta go grab that. <laughs> One sec. <clears throat> okay, here, let me put this in first. I'm so glad we got that done. Honestly, I kind of appreciated that it was a challenge. Um, and it just goes to show, you know, don't give up first try because you never know what's going to happen. Um, can you guys see that okay? I still have my like starry light thing. Um, here it is for anyone who hasn't seen. I'll just do a quick little. Give me my arm hat. It's so cute. I'm still obsessed with it. And it kind of matches my shirt today. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you for that redemption, Yomo. Oh my god, and thank you for your help. Wow. Uh, oh, Cappy Barb. Such a king. I can't get over it. I will never be over it. <laughs> wow, the way not only did we beat it, but then I was like, let's just go hard this time because we've got nothing to lose and maybe we've already won. Capybara was like, I'll show them. I will really show them. I will show the, the doubters. Congratulations, Iris. I had a hunch that you win after you reloaded so many times. <laughs> Great job. You must have practiced a lot, huh? Join in again next year and get a winning streak going. Okay, I don't think there's any like extra rewards or anything. My goodness, what a victory. I'm as happy as if I'd won myself. Yay. Uh, just what I'd expect from someone who works on a farm. You've got a real way with animals. Okay. After seeing you in action, you totally deserved it. Congrats on your win. Yeah, that was incredible. Woohoo, awesome, you won. Yes, we did. I'm so, I'm not over this. I'm so psyched. Can I go out on the dock? <gasps> I can. Cappy Barb. Okay, anyway. Imagine if Thomas was like Sans and just broke the fourth wall all the time and was like, I knew you'd do it if you kept reloading. 
Honestly, Thomas kind of has that chaotic, like, oh my god, I'm so psyched. That chaotic energy in DS, so that wouldn't even be that surprising. It'd be kind of cool, though. Okay, we have to... Oh, shit, oh, shit. Whew. We have to save. Um... I almost just reloaded. Holy shit, that would have been so bad. Yay! Okay, let's look at... Yes! Both Cappy Barb and Mocha! Um, I don't know if we'll bother <laughs> trying to win with Maki. Like, we could. I don't think it's worth our time, though. Oh my god, yay! Okay, let's go, um... Cappy Barb! You absolute prince! Okay, let's go get a treat. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Do I have more treats? I do. Okay. One for him, one for... One for Maki. Here you go, Cappy Barb. You've earned it! Hey! You've earned it. You want this pet treat? Yay! I'm actually so happy. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, incredible journey. Yeah, it really a thing was. <laughs> it really was. I wonder where Maki is and my horse. Okay, but anyway, we do have um watering to do. My name is Bella Hadid. I don't know why I said it that way. Like when I said there's watering to do. Uh, all right. I think we can do it. We just got to tough out um watering our crops uh oh it's okay oh iris has had a really long day damn i'm still living off that high that was amazing i'm kind of glad it was a challenge like because it's year four and we hadn't won it yet you know We had to persist, but we did get it done. Okay. Oh my god, we still have a lot of watering to do. But we have all power berries now. That's actually just incredible. I don't think I've ever done that before. All power berries. Yeah, no, I never have. Have I? No, because some of them were a little tricky to get, weren't they? Wow, this is like victory music playing right now. I'm loving it. Okay. It's a little spotty, but we're getting it done. Okay. And then we'll just have seeds to do, which will be easy. That might be an achievement, by the way. I don't know. At one point, I was going for all achievements, but um, the cooking ones sounded unbearable. <laughs> so, so we're not going for all achievements anymore. Plus, we're already trying to marry the Harvest Goddess. Like, we're actually already doing the most, so. Mocha. Okay. I hadn't brushed Mocha yet, so let's do that. Um... I'm gonna go... I need to get my hoe. <sighs> wow, wow, wow. Oh, there it is. So I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I know I have the mythic hoe. If I don't, what's going on? Alright. Oh, it's okay, Iris. We're almost done. Oh shit, I can't see. Okay, uh, let's go. <laughs> let's, let's go to the farm map. It's like night times, so I can't tell. Okay, there's that little patch and then that row. Okay, it's here. Oh, I misstepped again. Oh well, it's all right. Yeah. Oopsie. 
It's too much work to go back and... Okay. Oh my god, that was so incredible! Okay, I think that's it, right? Yeah, I missed that row! Oh well. It's okay. Um, let's go heal up. I haven't found Maki yet. I want to give Maki a little treat so that she's not feeling left out. Ooh, the pink cat flower, my fave. Okay, I'm just trying to like exercise my eyes a little bit. Because we are two hours into our eight hour stream today. The way an eight hour stream is such a big deal to me but my boyfriend, like, he usually does, like, anywhere from, like, 6 to 13 hours. <laughs> so it's, like, I'm, like, I'm doing an eight-hour stream. He's, like, oh, okay. Like, I think he's, like, oh, that is more than you normally do. Um, but he will just, like, I don't know. I don't know how he powers through it. He must really be, be in flow or something. Because he, like, will not fill up his glass of water. Won't grab. He sometimes will grab a snack. Oh, that's okay, bunny. Yeah, it's okay. Um, honestly, I never expect anyone to be, like, chatting. Like, if you are, great, but it's totally okay if you're not. So please don't ever feel like you have to say sorry for anything, honestly. All right, let's get to bed. Holy shit. <clears throat> um, but we won the festival, bunny. I don't know if you're watching, but Capybara but won the festival. We got the last power berry. Oh, Maggie, I'll give you, I'll give you your treat in the morning because you're probably sleepy. Wow, that was a good day. That was a really solid day. Um, I don't, like, I don't think I'll have a need to reload. Yeah, so I think I can save over this one. Yeah. He really out here just grinding. Wee hoo hoo hoo. Capybara? Uh, very nice, very nice. Yeah, it was, it was pretty epic. I'm gonna save a little highlight of it after, so I'll share it. I'll share it for anyone who didn't get a chance to see it. Wow. Um, we're gonna keep wearing our cherry sprite outfit as a little, like, there's no achievement for that? Go off this okay oh shit i do want to give the treat but i kind of need to get over here Whew. okay next up will be the cow festival which is also kind of high stakes but worst comes to worst if all we're doing is waiting we can just like skip days i think especially with the harvest sprites helping us oh your boyfriend oh yeah 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 Yes, true, true, true. I know. He is here for the runescape grind. What am I trying to do? Trying to milk? Okay. The thing I do for DLC Thomas outfit. Oh my god. Maybe someone could mod it for you. I'm like, I don't know. I should draw my character in a Thomas outfit just for the hee hee giggles. Yeah, you totally could. That sounds really nice. Okay, you guys are still living inside. I'm sorry about that, but it's how the way, it's how things must be for now. And for now, I mean like the next three years. This game isn't moddable. Oh, really? It's highly encrypted beyond repair. Damn, Ugh, Nintendo, please. Just let us have what we want. That's frustrating for sure. Do you play Minecraft, Bunny? Because that's the thing. Okay, like, I know Minecraft isn't everyone's thing. Um, but you can, like, make your own outfits and stuff. Like, you could probably make a Thomas one. I've made cute ones in the past. I don't know how to do it on the Switch. It's Minecraft on the Switch is really kind of fucky and confusing. Ho, 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 ho. Tanky. I play it every once in a while. More Minecraft story mode. Oh yeah, true, true, true. That is true. 
and very valid. I think I talked to everyone. Wow, so we don't have to worry about doing the fetch thing anymore. Huh. Now what do we do? Oh, water our crops, I guess. That's what we do. Yeah, let's go talk to, um... Do you need to talk to the Harvest Sprites? Hmm. I guess that's kind of it, to be honest. Alright, let's go store some of this. The inside of our home is so cozy. I really love, like, the wallpaper. That blue? Ugh. Like, what would you call that blue? Is that, like, indigo? It's like a... It's more pastel indigo. I'm so into that color right now. And this carpet, it's like a cream cookie. I just, I'm really into that. Um, okay, I lost my train of thought. We need to ship this stuff because we don't need it. Give Maki a cookie. Oh, Maki, here's your little cookie. Here you go, honey. He's so happy. He just jumped up and down like five times. My favorite color right now is sky blue. Oh my gosh. I love sky blue. It's a good one. I think, is that like, that like true blue? Like, um, I like when I think of sky blue, I guess I think of, I kind of think of aqua's color, but a little more, a little less green, a little more blue, where it's just like, like a, it's almost bold, but it's more bright than bold, I guess. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that is a really nice color. I love that. Oh, I can't believe I fucked up that plot again. It's because it was nighttime and I couldn't see. Oh, well. All right, we'll help with the watering a little bit more. I think my favorite color is like, I call it forget-me-not blue. Um, oh, I do have like, I got this fountain pen in that color, but I didn't love the fountain pen itself so, so much. So I don't use it anymore. Um, if I go full cam, that's better. It's like this color. It's a little hard to see. But it's, it's like a pastel blue. It's just like a very gentle, like blue lace agate. Um, oh, I don't have one handy. But that's like a stone. Blue lace agate? 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 Reminder to self to give my Harvest Moon OC a sky blue color scheme. Okay, also, it's, okay, the way you say that too, I noticed this when I saw Thomas earlier. <gasps> Harvest Goddess, please tell me you're still at a red heart for us. Um, where is Thomas? Have you seen? Look at the colors on Thomas. Is it? It's like that blue, isn't it? Like the bow tie. I'd never noticed this color in Thomas before. Also, his hat? I didn't realize was this tall. Um, but yeah, when we were talking to Thomas at the beach festival, I was like, Oh, I never noticed he had this like blue color on him. Is that where that comes from? Your favorite color? Or is that like a coincidence? But anyway. Yeah, mine's like a gentle soft blue. But right now I'm also really into like lilac, indigo, lavender. You could say that's Taylor Swift inspired. You could, you could. But I do, I do also already like those colors. Um... Oh, you're doing the watering all on your own, Aqua? Okay, I'll help you out a little more. I'll do this block and then I think you're good. I think you can do the rest. Let's give the goddess because I, I feel like I forget sometimes. Oh, there's no pink cat. Oh well. Okay, and then I need to go talk to the sprites. Let's go do that. I think my friendship with villagers is probably falling because I don't talk to them as much anymore. 
Wait, what does Min do again? We're not gonna need harvesting for a while. Hmm. Like, maybe I'll get Mint to water. Uh, water crops. Yeah. Like, pineapples aren't going to be ready in seven days, I don't think. They're like, I had a feeling you'd be here. It's like, yeah, because I show up like every second day to come ask you to help me. All right. What did Sunny do? I'll just do three days for Sunny. Just in case the crops are ready sooner than later. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, did I say this last time? I saw someone said there's like a theory that your character is also a harvest sprite. And they give you a harvest sprite outfit in the game that's like a unique color to the other ones. Because you can see the harvest goddess and so can the sprites, but other people can. I was like, what the fuck? That kind of like twisted me up a little. We'll hear the parable, but no, it's this one. No, fuck that. I think we've seen all the stories at this point. I had the three for a wonderful life. Oh, especially because the tablet Carter holds and the official art shows a fourth sprite. Oh, I did. Okay, I saw that recently. Maybe in the Harvest Valley Discord? Yeah, yeah. Um, and they had said it might be like Mr. Potts as the fourth one. But that is an interesting theory as well. How does that work? Or maybe like, cause you look like an, a human, you know? And the Harvest Sprites like don't age or anything. So I don't know. It is an interesting theory. I'm thinking about it. Where do we go now? What is there to do? Could go mining. I don't know if Mr. Sprouts is pots as a sprite. The other sprites talk about him with someone with more capabilities. Oh, I wish you would grant my wish next. Yeah, I know. I kind of thought that too. I'm like, but he doesn't really seem like one because he does seem different. So, yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, we can put the frisbee away. We don't need to hold it anymore. As fun as it is doing the fetch quest, we are kind of like, you know, on a bit of a mission, so. Maybe I'll go collect flowers because I really like pink cat <gasps> oh I'm sorry little pheasant I'm sorry um we gifted the goddess already maybe pink cat will be up here yeah there's one yay there's two we don't like super need them but I'm like well just take a little mental break from doing chores we'll just go look for flowers oh there's a little teddy bear over there hmm ah so scenic okay we've got three pink cat flowers maybe we will <sighs>
go heal up a little. Ooh. I wonder if like either farmer, like in a wonderful life or here, like what if you're a changeling or something? I don't fully know what a changeling means. Isn't that when, like, you're actually a fairy child and they swapped you out for, like, a real human baby or something? Like, I wonder if that could be a way to explain... Explain things. I don't even know if mining every day is, like, a good strat, but whatever. <clears throat> It does make me feel less bad about just sleeping through a day. Ooh. Yeah, I've been like working on my bullet journal. And um like watching like listening music, watching Netflix or something. So my eyes are kinda like a little tired of looking at screens. Oh, maybe whenever I'm in the hot tub, I'll like use that as an eye break and I'll look out the window. Would be so weird to like I have a I have another save file which is like hello um when I first played this game like the this remake and I I used like Claire's model and I'm wooing Ellie I think I'm almost ready to propose I think I still need to upgrade my host one last time or something I have not played that save file since starting this one I think because I'm trying to conserve my, like, you know, Mineral Town energy for this save file where it's a bit of a long road. But it would be so weird to go to because I'd be like, what the fuck is happening with my animals? Like, yeah, I don't know. I wonder what the farm even looks like. It's probably similar looking, like my crops and stuff. I usually don't get fancy with it because you can only can't really decorate your farm so if you wanted to put rocks down and stuff it'd be more like obstructive like it'd just be harder to work with uh oh iris Oh my god, also we've- I've been streaming for almost a year. It's- we're like a month and ten days away? It was February 15th. Yeah. <sighs> oh my gosh. So we should, um, do like a special stream. Oh, I wonder what we'll do. We could do community games again, because that was fun, and we haven't done that in a while. Like since spring? Summer? Yeah, unless there's, like, I don't know, do you guys have ideas? Like, if there's something you want to see, or if you want to do community games, I think that'd be fun. I think that's sort of what I'm leaning towards. Also, Fall Guys. I have not played Fall, like, I've played it a little. Kind of confused by it. Oh, I almost won. Like, my first game playing... I think I got second place or something. I was like, crap. And then never again if I made it that close. But Fall Guys is easy because it's free on the Switch. So maybe we'll do community games. As a way to celebrate. And I really want to get those, um... Get my YouTube videos going. I might work on that tonight because I'm... Somewhat done my... I'm like halfway done my second video. My first one's done. 
my third video is going to be the most time consuming so i haven't really committed to that i think this one's worth the least oops yes good 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 tomorrow's friday okay oh wow I don't have room for the diamond. That will not do. There we go. Oh shit, we're- Oh! One more diamond. Okay. Uh, last one. Last one. Oh, and it was a diamond. God bless. Alright. We outie. Oh, let's use this. Okay. Oh, wow. We'll probably get to the cow festival today. That will be a weight, like, oh, <laughs> a weight lifted to get that cow festival done. Because I'm just worried. I don't know. I'm worried the winner will make platinum right away. But we have three cows who are at eight hearts, so... And I think one of them is kind of a bit of a baby, so it's like... I don't think they would make platinum right away. I think it'll be alright. And if worst case scenario, they all make platinum... <sighs> okay. It will add another year, but... We can just... We're gonna hit a point where we're just speeding through the days. Like, we're... I guess once we have 10 million gold, because we won't really have anything else to work towards. Alright, let's get home. Oh, one day? Oh, uh, no. Nah, it's actually going to take forever to do the pedometer achievement. It's like 10 million steps or something. Where's the water can? Okay. How is it going? Thank you. Okay. Okay, so they mostly did it on their own. Alright, alright. Looks mostly water to me. Nice, nice, okay. How are we doing for flowers? I'll put those away. All right. All right. <sighs> oh, whose birthday is it? <gasps> Popery's birthday. It's a Sunday though. How are we gonna see her? I just want to look again. <laughs> also, Maki's at six hearts. When she's at eight, we can buy another pet. Does she go to the goddess pond? Oh, she does go like first thing every morning. So we could always just like quickly see her then. I'm trying to remember what she would like. Um. Oh my god, she loves tamagoyaki. Chocolate eggs, apple, orange. Okay. Chocolate eggs, apple, orange. All right. Ooh, 24 hour. Jesus. I want to take a look at our shipping log real quick. It's a letter? No. It's a... Oh, hold up. I just want to see. This is what we have to complete to marry the Harvest Goddess, so we've got everything except for the animal products, at least I think. Yeah, we've still never found an X egg. Only 19 platinum eggs, god damn. It feels like it's been way more than that. Oh, that's because I turn them into mayonnaise all the time. Okay, that's why. Oh, I haven't shipped those, those apples yet because I'm missing... I have all of them, but I want duplicates. 
I've only shipped one pink cat flower because that's my favorite. Yo, 232 platinum mayonnaise. Yeah, that's where all those platinum eggs are off, like have gone. Yeah, never an X milk. Okay. I just like checking that every now and then. Never an X wool. Yeah. So we still haven't come across our first X product. Well, well, well. Oh my god, so many emeralds. Wow. God damn. Cool. Oh, trophy list. Like, we're gonna do almost all the achievements by the end. Um, we're gonna get married, we're gonna reach year five. Oh, we're actually not far from five million gold, so we'll get that one. We're not doing the dish one. Ship every type of crop with five star. We could if we wanted to, I don't know if it's worth the effort. Own at least eight sheep, that's easy enough. Same with eight alpaca. I would do that after marrying the goddess. Oh yeah, and then I choose you. We've confessed to every romance option, but we haven't got married yet, so. That like doesn't get unlocked. I think we could use a new outfit, I'm wondering what. I do really like this one. It's very like summer, summer melon is sort of what I call it. Hmm. Maybe we'll do this then. <clears throat> All right, I might take the hat off now. <laughs> Thank you for that redemption again, Yumo. <clears throat> The band is like, it's comfortable enough, but it was like a little itchy or something. All right. Here we go. Here she come, here she come. I'm so excited about our pineapple empire. Hmm. I wonder like how long Cram will make small milk before or will she skip small milk small milk altogether? I don't know. They're popping off! Look at their little party over here. I don't know why I'm so surprised. It's more just I like seeing them all together. You know? Momiji. Oh my goodness. We have such cute names. I think I named Terry after Terry's chocolate orange, but then they ended up being a white chicken. What genius viewer came up with Mamiji? Who did that? I know that was a really good name. <laughs> I've been thinking of rewatching um what's it called oron high school host club oron host club because i i remember like watching it way back in the day but i i fell asleep during the like finale or whatever so like i don't know i don't know what happened <laughs> um so it could be interesting to rewatch. i still need to watch the fruits basket remake and the Sailor Moon one, like, there's a lot to watch. You guys still good on food? Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Man, looking at those like 10 extra power berries, so clean. Oran is always a good time. Yeah. I, we were going through Netflix the other day, like trying to find something to watch. And like the preview for that came up. I was like, oh, I forgot how kind of like funny it is. Happy <clears throat> Barb is helping. Oh, it's Popey's birthday. Oh. What's um Oh shit, she likes eggs. Um, but also apples. Let's go. She should be here. Oh, she's not. Maybe she'll be here later. Well, I'll give the goddess one here. It's always a good time. I don't think I can go in or anything. Well, I'll check the Goddess Spring later, I guess. Alright. They can probably do the rest on their own. Sometimes they don't, though, so... I'll just give them a little help. Okay. Yeah, they can do the rest. I wish I had, <laughs> this is such a like non-problem problem, um, oh maybe, can I, oh damn, okay, but I, I wish there was like a Starbucks closer to where I live, <laughs> um, and when I say Starbucks, like, I, I, my preference is to support, like, small business, but there's literally, like, nothing near me, which is annoying. I live in, like, this random suburb, and there's, like, you, you can't walk anywhere from here, like, um, <sighs> and the closest plaza doesn't have a coffee place. It's weird because it has all the essentials. Like groceries, dollar store, bank, LCBO, which is our liquor store here. Um, but it doesn't have a coffee place or a star. I'm like, what if I want just like a coffee though? <laughs> anyway, and like the closest Starbucks to us is really kind of the worst one. Like the parking is really awful. It's like really cramped. And you can kind of get stuck where you'd have to like reverse out, which is stressy. Um, and that's like kind of happened to me. And Nefro's like, whoa, okay. And they're always late making my drink. Like, I'm just like, oh my God. Like today would have been a good day for Starbucks because I'm like, we're doing a long stream. I'm just like, my God though, it'd be such an errand. And I know there's things like DoorDash and stuff. Last time I parked there to pick up an order, two different cars almost hit me. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like awful. Like it's really narrow. And when you like pull in, like pull in, there's parking on either side, but the end is the exit of the drive-thru. So if you, if there's no parking, which you won't know until you turn in there to look, 
someone might be leaving the drive-thru and then you're fucked. Like, you'd have to do, like, a 12-point turn to, like, get out <laughs> or just reverse out. Like, it's, it's annoying. One of them honked at me, followed me to turn in the parking lot. I kept honking at me because I couldn't turn left and they were going right. Okay, and it's, that's a horrid left turn there. Like, I never turn left there because that's... I'm, I'm so left turn reverse because I got into an accident where I, it was my fault. Like, I made a bad left turn. Everyone was okay. Like, anyway. um, So, yeah, whenever there's a road where... I think that road is, like, five lanes. And it's busy, busy, busy. Like, it's a main stretch. I literally never turn left out of there. I'm like, I'm going to turn right and do, like, the four corner turn thing <laughs> like I will take the long way because I hate doing the left but yeah people are so impatient when it comes to that and I'm like it's it's stressy trying to be like oh my god can I go now like I've been waiting so long surely I must be able to go like but you don't want to take a chance because then you're putting yourself at risk and like other people like oh yeah it's awful it's an awful Starbucks like Miomo um really has vouched for that like yeah so it's kind of weird because I lived in this random like town before before moving to this city and a Starbucks had recently opened where we lived and it wasn't too far still not walking distance but enough I could go for a quick drive and there was tons of parking because it was in this huge plaza with other places um always good like I never had a problem there so it's kind of weird that I I now live closer to more services and more Starbucks but the closest one is annoying AF and then the next closest one um is like a weird franchised one so they're not open all the time and you can't use the app or redeem anything there like this is why I offer to get Starbucks to visit you yeah oh yeah that is really sweet um it sucks to have no cafe nearby. Yeah, because even where I lived before, like, it was a nice town where I lived. And, like, I lived close to downtown. So, like, I used to, not so much during the pandemic, but before, like, um, like, either, oh, on Saturday, because everything's closed on Sunday. Like, I'd wake up, go on a little date with myself. Like, I'd walk to one of the cafes, get something, go for a little walk, like maybe shop. And it was so nice. It was just such a nice way to like start the day. And that's like, you could go for a walk here, but you could, the nearest cafe is like, I don't know. You'd be walking like 50 minutes. Like, I don't even know where one is. Like, I guess just to say like, I guess it just shows how... I live in a more, like, metropolitan area, but it doesn't mean things are better. Like, it's less walkable. I do, ha we do have, like, nice trails and stuff, but if you want to go anywhere, you have to drive. I, I hope I don't sound complaining. I guess I'm just, like, I don't know, it's such a contrast. Like, I would think, oh, yeah, I don't live in this random-ass town anymore, so everything's going to be so much closer, but that's not really the case anymore. Or, like, wasn't really the case. Like, okay, I'm going to get rid of these ones. <sighs> anyway. It's interesting how... Oh, okay. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Six? I don't know how many hits I have left once I turn blue. Okay, let's go back to the spring. Maybe Potpourri will show up. I don't know. Um, yeah, I've lived in like a few different cities for school, but I've always had like a different favorite coffee place. Like I lived in Ottawa for a while. I loved Bridgehead. Bridgehead was the best. Like. I don't know what it was. Their coffee just tasted so like rich and like fresh. I don't know how to explain it. It always just had like such an interesting, like flavorful, but it just tastes like coffee. Um, I think Bridgehead is exclusively Ottawa though, as far as I'm aware. 
And then at one point I had a Williams phase. Oh my God. And then I had a second cup phase. And yeah. Starbucks has kind of just been forever though. Damn, is Popri not going to show up? Like, where could she be? <gasps> it's summer. Maybe she's at the beach with Kai. <gasps> she is. Oh my God. The way we figured that out. Summer is the best season around. Isn't the ocean prettiest under the bright summer sun? I love potpourri. Oh shit. Oh wait, I don't have anything for her. Damn it. What the fuck? Here's a flower. Oh wow, is this for me? Guess what? Did you know today's my birthday too? Thanks so much. You're the best. Uh, yo, what's up? Sorry, but I'm close at the moment. Kai, you're in a yellow heart with me and that's what you have to say. Oh, relax and make it easy with me. Okay. Where are you guys going? Look at them go. I ship them really hard. Gonna lurk, but I'm still here. Yeah, no worries. No worries, Mimo. I do like Jennifer too. I like a lot of the bachelors, bachelorettes. Hopefully, okay, I'm hoping this is charged enough because I'm, I'm tired of holding that. Oh, I'm sorry, Zach. Mm -hmm. See you at the farm. Who will get there first? Oh shit, Zach, what the fuck? He like teleported too. That was fucked. All right, how's the watering looking? Yeah, they were able to do it, okay. It's the harvesting that's the real pain. Oh, I don't have my sickle? My brain is kind of wanting a break from Mineral Town, but I'm wondering, <laughs> I don't know. I know it's a grind. So sometimes you gotta push through the grind. But we could do, we could run and grab the remaining truth jewels, aside from the like really difficult ones to get. Cause we haven't done that yet. Could also take a break to play like a different game for a little bit. Um, just as a, like, I don't know. I don't think that's cheating. Like I've said, we're doing a mini marathon and we are doing it, but I'm just like, it's also a lot to <laughs> do the, kind of the same thing. I wanted to at least get to the cow festival because that is a source of stress that I would like to be over. Yeah, there's nothing else for us to do, so we'll just hop to bed. You know what I miss? I really miss My Sims. The style of, like, the chibi style of this game kind of reminds me of it. You can play it on Origin, like, on your computer. Um, I want to say it's Windows only, though. Oh, it definitely is. Otherwise, I would have played it, like, so fast. What the fuck? What are these save files right now? Oh, and my time's all messed up too. Like my whole clock in my Switch is so, it's like really off right now. Um, this was the last one, wasn't it? I don't know, probably doesn't matter. Like, let me just see. What could we do? If we were to take a quick little break, what would we play? And I mean, when I say little break, I mean like half an hour to an hour max. I have all these demos. Oh my god. We could play a demo for fun. I don't know. Jesus, I have so many demos, it's not even funny. I think I did undownload some games because I was like tight on space or something. Could do Happy Home Paradise. Because we were talking about that earlier, we could do like one build. Would people be against that? Not right now, like at four we'll be halfway through. 
So I'm gonna take a break to just like use the washroom, top up my water, have a snack, and then maybe we'll do Happy on Paradise just as a break? I don't know. <sighs> okay, it's Harris's birthday. Um, let me quickly go to the birthday guide. Oh, he loves hot spring egg and small fish. Hot spring egg. That's easy enough, isn't it? Oh. Oh, fuck. Um. Okay, selling the apples. I think I need the angel one. Because I think it... The angel one is my favorite. I just like the name best. We could reload if we have to. Let me see. Yeah, because we still haven't shipped one. Okay, nice. Hooray! Okay, that's one last thing. One last thing for us to do. Very nice. Let's get these shipped. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. Hello? Okay. That looked a little fucked. It was like the two cows had like totally fused and they both spun around at the same time. It was uh interesting. Okay. I am kind of eager for Krem to age up. I was like, are we missing an egg? No, they are just sitting on it, it's fine. There we go. Okay. Uh, hi Kana Kamui, how are you doing? I hope you're having a really nice day. That's a really cute emote. Let me see. Oh my god, it's super cute. I love the cozy, comfy emotes with like the blanket. We have one too, and I'm I'm very happy with it. <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't know what you mean by fix. Like maybe you were trying to talk before or something. But I hope you're doing good. I'd love to hear if you've played this game before, but uh, it's also okay if you haven't or you don't feel like chatting, that's totally okay. Having a good day, how's your day so far? Um, it's going pretty good. We are doing like a lengthy mini marathon stream, so we're a few hours in. Making pretty good progress. Uh, we recently won our fetch festival with our capybara pet named Happy Barb. So pretty hype, pretty hype. Um, yeah, it's going good. I hope your day's good too. Oh, hi, Gabby Bar. I kind of fucked up the watering a little, but it's good. Nice, yeah. probably do all the watering at this point, but I don't know. This is our pineapple field. It's the most profitable crop, so we are going hard now that it's summertime. 
Oh, I love Harvest Moon and Sorry Susan game. Nice. Do you have a favorite one? This was definitely my favorite as a kid. Um, so I was like, I actually avoided playing the remake when it came out because I, it's so nostalgic for me that I was like, I was like, I don't even know if it'll live up to the, like, I just, how will it compare? Like, I just worried it was not going to do it justice, but I'm, I'm loving it. I'm really loving it. If I didn't like the remake, I wouldn't be going this hard to marry the Harvest Goddess. <laughs> um... So yeah, and then I also really love A Wonderful Life, which is also getting a remake and I'm so psyched. Oh, Magical Melody. Oh my God, amazing. I never played Magical Melody and I, I sort of don't get why because like I played A Wonderful Life. I, I'm certain, oh, it's Harris's birthday. Um... I'm certain I was playing Harvest Moon games at the time, so I wonder why I never got into it. Those are good. Yeah, they are good. Oh, oh my god, I thought Marie was wearing a cute little hat. Nope, it's just her dad walking in her body. Oh my god, doesn't it look kind of cute though? It looks weird. Why are you like walking in your daughter's ass, sir? I have to remember to gift Harris. What business have you with me? It sounds like he's scared when he says that. Because it's just like such a weird way to talk to someone. Yeah, I, I would love to play Magical Melody. Like maybe an emulator? I was saying earlier how I feel like I just, I don't really have time to play games as much as I used to. Which is kind of sad. But it is what it is. Okay, what would Harris want for his birthday? Let me see. He likes a small fish. Maybe I can get him a small fish. Um, I'll just teleport home quickly. Small fish. I think I have lots. You can buy properties and build each one. Oh, and the art is chibi and cute. And all the candidates are super cute. Is that the one where you... Jamie is the rival farmer who you can marry? I remember I was thinking like, oh, maybe I'll marry Jamie. And then someone's like, hey, just so you know, though, like it ends the game if you marry them. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Oh, wait, I swear I have fish. Okay, there we go. All right. Where could Harris be? He might be down here. Because often he visits here. Yeah, here he is. The way he likes small fish. Okay, thank you. What an honor it is to have the townsfolk I serve celebrate my birthday like this. I'm a lucky man indeed. Oh, it is that game? Okay, yeah. Do you have like a favorite marriage candidate? Oh! I never talked to Lou and Van because I never, I can't keep straight like, everyone else fucking loves me. Oh, just joking. Just joking. Popery, Popery's, Moogie loves us. Popery's like our best friend. Only downside to the game would be small inventory space. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. Bon vivant, Kappa, Quang, Basil. Wow, I'm surprised our um, romance has kept up this much, or like our friendship has kept up this much. I would have too many favorites in that game. Yeah, that's so fair. I kind of feel that way about this game. Like it's really hard to choose my favorite marriage candidate. I do really like, um, like I'm trying to marry the Harvest Goddess. She's not necessarily my favorite marriage candidate, though. I do really like Ellie and Mar Marie. <gasps> oh, you know what I should be doing? Do I have my fishing rod? Oh my god, we should be trying to get, um... 
pirate treasure. That's maybe more worth our time than mining. I don't need the hoe. Okay, let me rearrange this a little. Oh. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's what I should be doing, fishing. Never went for the goddess in the game, sounds fun. Um, yeah. Like, I have never either. This is our, like, my first time. Um, it's a lot of work. <laughs> it, it's, it is, like, really rewarding because of the requirements. I've never done most of those things, like, get all the mine items, get all the fish. But it is a, um, bit of a grind, but it is, it is, uh, nice. It's gonna be really, really hype once we, uh, once we do it, and we will someday, I'm very committed to that, a branch. I'm curious, like usually we end the day by mining, just as a way to like, feel like we're not just sleeping through the days and we are trying to save up 10 million gold. Um, I'm curious if fishing is better in the fall and summer because you can get um, like pirate treasure and stuff. We'll see, we'll see. Because I don't want to just sleep through the days. Like, I do want to feel like we're making the most out of each day that we can. Ee hee hee. That one's so small. Getting all the fish was kind of the easiest requirement. I didn't think it would be, but it was. So we're not even worried about that. We're just trying to get stuff. Uh, yeah. Once your, like, fishing rod is, like, super upgraded, you can catch, um, I think it's called Pirate Treasure. It looks so cool. I love it. It looked different in the original. Like, I think in the original, it looked like a treasure chest with, like, gold coins, which is sort of what I think of when I think of Pirate Treasure. But in this one, you'll see, you'll see. If we don't catch it all, I can tell you, but... It's kind of mixed. Oh, that's it! Pirate treasure. It's like a gold crown. Mm. It's so cool. I love it. And it sells for a lot, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, got away. Damn. I was pretty fast on that, too. Fishing? Have you played A Wonderful Life, Canna? Um, and let me know if, you, if I'm saying that wrong or if you want me to call you something else. Too bad you can't wear it as an accessory. I know. Because if you could, you bet I would be wearing it, like, every day. I really, really would. I know it is kind of disappointing. Um... You played a wonderful life? Is that what I asked? I think that's what I asked. Are you like really excited for the remake? Uh, another one. Yeah, fishing in a wonderful life is really. You can be sitting there waiting so long before getting a bite. It's kind of crazy. Super excited. Yeah, me too. I haven't decided who I'm gonna romance. Because I really like Nami. Like if I if I had to choose one right now, it would be Nami. But I also love Celia and Muffy, and Cody slash Jordy was added. I'm holding out hope they'll have a DLC where they add more marriage candidates like Flora, or like the special characters from um, DS. Oh, you're definitely choosing Nami. Yeah, Nami is Nami is amazing. I'm glad she's like so popular. I think this is our last one, then we'll go to bed. An empty can. All right. Well, we did our best. Okay, so was that worth the time compared to... Compared to uh, mining? 
Yeah, these send for 10,000 each. This is definitely worth the time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll put the branch away. I don't really need it. Mm. I do want to see Jordy's um, heart events because like he's like a brand new marriage candidate. So I'm curious. Is there anything else I need to do? I don't know. I'm always worried I'm forgetting something. I have a few things to keep track of. No, sprites are good. Animals are not being let outside. I think we're Gucci. Yeah, okay. I hope they kind of enhance the mining in A Wonderful Life. <gasps> It's very different from the other games. But as I'm playing, I actually don't mind it. Like, I'm currently playing A Wonderful Life Special Edition on the PlayStation. Like, PlayStation 4. Because it's it's in the PlayStation Store, so... And it's like 20 bucks Canadian. I was like, what the fuck? Amazing. So, I've been kind of playing that when I can. Because I've never played the game all the way through. Yeah! And I kind of was like, well, the remake's coming out. Um, not for a while still for North America. So I may as well, like, re-experience it and try to play it all the way through. Because in Special Edition, like, another Wonderful Life, the girls' version, um, each chapter's only one year. Because, like, the original, oh my god. I think one of the chapters is three years long or something. Like, holy, it's... It's a long haul to play it to the end. Um, so it is a little easier in Special Edition now. Did I get everyone? I think so. Jeez. Yeah. So I don't like blame myself as a kid for like never, <laughs> um, never making it to the end. I did also play another Wonderful Life. I don't know why I never beat that one either though. Like, first time I played, I married Rock, and then he turned into a total a-hole, like, chapter two, and I couldn't stand him, um, so I restarted my game. So there goes one year, you know what I mean? Like, I already spent all that effort, but I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I was like, um, no, this is not it for me. Yeah. I know, like, as an adult, Rock, it kind of seems a little clearer. It's like, oh, he's kind of a bit of a player. He's a bit of a, like, jokey character, especially in Harvest Moon DS. But as a kid, I'm like, oh, he's, like, young and um, he's, like, cute. Oh, my God, his kid is the cutest. Holy schmoly. All the kids are really cute, but I really, oh, my God, I really loved his kid. So sad. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Put these away. Oh, I should have water. Where is the watering can? Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> I feel kind of sad we're not letting the animals out. It's kind of complicated. Um, <clears throat> I'm not letting them out until they all win their festival. <laughs> so I just have this big field they don't really use anymore. I mean, I do still use the fodder for them, so there's that. Hey, look how fucking fast they are. Jesus Christ, they're faster than me now. It's kind of scary. They are really zooming. Yeah, I like this. Let's just go fishing at the end of each day. Easy peasy. And it doesn't even use up all our energy, so we don't have to go to the hot spring after. Hello? Okay, my character kind of freaked out for a second. Uh, 
Um, oh yeah, Sunny's almost done. Oh, okay. All right, let's go fishing. I used to think the animals might run away if I let them out. So I always just fed them indoors. Yeah. Oh my God, interesting. If you, oh wow, yeah. Like back in the original, you definitely, it was definitely not as easy to let them out as it is now. Um, you could get a bell. Wait, how do you let the animals out in this game? I'm pretty sure there's a button. I actually just kind of forget. Um, yeah, I definitely always had a fence in area because otherwise they would be like in the back corner of the farm and like a wild dog could come at night and like scare your animals. Could they eat your chickens? I don't know. But yeah, it was definitely more like, oh my God, they need a fenced area. Um, and in this game, they just fucking roam anywhere you want. Bell and outside a barn. Yeah, probably. You're pro yeah. I, I I feel like I do know it. I used to always let them out, but I just haven't been lately. Um, so I'm just having like a brain fart. I can't remember. Bonito. Aren't Bonito flakes a thing? Is it called Bonito? I'm gonna like oh I missed it damn Bonito tasty yeah I was gonna say I was like Whew. I don't think I've ever had Bonito fish but for some reason the name sounds tasty to me and I think it's like Bonito flakes Bonita Flakes used in stock. Ooh. <gasps> like soup stock? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna um give my eyes a break when I can. So I'm just gonna look out the window for like a hot second. But I'm still gonna be like fishing. So I'm still here. I'm just like trying to while there's daylight, I'm like giving my eyes a bit of a rest. Another Benito. I guess like fishing is more time consuming than mining, but I think like all you have to do is find one pirate treasure and there you go. You're like set. Like you've already made as much money as you would from mining, basically. Hopefully we can find another one. There we go. I'm obsessed with the pirate treasure. I'm still not over it. I've been thinking, um, we're still away. I don't really know how far away we are from marrying the goddess. Um, but when we do, I'm going to stream it, of course. And I'm hoping like moments, Twitch moments, I think are thing in beta right now. So not everyone can access them as a streamer, but I'm hoping by then everyone can, because then you can like give people like a badge by their name if they were like there for a certain stream and I want to give one for like the wedding like you were there for the harvest goddess wedding but I'm trying to think what the badge would look like like maybe a crown I don't know so if anyone has ideas like let me know that's so a little ways away but it is something I'm thinking of with mining you have to get everything from the lower floors to even gain a decent amount yeah um, like a moments badge would be nice. Yeah, it would. It'd be so cool. We do have the elevator unlocked for the mine, so we can kind of go like almost right to the bottom. So we do get lots of diamond and emerald, but even then it's like we're maybe making 12,000. And look, I already have three pirate treasure. That's already 30,000. 30,000. I think this is a good strat. Like literally just go fishing every day. And end the day that way to make, like, more money. Uh-oh. Okay. It's okay, Iris. We're trying. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Oh, I just realized I took some screenshots today, but I I changed my switch clock um because I was playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> And I was like setting up my new dream address because I'm making like an island tour video. But I wanted to have cherry blossoms. So I time traveled back to April and I just realized my screenshots are going to be kind of annoying to find because I have so many. Um, and they're going to be kind of from like the distant past. Not that distant. It's not that annoying, but I'm like, oh, yeah. Cool. Oh my god. Yeah, once it's four, I'm gonna take a break. Um restroom break, top off my beverages, grab a snack. I was thinking of like if we want to take a break from Mineral Town to play like a different game just for like a little bit. I don't know though. I feel like I've caught my second wind. I'm just, I could use a snack though, so I, I will still take a break, but, um, oh, we can go home now. Maybe we don't need to play another game, I don't know. Oh. It's worth so much. Yeah, like 30,000 right there. Snacky break. Yeah, for sure. I don't get how people stream, like sit and stream for like eight hours straight. Like I was saying earlier, my boyfriend does that, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't know how he does it. This one? Oh, Cliff's birthday tomorrow. What is Cliff like? Cliff likes curry rice, curry bread, grilled fish. I honestly might be able to make curry rice. Hi, Yanbuni. Welcome in. How are you doing? Hope you're having a really nice day. Um, would love to hear if you've played Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons, but no worries if not, or if you just want to lurk. That's totally cool, too. Let's see if we can make curry rice. Lots of times I'll see people munching on snacks as they stream. Yeah, or they'll take multiple breaks. Yeah, that's very true. I think it's good. Like... You don't want to be, like, depriving yourself. What the f- I don't have curry rice? Are you for real? That seems so basic. I do have bamboo rice. I think you like that. I'm doing good. Oh, stayed up a bit late, but I'm up now. I haven't played, but it looks so cute. Yeah, it is really cute. This is a, um, this is a remake of a game that was on the Game Boy Advance. Um, so I'm loving it. I really like it. He does like bamboo rice. Okay, I'll make bamboo rice. Um, yeah, if you like uh, Stardew Valley, for sure. Stardew Valley was inspired by Harvest Moon. Um, this is a Story of Seasons game, but that's because the Harvest Moon games, like, it's complicated. They had to rebrand, basically. So, um... Oh. Yeah. Hello, uh, love Stardew and games like, oh, always wanted to play Harvest Moon. Oh, now we know curry rice. Now we know curry rice. And, oh, and on the, oh. Bip, bim, bap. What the fuck? Okay. Wait, hold up. What is, what is Cliff like the most? He loves curry rice. Okay, maybe I'll just make the curry rice then, now that I know it. Um, I'm trying to think what Harvest Moon game would be good to start with. Honestly, there's kind of a diversity of games. Like, there are similar ones, but some of them are quite different. Um, yeah, if you want suggestions, I'm happy to help. But I have not played every single one or anything, so. Where's curry rice? How do you make this? Oh, we can do this. Let's do this. It's his favorite dish. Uh, I want curry rice right now. Oh, I just said tofu. Yum. Yeah, tofu is good. I think my favorite is fried tofu, which we had not, like, made until recently. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Oh, I'm trying to sort. How do I sort? Oh. Okay. Oh, that's scary. 
Um. Oh, tomorrow we're holding. Oh, the chicken festival's tomorrow. Okay. Are you gonna enter? I fucking guess so. Fried tofu, my fave. Yeah, it's so good. And we don't even season it that much. Like it's just like we just do like I think olive oil in a pan. But then I have like a little dish of soy sauce. <laughs> um. Oh my god, I love soy sauce. So that makes it really peak. Kimmy, what? Who's going in it? Terry is the one who can have 10 hearts. So I think I'll enter Terry. But Terry is a brand new. Like they... We'll enter Terry for fun. I don't know how good it's gonna go. Okay. Bye, Terry. See you tomorrow. Um, okay, suggestions. Hmm. Like, do you play emulated games like on your computer or do you play like specifically console games because there's a few switch story season games um also a wonderful life on the playstation i've been playing that for some reason i thought you're gonna put terry to stew oh my god no no terry is a precious baby angel no it's for the chicken festival i um, we're in year four of the game. I used to read, like, every line of dialogue for, like, I don't know, so people can, like, hear what's being said, but I kind of just skip it at this point, because it's a bit of a grind to marry the goddess, and it's kind of time-consuming to read, like, all the dialogue, so I didn't, I didn't explain it very well, like, um, but, yeah, it's like a chicken festival, you'll see, we're, we're doing it tomorrow, if you're, if you're here, um, You'll see what it's like. It's kind of fun. It's probably one of the more fun festivals, to be honest. Oh, Krem is an adult now. <gasps> Krem. Oh, not who we wanted to milk, but that's okay. Okay, so you do have an emulator. Okay, you have a lot of choices then. That basically means you can play like any Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons game you want. And I've only played so many of them. Um... I think I used to think, I'm like, oh, I've played so many. Oh my god, Creme makes medium milk out the gate. Creme, what is your story? Where are you? You're nine hearts? Oh, damn. Okay. I, I wanted small milk, but they just make medium right away. There's an alpaca. Yeah, there's lots in this game. Um... Okay, I've heard Magical Melody and Animal Parade are two amazing Harvest Moon games. I think they were both on the GameCube. And the nice thing about that, like playing emulated, is that you could play with mods. Um, because like they're old enough and they're not so new, like that people have made mods and it can be modded. I've never played either of those games, but I've heard they're both amazing. So Magical Melody and Animal Parade. Like those are ones I keep hearing about and I've, I've never played them. Um, so I suppose I can't personally recommend them, but I've heard they're great. Um, A Wonderful Life is awesome if you really like, like the marriage and like family aspect of farming games. The remake is coming out this summer. But you could play the original. Um, there's also a girl's version. Because that was back when you could only play a male protagonist. And you'd have to wait for a girl's version to come out if there even was one. Oh, Animal Parade was Wii. Oh, okay, okay. Similar, like, era, I guess, but not quite. Okay. Um, yeah, those are just the ones that come to mind. I really want to replay Harvest Moon 64. I think it was the second or third Harvest Moon, Harvest Moon game. Um, and it was the first one I ever played. I really liked it. I've been wanting to replay it when I have time, but you know, I don't know. Who knows when that will be? Um, we're good on Feedstone. Yeah, I think I talked to everyone. So yeah, there's tons of games, honestly. Um, yeah, did you have GameCube as a kid? Yeah, I did. Um, 
I loved GameCube. Love, love, loved it. Oh, those two didn't get watered one day. Weird. I don't know. I, we still have our GameCube. I don't know if it works. Because you kind of just use our Wii. Uh, our, my first console was a Nintendo 64. your first one i still have my gamecube yeah and i played here and there oh my god amazing i think we've like once we got the wii we kind of just started playing gamecube games on the wii um so i haven't played i think that's why it's been so long since i played um gamecube Okay, I think they can manage the rest of it. I'm gonna go talk to Cliff. Do I need sprites to help or are they... Nope, they're still good. Okay. <clears throat> I wish I had a GameCube when I was a kid. Oh yeah. Um, but I had DS, Wii, and Xbox. Nice! Oh, DS. Which DS did you have? I had... I always had... Blue is my favorite color. Um... I know my theme is very like pink and stuff. Uh, I, I love pink, but like, I guess like at my core, blue is my favorite. Um, so all my consoles have been blue. So I do have like a nostalgia for that like cobalt blue. Um, Cause I had that DS. Oh, and the Game Boy Advance. That was my first handheld. And it was also like a cobalt blue. Oh my God. What a time. What a time. Um, let's go say hi to Cliff for his birthday. Would he be here by now? I've never had Wii, sadly. Yeah. I know, there's some consoles I kind of missed out on. Um, are you sure? Today's my birthday. I thought no one knew, so I'm a little caught off guard. Cliff, you've been here for some- <gasps> That bumped him up to an orange. Oh! Lightly, my thoughts always seem to wander toward you. Oh! Cliff, I'm sorry to have led you on, but we are not here for that. I'm gonna go gift the goddess before I forget. I always had pink. I oh, the pink DS, god, gorgeous. I think my one of my sisters had the pink one. Oh, it was so pretty. My Game Boy SP was blue. Oh my god, yay! Um, wait, was blue or purple? Or did you have more than one? Or do you mean your DS? Let's go. Is there anything else to do today? Tomorrow's the chicken festival. I think we're good. I think we can just go fishing. Purple is my fave. Oh! Wow, we haven't had a heart event in a hot minute. Yo, Iris, welcome. Come to grab a bite to eat. Hmm? You say that if I've got time for a break, you want to go fishing together? The way I literally came here to go fishing. Sure thing. The cafe was just winding down anyway. Plus, I'm in the mood to get some exercise. But you know, while we're at it, why don't we really stretch our legs? Oh. And head for the lake to fish there instead. Well, I kind of want the pirate treasure, which is only in the ocean. I'm only here in summer, and I don't usually wander far from the beach. I want to do some exploring with you. Sure. Game Boy SP was my first Game Boy with built-in light. Oh my god. <gasps> yeah, mine was the SP as well. I had the button for the backlight, right? When he takes you fishing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because Kai is in here often, so I guess we haven't had all his heart events. Uh, great. Plan made. Let's blow this popsicle sand. Hey, actually, should I add popsicles to the cafe menu? That's kind of a good idea. That was also kind of a weird sentence. Oh, what the fuck? Is that one of my... <gasps> this is a rival event, isn't it? Is that a chicken over there? What's one doing loose out here? Yep, it is, it is. Iris, what's wrong? 
My Game Boy Color had no light was purple. Oh, like Game Boy and then Game Boy SP. Oh, I read it wrong. Okay, that was my bad, Kana. Um, do you still have your Game Boys? Yeah, I definitely do. I still have them. I would love to put like a little shelf somewhere of them because they like, it's Game Boy SP, DS, and then my 3DS. I haven't played my 3DS in a long time, um, but they're all blue. So yeah, do you guys still have yours? That's one of your chickens? Wait, it is? I thought this was going to be an event with Potpourri. Oops, crap. I've always been bad at keeping my volume down. I startled it. The way they said crap in this game. <gasps> it must be Bianco. You're going to go after it and you want me to go wait at the cafe while well, you do? Uh, how about nah? Let me help too. Okay. The thinking about it, having a total chicken handling newbie tag along would be more hindrance than help, huh? Okay then, Iris, don't you worry about me. Go on and catch your chicken. Break an egg or a leg? Wow. My brother never let me borrow his 3DS. Oh, never used the 3D effect. Oh, I broke all my consoles. Just accident prone. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it happens. It's hard when you're like a kid as well. Like, I'm the oldest of my siblings, so I feel like... Maybe I had that advantage of being a little older, so I was less likely to break the consoles I had. I still have my Pokemon Crystal. Oh, uh, was that for DS? I need something to play it with. Yeah, okay, also... Oh my god, okay, they're little foxes. I thought they were hamsters for a second. Your emotes. I was like, what? Uh, you're back. How'd it go? From the look of it, I'm gonna assume that everything turned out just fine. Sorry for spoiling our fishing trip. Nah, don't worry about it. We'll just go some other time. Still, that was a shocker. Who would have thought we'd trip over one of your chickens? There, of all places. Let me guess, you've worked up an appetite? Good thing I thought to fix something up for you ahead of time. Oh. See, I figured you'd come back tired and hungry from the old chicken chase, so I threw together a little something. Oh, what do we say? Crystal was old original Game Boy. Oh my god. But you don't have a console to play it on anymore. Is that what you're saying? Um, okay. Ooh, make dessert too. Or I bow to the saint of sustenance. It seems a little greedy to be like, yes, I also want dessert. Like, uh, to just be appreciated. You think dessert? I'm worried he's going to be like, hmm, I'm already making you food. I don't know. You want dessert too? I've, wor I've worried he's going to be like, hmm, like I already went to the effort of making something. Oh, you still have the console. Okay, when you say you need something to play it with, what do you mean by that? Need something to play it with. Okay, I'm just going to say, I don't know. I really don't know what is the right response. I'll say this. Oh, I like that one. Seeing you so happy about my food makes the work I put into it more than worth it. Hang on just a sec, Iris. I'll whip up that dessert for you. Oh, we already made dessert. So what would have happened if we said dessert? Wow. That is spaghetti. That's not a dessert. I mean, watching you chow down like that makes the work I put into it more than worth it. Yeah, Kanye is actually really cute. I do really like him. Now that I think about it, farm work has to be pretty rough. Here at my cafe, I'll sometimes get a fussy customer who complains over every little thing. You don't have spaghetti for dessert? That makes me think of the elf movie where they add like, Buddy adds like syrup and like sprinkles and it looked so good. I'm sure it didn't taste good, but it looked incredible. I still have my Game Boy because I still need it to play my Pokemon game. Oh, okay. Maybe I, maybe I misread your message then. I, I probably misunderstood. Just getting them calmed down and out the door is headache enough, but at least I can talk to them. Animals, on the other hand, can't talk. Getting them to understand has to be way harder than even my crankiest customer. Not the elf spaghetti. Yeah, too sweet. I know. But that's what I thought of, like, dessert spaghetti. That you can handle all of them every day all by yourself is honestly pretty amazing, Iris. Anyway, enough of that. The food's not going anywhere. So feel free to pick out for as long as you like. Wow, wow, wow. That was a hard event. Is there normally music at the beach or no? No, okay. 
Wow, that was a long one. I was really expecting the chicken to be one of Potpourri's, and it was going to be Potpourri, like, running looking for it. Oh, let me see. Um, oh, thank you for the follow, Can I really appreciate that. That is so kind of you. I hope you're enjoying your time here. It's been really fun chatting. Oops. What's going on? Um, uh, sorry, just clicking things wrong. Did it get away last time? I guess so. That's okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Do you guys like have a favorite dessert? Mine honestly might be ice cream cake. Like the Dairy Queen ice cream cake. It's so good. Like the fudgy layer. Almost forgot to follow. Yeah, no worries. Comfy here. Yay, I'm so glad. I, I love those emotes, by the way. I'm totally going to check out. Like, I think I glanced at the name, and it didn't seem like it's, like, your channel. Um, unless I'm totally wrong. But, yeah, they're really cute. Oh, my God. And now you can use the follower emotes if you want. They're kind of new. Um, not that you have to use them. But I just, like, I kind of keep forgetting follower emotes are a thing. Okay, we've already got one crown, so it's already been worth our time. I feel like I'm forgetting a birthday today. It's not mine. Okay, yeah. Um. No, we gifted Cliff already. It was just like forever ago. Yeah. The music one is cute. Hmm. I want to get at least one more crown because they're just worth so, so, so much. A soda can. I should have woken up earlier so I could have gone for a walk today, but that's okay. I'll just go for one tomorrow. I really don't mind like the winter aside from I don't like driving when it's snowing because it's kind of stressy um but I just don't like that the sun sets so early because I'm like oh. uh oh it was my birthday on the third oh my gosh oh my god a couple days ago happy birthday um uh, my parents were gonna get me one of those Dairy Queen cakes oh but they were closed so they got me a baby cake wait what's a baby cake and I made a cheesecake. Oh my god, yum. That sounds amazing. Yeah, happy birthday. I hope it was a good one. Wow. Yeah, and like early year, like new year birthday. Interesting. Yeah, Dairy Queen cake. Oh, the fudgy cookie layer. My god, yum. It is just really good. I, I'm kind of like ice cream would be my favorite dessert overall. So ice cream cake is just like primo. Like a small cake. Oh, it was adorable. I only hate the cake part. Oh, you don't like the frosting. Yeah, I know. Sometimes frosting is like, sometimes it's not good. So that's really fair. Oh, my favorite dessert would be um, Pat Bingsu. I might be saying that wrong. Okay, wait, I want to quickly Google what that looks like because I haven't heard of that before. Um, Pat Bing Sue. Oh my god, it's like a really cute, like, Korean shaved ice dessert. Oh my god, cute! Okay, let me show my screen quickly. That's what it looks like. This is it. It looks really yummy. Ooh. That sounds incredible. Google does more justice than my description. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I want to try mango sticky rice. Oh, yum. That would be good. Oh, Pat Bing Sue. Wow. Okay, I'll really, if I go to a Korean restaurant or something, um, and I see the dessert menu, I'll really keep an eye out for that. Mango sticky rice. Ooh. I haven't had, like, dessert rice before. Mango sticky rice tasty. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, 
Korean, half Korean, nice. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool, like, getting to learn about, like, different, oh, it's already 1130. Um, like, food from different, like, cultures and stuff. Okay, let's throw those things in here. Okay. 12,000, okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I'm trying to decide. Tomorrow's the, ch the chicken festival. I think I could use a break now. <sighs> um, Not a long break, just a short one. Just to like, oh, I might make a tea, have a quick snack. Because this is an eight hour stream today and we're about halfway through. Um, I think that'll be nice. And then the chicken festival. So when we come back, we can do the chicken festival. I don't know if we'll win it, but we'll see. Uh, I'm Chinese. Uh, don't have a lot of desserts. Oh, sweet buns. Fruit oh, fruit and egg tarts. I love egg tarts. Oh, you're green tea. Oh my God. Hopefully it's not too cold. Okay, let's hop our character to bed. And then I think we'll take our break. I had so many Asian snackies yesterday. Oh my god, yum! Yeah, I really would like to, I don't know, like try more desserts. Like, I usually just have what I like and I stick with it. Like, I really like donuts. So often we'll get donuts from the, <clears throat> like the supermarket and that's our dessert. But I would like to try more things. Barbecue chips are so good. Oh, oh, like Korean barbecue. Oh my God, Chinese food super tasty. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think if I've tried Korean food. I've tried Chinese food, um, but I don't know about Korean. Never really had Korean food. Yeah, I don't think I've either. I wonder if it's not like as common where I live or something. Oh my god, your your parents have a Chinese restaurant. How cool. Oh my god, you must have like amazing food. Um, just like uh, you know, at your disposal. That's awesome. If you live near me, I'd have many places to recommend, but I'm not sure what's in your area. Yeah, that's fair. I live in Ontario, Canada. I don't know if that's anywhere close to where you live. Uh oh, Minnesota. Nice. Okay. Um, not much here. Yeah, that's like that's really fair. Okay, I'm going to put the bigger back screen on. Um... Oh, I tried to do the maple syrup snow thing. <gasps> you did? How did you like it? Um, I've only done that like once. Oh, it didn't work. It ha I think it has to be like quite cold. Like it needs to be like maybe like minus 10. Oh, use corn syrup. Okay, that might be why it didn't work. Yeah, I've done it with maple syrup. Um, I think it's like more of a Quebec thing. I don't know. That was where I tried it, but it was really good. There was a snowstorm too. Oh, dang. Yeah, maple syrup. Oh, maple syrup lemonade. Oh my God, I've never tried that. I do love maple syrup in my coffee. Uh, snowy maple syrup. It was still good. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna... Um, feel free to keep chatting. I'm gonna take a break. I think it'll be... It's 4.10 my time. I don't want to be more than 20 minutes. I'm going to say I'll be back by 4.30, but I think I'll be back before then. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit um, if you're still here. If not, it's been so nice chatting. Um, and I'll see you around at some point, I guess. But, uh, if yeah, if you're still here, we'll chat again. Um, okay. Well, I will be back it's going to be like 15 minutes or 10. Like, I don't know. But I'm going to put a thing that says back by 4.30. So, oh my God, cute. <gasps> oh my God. Very cute. Okay. All right. See you guys later. Be back in a bit.
I'm back again. Um, Yambuni, I know you said you had to head out. Thank you so much for stopping by. It was so fun chatting. Um, apparently I follow you already. I think I just forgot that. I, I don't know. I feel like, have we chatted before? So I'm so sorry if I forgot that. Hi, Kana. How are you doing? Um, yeah, and thank you. I was just checking your chat. Um, let me just see. Do, do, do. Oh, you were saying you don't get snow where you live. Oh. Do you like the snow? Or were you saying you don't really like it? Either is really fair. Um, let me just see. Do, do, do. Okay, I don't think, I don't know if I missed anything. Um, let me know if I did, but uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna get my camera fixed out. All right, we're back to the grind. Um, here we go. <laughs> I'm feeling a little tired, but it, I just made an Earl Grey tea. Um, so I think we'll be okay. It'll all be good. I love snow. Oh, nice. Uh, we don't. We just don't get snow as often as northern states. Oh, okay. That is fair. <clears throat> Did you say you're in Minnesota or was that Ian Booney? Sorry if I got that mixed up. Yeah, I really, I like the snow. I think it's really pretty. Um, I just don't like driving when it's snowing. If it's like snowing, snowing, like wet snow, cause then it's stressful. But I mean, that only happens so often for me. So overall, I do really like it. Oh, that was Ian Booney. Okay, that was that was what I thought. Um, you don't ha you don't have to share where you live if you don't want to. I was just like, oh, like maybe I missed where you said. Oh, Virginia, uh, close to Florida. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I've been to Virginia only in passing, because it's like really common for people in Ontario to like vacation in Florida in the winter. So we've. Like, I've been to Virginia, but only, like, to stay at a hotel or something for the night on our drive there. So, yeah. Do you like it? Do you like it there? I don't know much about it, to be honest. Nice, yeah. I'm pretty happy with where I live. Like, I've grown up in Ontario, so... I have visited other provinces and some of the states not all of them though well i don't think many people have visited all the states but i i've only seen so many of them i really wanted to do like my sisters and i wanted to do a what'd you call it like a cross us road trip i think we were gonna do like the coast kind of just like go all the way around in a circle or something um, we've, we've never ended up doing it though. It'd be a bit of a pricey trip. South half of Virginia is pretty boring. Northern half has lots of nice food places. Oh, it's close to Washington, D.C.? Oh, just joking. Maybe I haven't been to Virginia then. Wait, where's Washington, D.C.? Uh, it's a huge culture mashup up north, which is great. Yeah, yeah, that is really nice. I, I... My US geography is really bad, so. I Okay, I used to be so confused by Washington for the longest time, because I assumed Washington DC was in Washington state, but they're like on opposite sides of the country, aren't they? <laughs> I literally didn't know that until like a few years ago. So that just like goes to show how little I know. But that's okay. I don't, I get the sense Americans don't have a good sense of Canadian geography either. So it's not like we're really out of line. <laughs> yeah. Opposite sides. No big deal. No big deal. Just dead wrong. <laughs> yeah. It's all good. <clears throat> I did talk to the pets, right? I mix them up too. What else learned my geography? It's so confusing. And like, I'm sure there's a reason they're both called Washington, but one has DC. DC is like district something, right? I don't know.
I would totally, I had such a twilight phase because I was like in high school in the District of Columbia. Okay. That's what I thought, but that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> um, but again, I'm not American, so I don't know. I've never been expected to learn that stuff, so. It's funny how, like, distinct Canada and U the U.S. are. Like, we're, like, side by side, but, like, and there's, there's a lot of similarity in, like, some of our culture, but it's interesting how, like, distinct we are, too. I sucked at history and geography. Well, it's confusing. And there's, like, what? How many states? 51? Like, oh my god. I don't think I could name all of them, to be honest. If I had unlimited time, yes. But if I were timed, no. I wouldn't be able to list off all the states. I'd maybe get half. Uh, I think the festival's starting, so I'm gonna save. Actually, let's like, I'll get over there and then I'll save because we might reload it. I don't even think they'll make platinum though. You know what? It would be interesting though. It would be interesting to see. Okay, I can save. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, that's, that's totally fair. I... I have no judgment of that at all. Have you been like, I don't know, have you like traveled outside of Virginia? Like, is there anywhere you really liked? I've been to, I, I went on a road trip to Maine one summer. That was really fun. Like my best friend really liked Maine and was like, let's go to Maine. Oh. I forgot Rick was running the whole thing, so I just like talked to him. Maine was really cool. Um, and I've been to the east coast of Canada a couple times. Oh my god, I have my east coast mug. Okay, wait, one sec. Uh, it's from Starbucks. I know I was popping off about Starbucks earlier. I remember in elementary school, they gave us a blank map of the states and we had to label all of them. <gasps> it sucked. Yeah, I bet. Also, my hair is really wonky. Um, Okay, I don't want to spill it. It's very full. This is my Starbucks Atlantic Canada mug. I think that's Newfoundland and Labrador. My camera might be flipped right now. I don't know what that is. I can't read it. Um, yeah, I got this when I road tripped over there. Did I ever get a main mug? No, I wanted a Starbucks main mug, but I think I never found one. Oh, which is so sad because I, I was collecting the Starbucks travel mugs. Um, like travel hard ceramic mugs and I have a Quebec one too oh I brought it down I had the Quebec one earlier yeah I really like it um and my mom she moved out uh to the east coast like a year or so ago so I don't know it's kind of cute makes me think of her even though I got it on a road trip with my boyfriend that she wasn't on so anyway Okay, yeah, and I mentioned this earlier, like, I've done this so many times that I've stopped reading every line of dialogue, because it just, like, takes forever. Alright, let's give this a try. I don't know how good this is gonna go. Actually, I want to see what our affection is like. I can't. Just joking. Alright, so this is kind of a chicken fight festival. And I totally thought they censored this out of the remake, but they didn't. They don't like fight each other. They, it's more just like scaring the other chicken out of the ring. Let's hear the rules. Okay, cheer on your chicken while they vie to push the other chicken out of the ring. And there's three rounds. Um, cheer your chicken. But what? Cheering for them when they cluck may startle the other chicken. Oh. If the other bird is in front of yours when you startle them, they will chicken out and flee the ring. But if you turn on their chicken when they're facing the edge of the ring, they might run out themselves. Okay, so I'm trying to cheer for them when, cheer for my chicken when they're making a noise and they're not facing, like they're facing the other chicken. Okay. I don't know if we'll win this because this chicken only has like three or four hearts of affection with us. Or like five. Let's go. Uh oh, okay, okay. I gotta cool it. I gotta cool it because they're looking around. 
Uh-oh. Okay. No! Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay, Terry. We got this, we got this. Just turn around, just turn around. Come on, baby. Oh. Oh, shit. I think the other chicken's walking itself out. It's fine. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, this is so crazy. Our chicken's affection is kind of low, so it means they're not really going to do a very good job. Yeah, you get yourself out of the ring. No! This is bullshit. Get out. Get out, I said. Ugh. No, stop. Ugh. Come on, turn around, turn around. <laughs> oh, it's not over, it's not over. It's not over. Oh, shit. Yeah, this might be too difficult. All right. Well, we tried. It's, what did you say to me? There's no room for paltry poultry at this festival. Maybe, Rick, you should go... Oh, wait. I've been to Virginia, Maryland, North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, and New York. New York was kind of an accident. Oh, not sure what state to pass to to get there. That's valid. I was never good at that mini game. Yeah, it's... <sighs> that was tough. I don't think it's worth retrying because it's just like... I didn't, I didn't think it was going to happen anyway. We'd be here all day trying to get it to work. Why does Bianco hate me? Yeah, Terry's literally only at three hearts. Wait, what actually happened with Bianco? What? Bianco's not the newest one. Terry is. Why is Bianco so upset? <sighs> it is what it is. What is Bianco at? Oh, yeah, okay, okay. I was like, maybe I should have entered Bianco instead, but no. Okay. Did I talk to Pumpkin? Okay. All right, let's go figure out, like, Bianco was the one who ran out for the cutscene. Why are we sussy sad? What's happening? Are we out of feed? No, it's just that Terry wasn't here. I don't know what that's about, like, all about. Alright, well, let's finish watering stuff. Okay. I've also been to Alberta, like specifically, okay, wait, no, I did go to Calgary, which is like their main city. They also have Edmonton, so that might not be true. I was trying to find the next county over because my dad said there was a close sale at one of the stores. Oh, and I got lost. <gasps> it was supposed to be a 30 minute drive turned into six hours. What the, how does that even happen? Did you not have like navigation or something? I've definitely gotten really, not necessarily lost, but like I missed a turn and my nav, like, okay, I used to have a Blackberry as my cell phone back in the day. Um, and then, I'm trying to figure out how to water these things. Um, it would navigate me, but then just like stop yelling out instructions so often I would just like keep driving and be like when's the turn and then I'd look over and it'd be like off I'm like fuck okay so I've gotten pretty like derailed that way but like 30 minute driving to six hours god damn that's brutal I had a GPS and took me far away 
I was unaware of time that much because I was still new to driving, so it felt not that long. Oh my god, that's so funny. Like, half an hour? Yeah, this feels about right. Oh my gosh. That is really wild. Did I water everything? I think I did. Okay. Alright, well we did our diddly dang best. I don't think it's worth retrying, like, it just is what it is. Oh yeah, navigating used to be so bad with my Blackberry. Oh, internet being weird, oh no! Um, I, if you missed what I was saying, I was just saying like, that's just like, I don't know, it's so funny to me that like, I guess it's interesting, I don't know if I have a good sense of time either, so to think like, yeah, I don't know, it feels like it's this far away, and then it's just like so off course, it's kind of funny to me, that's all I was saying. Hello? I want this little sheep, Patch, you're like stuck in here. No. Polly. Oh, I already talked to you, so it didn't matter. Oh, okay. Trying not to stress about this cow festival. <laughs> Trying not to stress. I think it'll be fine, because I think... Cookie is like new, and I'm pretty sure that's who we want to enter. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Can I sip my tea while doing this? Almost. Do you have a favorite tea at all? Mine is definitely Earl Grey. Oh, you're back! Yay! That's good. <clears throat> Welcome back. I know it's weird when internet kind of flares up. Okay. Is Bianca like butthurt? I didn't choose them for the chicken festival? Is that what's happening? Like, I, this is so bewildering to me. I don't understand how this happened. I don't know. <clears throat> oh. oh, your favorites, Jasmine Matcha Green Tea. Oh my God, that sounds incredible. Yeah, jasmine and green tea is really, really good. Oh, yum. That's a good pick. Mine is Earl Grey. I can't remember if I said that already. Earl Grey with like a little like... Like a lavender Earl Grey would be like peak. Like primo. Mmm. I used to be such a tea person. There was this store called David's Tea. I think they're still in business, but they closed a bunch of their stores where they have like loose leaf tea, um, like kind of like pretty cans and stuff like that. And I was like, I'm not sure what the word is. I spent a lot of money on tea and it would like go stale before I could use it all. But I was just so into it because I always had like, oh, like buy three for the price of two or something. Um, so it was really hard to resist getting more than I needed. Yeah, I, I kind of became a coffee person anyway. So like, they started going out of business like after that point. I don't even know if they're out of business. I don't know what's up with them. I think they had a big controversy or something that maybe hurt their business. Like, I don't really know. Okay, being a little Harvest Sprite would be such a cute cosplay. Mm. 
<sighs> but yeah, that was the time. Just leaf tea. Hello, Cherry. I just, okay, I don't know if you guys saw that. Cherry was like out of bounds, like way on the left. Um, maybe if I record it. Will I be able to show you guys? Cause it's in like the top right corner. We used to have a place called Tibana. <gasps> they had loose leaf, uh, loose tea and tea supplies, super nice. Were they bought by Starbucks or something? Wait, why is this filtered? Oh. Shoot. My date is all messed up, so <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be really hard to find it. No, that was not it. Oh Jesus, this is gonna be too difficult. I changed the date on my switch, so this never mind. It's gonna be really hard to find. Anyway, if I can find it later, I'll I'll try to show you, but um, basically like the fence on the side, like I saw Cherry zoom over and he was just like standing there, like out of bounds. Like I can't walk over there, but that's where he was. Um, I have no idea what happened to them. They kind of disappeared and I see Tivana stuff at Walmart. Yeah, it's kind of the same with David's tea. Um, hello, are you home, Iris? Oh my god. Another heart event, wow. Oh, Cliff! I'm so sorry for dropping in on you. Do you have time to talk? I came to invite you out today, Iris. Okay. Would you like to go foraging for wild fruits and veggies with me? If you've got other plans, no worries. The way you can't say no to them. I, I would say yes anyway. I just feel bad. I've led on everybody, but I'm gonna marry the goddess. Are you sure, Iris? I'm glad you said yes, thanks. Then let's get going. Hmm. I do really like Cliff. We've come pretty far into the forest now, so maybe around here is good? I hope we bring home a whole basket full. Wouldn't that be nice, Iris? Where are we? Oh, we're in the like place you have to break the rocks to get to. Look, Iris, there are a bunch over here as well. Okay, I just made up what it said. That's fine. Good work. You're so quick and you've really got an eye for finding them. That moment when you're trying to, just trying to be nice people and everyone takes it as you wanted to go with them. I know. I did give everyone the preserved flower, which means like, let's date. So I'm kind of dating everyone right now. Because it's an achievement. It's an achievement to do it. I didn't expect to get this much. Oh. I'll let you have them all. Let's offer them to the goddess or let's give them to the townspeople. How rude would that be? Like, can we give it to the person who I actually want to marry? Maybe it's to the townspeople. That seems like the nice thing. Sharing them with the townspeople. That's a great idea. But I wonder if bringing them without any notice would just end up being more of a bother than anything. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Oh. You don't think so? We should just go? Yeah, if you say so, Iris. Oh my god, this is cute. I see, so that's why you came here. Mighty kind of you to go to all that trouble, Iris and Cliff. Yes, these will work wonders for us. We're so busy at the vineyard, vineyard? That we don't have time to go to the forest. I'm glad you like them. Well, we'll excuse ourselves now. Oh, okay. The general store people, the inn people, Carter, and now Duke and Mana. They all greeted us with smiles. I was really touched by that. It's rare for me to initiate anything like this myself, but recently I've started to change my way of thinking. If Cliff doesn't believe in the goddess, it just sees you dump all the stuff you both gathered. <laughs> Into a pond with no contacts. Oh my god, that actually be so funny. I wonder what happens if you say that. Is he just like, oh, okay. I wonder. I'm really glad I worked up the nerve to invite you out today, Iris. When I'm with you, I feel like like this town is where I belong. Thanks, Iris, for coming along with me. Oh. 
That was really cute. Okay, I don't remember what we were doing. Oh, we went back into our house to put stuff in the fridge. Okay. Yeah, it was cute. Okay. <clears throat> Is this someone's birthday? Sorry, I just went in and in and out like a hundred times. No. We're fine. Alright, let's go gift the goddess. Then we'll go fishing. Yay, I love the pink cat flower. It's so effing cute. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the ocean. We can talk to Kai. Is that orange or yellow? I really can't tell. I guess it'll tell us on here. Oh, it's yellow. Oh, yeah. I gave up trying to remember people's birthdays. I know. It's a lot. I wish you could access your calendar from your, like, inventory. The only way I know of is to, like, go to your house and check it. But I wish I could do it on the run, you know? Pirate treasure right away! Amazing! Yeah, it would be nice. I know, there's a couple tiny things... Like, you can't sort your animal list, so it's just a jumbled nightmare. Um, it's a jumbled nightmare. I think it's in the order you get them. But because I've had to sell animals, because I had to, like, breed them to get up to eight hearts, and they gain a heart each time you breed, like, it's annoying. Oh, yes. Um, I've had to sell them, but it doesn't bump the list. It's like the next animal would fill their spot. So that's why the list is so jumbled. Like, it's so annoying. I'm like, please let me sort this list. It's a nightmare to look at. Um, or at least have everyone's birthdays next to their name. Yeah. Wait. Oh, okay. Whoops. Hold up. Wait, is that a thing? It does have their birthday here, but you'd have to like check each one. Which is strong-willed and dependable like her mother, but can't cook to save her life. That's so funny because it's true. That would be confusing. Yeah, literally, like, look at this. How do you make sense of this? I have at least two fruit cows. I have at least two coffee cows. Are they side by side? No. Like, it's just a mess. It makes me so angry. I made a list. That's too time consuming. Yeah. I did make a list of all my animals in like a Google Doc where I've like, I basically have just been like tracking the things the game doesn't track for you. Um, like certain shipping things, planning when to breed the animals. Um, so I've made the list of all my animals there. So that is helpful, but yeah, it, I don't know why the game can't just do it for you. <clears throat> oh dang I thought it was pretty fast so have you have you played the original of this canon I think you said so I have a spiral no oh my god a spiral notebook for all my harvest windows oh I have one, like when I played the original, my sister and I made a guide because we couldn't access the internet at all times, like you kind of can now. And we would like need it for reference. Oh, you've only played the original. Okay. Do you Did you say you have a favorite marriage candidate? I can't remember. But not everyone's into that. Like some people are like, no, I don't marry anyone. I just play it. I'm like, all right, that's cool. That's fair. Couldn't be me, because I'm here for the emotional investment. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I have a cute little spiral notebook too. Oh my god. I love that. <clears throat> I 
I love the like green glow, like we're going Super Saiyan or something. Oh, potpourri. I love potpourri. Yeah, potpourri so sweet. Or Cliff. Yeah, Cliff is a good choice. I've married him too. I do really like gray. I liked gray more than Cliff in the original. I didn't like Cliff's outfit though. It was kind of hard for me to get over. Okay, it's midnight. Whoops. That's fine. Ugh. Right on the eyes. I don't know why it does that. I swear I'm clicking my house and it's like, <laughs> oh, is this not watered? Wait, I can't tell. Wait, what's not watered here? Hold up, I'm turning up the brightness on my monitor. Did they not water it at all? Or are my eyes just playing tricks on me? No. There wasn't that much. No, my eyes are playing tricks on me. Okay, okay. Ugh. <clears throat> That's just what happens when you've been playing this song, I guess. Oh, I would give anything to wear that crown. Oh my god, it's so cute. Like, I have three in here because I'm like, I just want to wear it. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff. Okay. Okay, I'm turning the brightness back down because my eyes are sensitive. I don't need that. Gray was kind of intimidating. Oh, for me to want to be with as a kid. Yeah, that is really understandable. I think I... Do I have a type? I don't know. I think my type would be like shy, quiet. So Gray and Cliff both stood out to me because of that. Same with Ellie and Marie. God damn. Um, but Karen was the first person I married. I don't know why. Like, I mean, I just thought she was really pretty. That's why. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's anyone's birthday. Let me check. No. The next birthday is of the 11th. Okay. Oh my god. Let's get to that cow festival. Jesus. I'm so scared about it. We have three cows we can enter in the festival. I'm just hoping they don't all make platinum. God, I don't even want to think about it. It hurts my stomach. <laughs> Shaman's so cute. Oh my god. I did really like Anne as well. I think I was just into the tomboy look. Like, I really loved that. Which is kind of weird. I don't know. It's confusing to me. Because, like, I was, like, very much, like, a tomboy when I was younger. But it also went through this phase where I, like, hated anything feminine. Be like, purely, it was pure, like, internalized misogyny as a kid. Like, that's really the only way I can explain it. <laughs> because it only lasted for so long. Um. Wow, I don't know. It's complicated. I don't really know what to think of it. I'm glad I wasn't the only one. Yeah, like that's kind of my type when it comes to like, w like women. Oh my God, it totally is. It's also just weird for me because like, okay, anyway. um, I'm in a like very long-term relationship uh, with like a man. Like we've been together for so, 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 so long. Like. We were together before I was out as bi. So anyway, it's just a weird, weird thing. It's not weird. I don't want to call it weird. It's more just like, I don't know, it's confusing. But that's also normal. That's also okay. And it's like a valid part of the queer experience. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm just really popping off for no reason. All right. I think that's the thing too though, because when it comes to the tomboy thing, I'm like, is it gender envy? 
or is it attraction? Like, I don't know, because I was so, like, in A Wonderful Life, I was so into Nami, but I'm a little less now that I'm older. Like, as you get older, they, you know, life changes, that's fine. I'm just like, what is that about? I don't know. I think I just really was, like, envious of, like, her look and stuff. Even though I'm a girl, like, I was a girl, like, so what is there to be envious about? I don't know. It's so confusing. I still don't know much uh, about myself in that topic. Yeah, that's okay. I know. I like Nami for the tomboy look, too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I do, I do really love Nami. Let's pop these away. Alright. Do we need to ask more sprites for help? Yeah. Look at them. Their friendship falls kind of fast, I've noticed. Alright, let's um let's go ask them for help, I guess. I don't know if they'll even be awake. I don't know when they open. <laughs> <clears throat> what the fuck? What time did they wake up? I'll go, um, get the goddess. The good old days when harvest sprites actually helped you on the farm. Yeah, I know. It's actually pretty life-changing. It's pretty good. <clears throat> I Yeah, I've been playing a wonderful life special edition. You can't have as many animals as you can have in this game, which is kind of a good thing because it'd be very overwhelming very quickly. But it's so much work looking after the animals each day. And if I ever forget, like I have two sprites who look after the animals in this game and I always have them like overlap because they can't just like permanently work for you. It's like max seven days and then they take a day off. Which makes sense. Yeah, Brandon's new. So is Jennifer. This is Jennifer. Um, lovely people of this town know how to make excellent conversation. They hold a real reverence for Mother Nature. She's kind of like very like into nature, spiritual. I, her outfit's whack AF. Um, I don't know who designed her outfit. This is Brandon. I will occasionally stroll through this locale, searching for inspiration and in materials like He's an artist, but he's kind of snobby. And I know another streamer who married him. And his his dialogue when you're married is so rude. Like, he's... I'm trying to think what else he says. Like... Oh, he says something about how you've gained weight when you're pregnant. Which is, like, a normal thing. But he's like, maybe you should get off your feet more. Like, he says something like that. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, Jennifer is lovely. She does not like Carter. Me too. I also don't like Carter. This town is wonderfully free. Everyone living orderly lives in harmony with one another. I find it fantabulous. They both have very interesting um, vocabulary. <laughs> Look at Jennifer's outfit though. Like, I think they were going for like lumberjack. Here, you can see it here. Cause it's, it, it bothers me so much. Um, <laughs> like, what are we wearing? Like, her hat is, like, I don't think it's intended to be Canadian, but it, it reminds me of, like, the, like, winter caps you wear with the long strings. And then she's wearing, like, what do you call that? Like, um, like a crop top thing, which is, like, okay, but with the warm hat? I'm just so confused by her outfit. Fashionable Nordic? Like, it's Nordic, but then I get, like, Eastern style. I'm just so confused. I'm like, why? <laughs> what is this look? The hat reminds me of alpaca. Like, that's what I mean. Like, the hat is, like, warm, warm, heavy. Like, oh, like, that looks like a winter hat. But then she's got, like, the crop top and the, like... There's nothing wrong with the crop top, but it's just, like... I don't understand. I just... It's really confusing to me. Anyway, whatever. It's not for me to understand, I guess. Like, that's fine. I just felt really confused. Because it kind of 
seem like they're going for like a lumberjack look. Oh shit, I didn't go to the sprites yet. Um, like I love a lumberjack look. Yes, that's what the like red and black plaid. It's not plaid, it's checkers, whatever. So it's just, it's very confusing to me. Oh, I need help harvesting. They're gonna be ready at some point. I don't know when. Fashion itself is confusing to me. Yeah, that's fair. I, I've i never been like... What's the word? Um... I guess I've never been like into fashion. Like I never read magazines or anything like that as a kid. Water or harvest? I think I gotta do harvest. I don't know when the pineapples are gonna be ready. Yeah, but I will say I do find things, I don't know. Like if there's like a new trending thing, I'm kind of like, oh, I'm into that, you know? I just wear long jeans and t-shirts. Yeah, that's really valid. I, through the pandemic, cause I worked from home throughout it, uh, which was like new. I was used to wearing business casual and then it was like, I don't have to dress up for work cause no one's seeing me. I'm just sitting here. Um, I definitely just fully embrace, like, I don't know what you call it, like, lounge or casual wear. Hey, Nemo! Welcome back! I hope your afternoon has been good. We lost the chicken festival, if you missed it, because I, <laughs> I, like, forgot about it. We didn't need to win it, so it was okay. Um, but yeah, the cow festival's coming up, so we're just chilling yeah i was working okay okay that's true i just thought it oh yay i just thought i would fill you in in case you missed anything <clears throat> yeah so i'm big into loungewear now like i'm just like why be uncomfortable like if i'm going out um you could argue leggings are loungewear as well. I only wear jeans if I'm going, <laughs> like, I don't wear jeans at home. Jeans are not comfortable to me. I'll wear leggings when I go out, like, I, I don't know. Sometimes I just wear my, um, they're joggers. Is that what they're called? They're like, they're kind of like sweatpants, but they're fitted. They're like fitted sweatpants. Yeah, I think that's what joggers are. Like I wear those out cause I'm like, and they also have like really baggy sweatpants. Like that's what I'm wearing right now. But I'm very into just like loose, comfy, breezy shirts, sweaters. That's like my fashion sense right now. And I'm kind of here for it. Because yeah. I don't know, like, why be uncomfortable, honestly? <clears throat> it also feels kind of budget friendly, too. Like, I'm sure if I had, like, a better, like, a bigger clothes budget, I would wear fancier stuff that I'm sure could be comfortable. But uh, that's not the case, so why, you know? <clears throat> oh, damn. Wow, we're like five hours into this. We did take a break, so that's good. I wear the comfy athletic sweatpants things at home. Yeah! Not like the uncomfy ones that grip your legs at the bottom. Yeah, that's so, that's really fair. I do have these joggers from Costco. Costco? Clothes are kind of awesome. Um, 
and they're actually really comfy like I do they're a little more like fitted so sometimes they grip the bottom of my legs and then I'm like oh but most of the time it's pretty comfortable I feel like jeans and stuff shrink too fast oh unless it's not comfy or preferable I I never put my jeans in the dryer is that a thing you do it's okay if you do. I'm just like, yeah, that's always my concern is that I'll finally find pants that fit comfortably and then they'll shrink <laughs> and, and now they don't fit comfortably. Yeah, I've never dried my jeans because um, it feels too risky to me. Leggings are a good medium. Yeah, I agree. I haven't been to Costco in a good while. Oh, you put your jeans in the dryer all the time. Honestly, I think once you've done it once, then that's the like they're only gonna shrink like once and if they shrink beyond that it'll be like a tiny bit so that's fair i think for me i'm just too scared and i could do a little more we get another crown who knows <sighs> yeah re i remember when leggings first came out it was all like oh so indecent wearing leggings <laughs> i'm like okay I don't know. I feel like I was part of that. Like, like people were like slut shamed for wearing leggings. Yay, another crown. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, I I am not a perfect person. I had a lot of internalized misogyny. I probably still do, you know, because it's not like kind of the society we live in. It's hard to be completely rid of it. Oh hell yeah, that's so much money. I wear relaxed fit jeans so they're never tight or form fitting. Oh. Huh. Like, I can't even imagine what that is. Like, relaxed fit jeans. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I think I did because. Because I did figure skating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, I think leggings started as an athletic thing. Like, oh, you do gymnastics, you do figure skating. And then it became like more than athletic. It was like, oh, it's like an everyday wear now thing. Okay, I said that really weird. Like Lululemon, right? Like, oh, now you wear Lululemon. It's not just for yoga, it's for every day. Um, I'm just gonna close the blind because it's like dark outside now. And I don't want people being able to just like watch the show from the street, you know, so. Oh. <clears throat> I've never worn leggings because it's not my specific style. Yeah, that's totally fair, but they look nice on others. Yeah. I remember someone whose name starts with a K Oh, yeah. <laughs> Telling your dad I shouldn't wear leggings on ice because people watch us skate. Uh-huh. So I had to wear jeans and I literally got in trouble for it from my coach. What the fuck? Ugh. I think it's weird when people police, especially kids, like, first of all, police what people are wearing. Um, but also like like kids because you're just like inherently sexualizing them you know what i mean it's just like i guess you could argue like from a parental perspective it's like you're trying to protect them but i'm like i don't know it's figure skating and like i don't know relaxed with jeans are what jeans used to be like it's not hugging your whole legs like skin tight jeans they don't flare out at the bottom so they don't flare out but they don't like Okay, okay. I think I can. I think I can understand what that looks like then. Hmm. Huh. I'm very like. Like I'm a millennial. I don't think that's a surprise. But I will have a hard time letting go of my skinny fit jeans, only because I I have a pair. I've managed to find like skinny jeans that are comfortable, but I like when they're like they look like cinched at the bottom. I have a hard time with the flare jeans. Like, it's not that I think they look bad. I just can't picture it on me. I remember being in grade five and being talked to about her dress code. Teacher said she thinks it's weird to police kindergarten's clothes. And I said, what about us though? And she was like, 
Oh, it gets your kids too. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, why are we, I'm trying to think like what outfit would I have a hard time with a kid wearing? Like, I think for me, it's like, it's like nudity. Like, I wouldn't want my kid walking around nude. But then it's like, okay, so you cover the butt and you cover the top. Like, that's, it doesn't need to be, I, I don't know, like, ugh, yeah, I have a whole issue with dress code. Like, booty shirts? Oh, like, when your kid and someone tells you to draw pants. And they draw pretty much Minecraft pants. Oh, for the loose fit jeans. Yeah, that is a good way to explain it, I think. Where it's just kind of like the straight leg. Is that it? Like, straight leg? Yeah, booty shirts maybe. Well, more just so like... I've definitely had booty shirts where I've looked in the mirror and be like, Oh shit, my whole like ass cheek is out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Didn't know that. Um, so I think I wouldn't want my kid to be like that. I don't know. Oh, wow, that's a tricky... Because it's like, well, then you're sexualizing that. And it's like, and you shouldn't sexualize children, obviously. But it's like, I don't know. But then there's also like, like actual like pedos out there. I wouldn't, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. Ugh, yeah. Even like, I went to like a uniform high school where we wore uniforms and even that was like policed so fucking hard. And I'm like, can we relax? Like, Jesus Christ. I, my whole body's covered. What are we talking about? You know? Straight leg. Feels relaxed anyway, you bend or crouch. That sounds really nice, honestly. And I feel like that's kind of in right now. Like, I know you're saying you're not like super in the know or like about what's fashionable, but... I feel like that's kind of a thing, isn't it? That's like fashionable again. Yeah, cause skinny jeans are kind of out right now. Um, do I have to do anything else for these chickens? I think I'm fine. Hopefully I've been remembering to water these. God, I don't know. I think I have been. We've had a couple heart events, so I feel a little, like, confused about time. <clears throat> I have no idea what's in the trend. My sister usually follows all of that. Yeah, I feel like for me too, like, um, my sisters are more fashionable than I am. So sometimes I can just be like, oh, your outfit's so cute today. And then like, huh, noted, that looks nice. And maybe I will look for something like that too. Um... That's usually, I don't know. That's usually how fashionable I get, I guess. I don't hear the harvest sprites. What's the situation? Are they here? Oh, uh, there's only... <gasps> They're both harvesting. No one's watering. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't realize. That's fair. Yeah. Kind of on topic off topic like I feel like social media would be a place for learning about new trends and stuff like that I'm thinking about maybe like I have a Twitter and Instagram for um, the channel I kind of do find myself mindlessly scrolling a lot and I'm like, ugh, I don't want to be doing that. Like I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do a better job of catching myself where I'm like, okay, okay. Like clearly I'm, why am I doing this? Like, am I avoiding something? Am I bored? Cause if I'm half the time, maybe I should do something I actually want to do. So I do try to catch myself, but I'm tempted to like uninstall Twitter and Instagram because they do use up a chunk of my time for kind of no reason. I don't even post on either unless it's for the stream and I could just do that from my computer. And I usually just post once a week, like before or after the stream, like maybe twice a week. Um, Man, I don't know. It's just something I've been thinking about. 
I have Twitch and Discord. Discord, I just post snackies. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. Okay, watering done. We need to go ask the sports for help. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh my goodness. This is like a whole... I'm just like in this like loop because we've been playing this for so long today. A loop of like, and now another seven days have passed. So I need to ask the sprites again. Like, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Um, I'm going to get you to harvest mint. Okay, I'm going to take a second to stretch. Oh, thank you for that, Kana. Oh my God, literally you did that. I didn't even see, I didn't even see that you did that. I was literally just like, oh, my neck kind of hurts. Um, yeah, I'm literally gonna do that right now. So this is good for everybody. Anyone who feels like it, if you haven't stretched in a while, if you haven't had a drink, I really appreciate the reminder. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, my neck is like, I don't know. I find myself like craning to look at the screen and I don't need to, it's so big and it's sitting right in front of my face, you know? So this is helpful. <clears throat> I usually do, well, I guess you guys will see the ones I do. I don't know. Okay. I hope this isn't weird. I don't know. I'm just like doing <laughs> these stretches. <laughs> I don't think it's weird. Okay. Ugh. I've also I learned this one where you, you kind of like tuck your your head back because it's like this muscle back here. Instead of going like this, you're like really like stretching it the other way. Maybe not the most flattering, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, that already feels so much better. Ugh. <clears throat> Is computer screen too low? No, I don't think so. If anything, it might be a little too high. Like if I'm like looking, I'm kind of touching the middle of the screen when I do this. It's like the same level as my, I have like my laptop here, which is what I stream from. And then my monitor is connected to the switch and capture card. They teach you neck stretch as a kid for a reason. I was not taught next, or was I? I don't know. I feel like it's something I had to teach myself as an adult when I started working from home because I was like, what the f <laughs> my body hurts. I'm not used to sitting here all day. Mm. Oh my God, that tea's really good. Thank you again for that, Can I, I really appreciate that. Oh. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. Okay, let's ask for help. Yeah, I, oh man, I'm trying to fix my posture right now because this is, you know what I think I need? Rolling neck slowly both directions, shoulder rolls. Oh, I didn't do shoulder rolls. And when um, I learned through like, this like, wait, where did I learn this from? I don't know, it's, um, what is it called? It's like muscle tension release or something where you literally like, it's for your shoulders. Okay, we're, we're doing a mini demonstration apparently. Um, you like, it's supposed to help you with like, to like release stress from your body. Um, so you can do this like, you know, in like body groups, like head to toe. I usually just do my shoulders though. Um, where you like, you do this and you do it as like, as tight as you can. And then you like slowly release. Ooh, it actually feels really nice. And as you release, you're supposed to focus on like how nice it feels to like slowly release. But the idea is like you're tensing up like as you're tensing that as tight as you can. It shouldn't hurt you though. It's not supposed to hurt. So if it's hurting, maybe you're doing it too tight. Um, but that's a really helpful one that I do every now and then, especially if I'm feeling stressed and I'm just trying to like Ooh, like let that go yeah <clears throat> I did it really fast just then but anyway okay all right let's ask for help definitely do that more often tis indeed relaxing yeah um 
it's called like muscle tension release or something because I've done when I first learned about it I it was like through therapy or something there's like a guided one you can listen to where it's like okay and now you're tensing up your hands and now you're tensing up your feet like and it's like it does it head to toe like not your whole body at once but just like in groups which is really nice I remember just feeling like like jello because you're like you're supposed to like lie down when you do it um that's a good one It's kind of nice too because I feel like when I when my muscles get tense I worry that like oh they're so tense like I might like strain it and now it's gonna hurt like I I start to get like a little worried about that but by like doing this and I'm like oh my god I just tensed it as hard as I can and it's fine like it kind of relieves <clears throat> that like worry. But it's like a micro worry. I'm not like sitting there actually worried. It's more just like, like, oh, it's so tight. I'm kind of trying to brace myself for when I strain it and now it's hurting more. Thanks for the tips. Yeah, hopefully it wasn't too like, I don't know, it's kind of like unprovoked, but it's just like, well, if we're gonna stretch, here's what I do. I think I don't need more than this. Oh my God, looking at all those power berries, so clean, so clean. Let's go fishing. I think we're... Oh, Jennifer's here. I do like Jennifer. Oh, you're going to the end of the... Oh, where are you going? Why did she go to the end of the dock? That was kind of fucked up. Like, it wasn't fucked up, but I was just like... Oh, she paces. I've never noticed that. So will she get stuck if I'm like... Yeah. Okay, you know what? It's okay. We're gonna go um, to our private beach house. Here we go. We'll fish from here. I don't want to get in Jennifer's way. Look at the waves. Oh, like the graphic is simple when you sit and look at it, but it there's something so pleasing about it. It's like jelly, like, I don't know. <clears throat> Yay. I used to think pirate treasure was so rare, but it's, it's actually not. Like once your fishing rod is upgraded enough, I think I clipped it. Um, Cause we were trying to get every fish and also every item you can fish to like ship it to complete the shipping log to marry the harvest goddess and it's like okay today's the day we're gonna get like pirate treasure and it was literally the first thing we caught i was like wait no no that was the power berry wasn't it maybe that was the power berry because there's a power berry you can get in the ocean um and i like never fish in this game unless i had to but now i fish just to make money i guess um but we literally got a first try and I was like blown away. Like we showed up to be just like, all right, let's, let's just fish. Let's get that power berry at some point. And we caught it first one. I was like, I was really shocked. But yeah, the pirate treasure is actually not that rare, which is good for me. That's good. It's good. It's good. <clears throat> oh, that's okay, Iris. That's okay. I'm glad we're making we're making pretty steady progress today. I fish and started to get more, most of my currency to get started. Quick and easy cash. Oh, how do you, how, oh nice. How do you feel about the fishing in Stardew? Because I feel like it has a like notorious reputation for like being really difficult. I find it really difficult. But I think as you get experience, it's supposed to be like you unlock things that make it easier. 
So maybe I never gave it enough of a chance. I think my mom wants to play Stardew Valley, which is nice. But she bought this game and hated it. She's like, I don't know why she didn't like it. She just said she hated it. <laughs> so I'm like, I think she's trying to ask me like, oh, like, do you think I'd like Stardew? But I'm like, Stardew felt very inspired by Friends of Mineral Town. Like Harvest Moon in general, but to, oh, to me it felt specifically Friends of Mineral Town. Just given the town size, like the number of villagers, so I'm like, would you like Stardew? I can't do fishing and Stardew without mods. Oof. Yeah, that's okay. You do what you gotta do, you know? <clears throat> Haven't struggled with it aside from the super fast indecisive fish that freaks out all over the place. Yeah. That is fair. Um, I think we try to avoid the, the term like spaz here, but, um, but that's okay. Like now, you know, um, yeah, it, yeah, they're like, I think it was the same for me where it's okay sometimes until suddenly it's not okay very quickly. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I just, I just thought I would let you know. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna put these away. I don't know why I hold on to these branches. Like, they're kind of hard to find otherwise. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah, no worries at all. No worries. Did I? Okay, I think we're good to go. This one? Yeah. Oh, we should change our outfit. <laughs> We're still wearing the cherry blossom one. Usually we just wear it for festivals and then we just like forget to change out of it. So if you guys want a certain outfit, there is a channel point redemption for it too. Um, like I'm happy to take suggestions anytime. The channel point redemption is for like, I'm telling you what outfit to wear. So that is always there. Ooh, maybe mint. I don't know if that's summery enough. Mint to me is very spring. Yellow? Maybe this one. Okay, we'll wear this one. I love that this one has like the trans colors on it. Oh my god, look how erratically these were watered. It's fine. Ugh, it's not good. I'm so nervous about this cow festival. Ooh, cotton candy! Yeah, it is a really cute outfit. It's a good one. I'm excited to see what outfits are in A Wonderful Life. I know they've kind of revealed some of them. And they've said Japan has like a couple DLC outfits. I mean, this game had DLC outfits, so like, I would think, I would expect the new one too. But I'm really excited to see, um, I know, I'm just excited. I also get a month, okay, so we still don't have a release date. I'm ex, oh god, I don't know actually. Like they've said summer 2023, so who knows what that means. But I do get... I think I have August off, like where I'm not in school or anything. So, you know, I do want to like travel and like spend time with friends and stuff. But like when I'm not doing those things, <laughs> you know what game I'll be playing, you know? Look how fast they are. Holy moly. Like that's why I can't sleep in in the morning because <clears throat> I have to like book it before they get here. Wow. Wow. We've still never seen an X egg. That makes me scared. The chances are like, it's like one in 200 something. The percent is 0 0.4. So I know it's like really rare. 
but we've been making platinum eggs for a long time now so it's, uh, yeah I think we'll get to a point though where like literally all we're waiting for is X products so we'll just like save before bed each night that's what I've heard people have suggested doing for marrying the goddess and getting it like when all that's left is waiting for X products Basically, I, I think I've explained this, but for anyone who hasn't heard the explanation, like, once your animals are at eight hearts, they can win their festival. Um, they can then make gold products, and once they've spent a thousand hours outside, they can make platinum. And then the platinum product has a, like, 0.4% chance of being an X product, uh, like, at random. But you need to ship the X product to marry the harvest goddess. So that's why that's what that is um yeah once we're at the point where like all the animals have won their festivals they're all making platinum we're just waiting for x products people have said like just save the night before because it takes time to play through whole days um and if that's all you're trying to get like just save the night before check all the animal products and reload and just keep doing that until you're you have an x one okay great ship it save the day and play the next day and just repeat oh so at some point at some point we'll we'll do that but um we're not there yet so that's okay but I I'm always eyeing those eggs because they've been platinum for a long time and I'm like when will we get X like when will it happen <clears throat> Oh, I should be watering stuff now that I think about it. Let's see. Kind of forget to do that. Okay. So we started summer with just just over four million. I'm really curious what end of summer will be like because of all these like pineapples and our like search for pirate treasure strat, which seems to be working well for us. Gonna be rich. Yeah, we need 10 million to get the, the house in town. Um, which we don't need to marry the goddess, but it's kind of just like a goal we're working on as well. Cause like, I don't know, what else are we gonna do? May as well save up money. Okay. Oh yeah, they're here to harvest and there's something to harvest. Who else? There's other sprites here to do work, but I don't. Maggie, hello. I'm gonna cut more grass because we can. These weeds bother me so much. I hate seeing them. The rats are gonna hate this announcement, but they don't run this city. We do. I said that totally wrong because it's been forever since I've heard that audio. <laughs> on TikTok. Oh yeah, I think I'm straight up. I was I was saying this to me earlier. I think I'm straight up uninstalling TikTok when school starts because it, it really does like, I don't know, it puts me under a spell where I'm like, okay, I know I said it would stop by this time, but I'm just having so much fun watching that maybe this is what I need right now. And there's like, no, you need sleep. Go to sleep. So... That'll be a thing. I'll stop making TikTok references all the time. TikTok is good though. There's so much good stuff on there, but yeah, it's time consuming for sure. Never had TikTok, uh, but I always hear people being addicted to it. It's very addicting. And like, I don't think it's inherently bad. Like, like, TikTok was a genuine coping mechanism for me when work was really stressful and stuff. Because, like, after work, oh my god. It was just, work was just so awful. Like, awful to the max. But anyway. Um, like, after work, I would literally just lie on bed and, 
like on my bed and watch TikTok for an hour. <laughs> and that was a way to like, I don't know what to say, like detox my system from like the horribleness of the day. Um, yeah, and that's valid. Like, I don't know, that helped me get through it. Like, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but I think it's just like not helpful to me now. Like I don't need that coping mechanism anymore, so. What is our sprite situation? Nice, yeah. It was nice. Wait, it's someone's birthday today, isn't it? Oh, let me check. It's Basil's birthday. He likes grass, but not white grass. So that's annoying. I could just teleport home and get some grapes. Shit, okay. Let's do that, because he doesn't like me that much, so I may as well... Did I harvest the grapes already? I did. I'll just go grab one. From the fridge. Can I teleport from inside? Wow. Game changer. I don't know why I thought you couldn't. Oh, it's Monday, so they're on the mountain? Or are they gone already? I, th I think they're gone already, so where would they be? Teleporting so nice. I know. I kind of avoided it once we got the teleport stone, but it saves so much time. It yeah, it is really nice. Um, I mean, they might be at the end. Where is that man? Okay. I don't know, man. I'm trying to give you a birthday gift. Maybe they're home now? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna fish. Um, man, I feel bad missing his birthday, but I'm just like, where are you at? <laughs> A lot of stuff in, like, this journey to bring the Harvest Goddess has been very doable. Like, I got the Teleport Stone from mining. It was really difficult to do in the original because you could hit dead ends, there weren't elevators, ugh, a whole thing. But in this one, there are no dead ends. There's also now holes on some floors so you can like skip a few levels at a time. Um, and there's elevators, so like it's a lot easier. So some of the things I thought would be really difficult, oh my god, I think mining was my favorite. All those dead ends, I know brutal and you kind of needed two save files to avoid the dead ends because you would save like each level you're at so that if it was a dead end you could go back to the previous floor to reload the next one but i'm pretty sure there were only two save files and like me and my one sister would always play so she would have a save file and i would so i couldn't i couldn't use that method because i didn't want to save over her file that would be <laughs> really mean <laughs> um Okay, no treasure yet, but he might be at the end. That sounded really messed up in my ear just now. I don't know why. I think a dog was barking at the same time and it like, ec oh, Basil. <sighs> okay, um. Wow, thanks. I don't know what to say. Who told you it was my birthday? The calendar. I never thought about using that tactic. I just suffered the whole time. Yeah, I only knew that tactic because I like looked at the guide for like how to do it. Big Ocean fan. Oh, Karen. Karen is really into us and I feel, I have to like stop talking to her because I just feel really bad about it. Calendar knows all. Oh, there's pirate treasure. Yay. Okay, officially worth it to fish. Hmm. 
I always thought that'd be kind of cute. Like, I maybe it depends on the workplace. Cause like you never, I would never know anyone's birthdays unless like they were like on my team or something. But I never wanted to miss it, and then I would feel bad. But I'm like, oh, I wish we just had like a calendar where I could see. But birthday is like very personal. It is like personal information, so I get, you know, not just like the default being everyone knows your birthday. Have I even shared my birthday on stream? I don't think so. Because I'm trying to be like, well, this is different. Because I'm, tr I'm trying to keep my, like, professional life very, <laughs> like, not attached to streaming. Um, so I haven't shared, like, my full name or my birthday or anything like that. And, it, like, I never will. Which is really common. Like, it's not, it's not a big deal. Lots of streamers choose to not do that. Um... But yeah, I don't know. It would just be nice to know people's birthdays without like having to ask them. Walmart had a birthday message pop up. When you clocked in for the day, which is kind of nice. Oh my gosh. That does sound sweet. Hmm. <sighs> I know, that's like Twitter. Won't Twitter show balloons on your birthday or something? But I've, I haven't put my birthday on Twitter because I don't want people to see it. Um, <laughs> then wait, like, damn it, I don't get the balloons though. I could put a fake birthday. Something weird happened there. Did I give the goddess today? I have a feeling I didn't. Oh, I did! I don't know if we have enough of our stamina restored, so I'm gonna restore a little bit more. Hmm. <sighs> oh man. This should be good enough. I put fake birthday on a lot of things. Yeah. Kind of rough though when it asks your birthday and you use the fake one though. Kind of rough in the way you're like, oh, it's like not really my birthday today. Like it, it doesn't feel like a real celebration. Is that what you mean? Yeah, that's fair. I know because then you might get birthday message being like, oh my god, happy birthday. And you're like, thanks. It's not really my birthday. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. Oh, Cal Festival's so far away. I don't remember what B-Day I put when I used the fake one. Oh, so I can't get back into my own account. Oh no. That is rough. It has not rained in the game like the whole time we've been playing. I guess it's only been 12 days. Jesus, how is it? Oh, the fetch festival took us a while. That's why. Okay. I was like, what the hell? Like, I've literally been playing all day. How have we not even made it halfway through a season? We do have a lot of work to get done every day. Like, the animals, the crops. It is a lot, so. Whew. How many hearts does Crumb have? Hmm. I'm really trapped where I am. Okay. Wow, Crumb's already at five. Yeah, they won't be at eight by the festival. Okay, okay. It's okay. I have three cows at eight hearts, so I think we're going to be okay, but. Oh, I was like, are they harvesting already? Wow. Damn. Every day, oh, I'm just like scoping out those platinum eggs. I'm like, but nope, that's all right. Okay. <clears throat> I 
They need an auto pet animals magic device or something. Petting all the animals takes so much time. I know. I'm trying to get their like affection up. Like I guess you technically don't have to talk to them, but their affection won't really go up that much. Because the sprites feed them, so I'm not feeding them. Yeah. I'm wondering about a wonderful life, because it's there's no harvest sprites to help you. I mean, there are harvest sprites, but they don't help you with chores. <clears throat> and I'm like, God, how time consuming is this going to be? Definitely helps to pet the animals. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Especially because I'm trying to get, like... Up to eight hearts and blah blah blah. So, <sighs> look how fast those sprites go. Oh my god, they are too fast. It scares me. Ooh. Tomorrow's Friday. Hmm. Sprites be using hacks. Yeah, they really do. They really do. I do have the teleport stone, so I've got my own hacks, I suppose, but. You know what I do want in a wonderful life? Um because I think your first like chapter two depending on who you marry they like choose the decor for your house right but i think in a later chapter you can unlock the other ones so you can change it if you want but i would love if you could customize the outside of your house oh like i was thinking our character's named iris and I was like, there's no, like, purple flower in this game. Like, and then I imagine, like, ivy or, like, wisteria kind of, like, over the house. I'm like, oh, that'd be so pretty. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah, I agree. I think it would. I'm hoping for stuff like that because I'm, like, I'm, I'm really stoked that there's, like, a remake. But I'm also, like, can you please just, like give us more features though like really improve it like they basically did with this game to a moderate extent not like they didn't go that hard but they did give us more outfits um you can do a bit of interior design I don't know if you could in the original so like they gave us some things, but I'm like, please just like not only remake the game, but make it, give us like more, you know? I'm looking for more flowers. It's about drive, it's about power. That like, I don't know, whenever we're just like marching, that comes into my head. Wow, 475,000 subs, jeez. That's a lot. Advanced customization. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and like choosing the barn color. Ugh. Oh my god, like like easy peasy is like red, uh, blue or green. Like how easy is that to do, you know? But that would just be so nice. Like, oh I really want like a green farm. Um The sprites are all there, right? Yeah, okay, okay. exactly yeah like it doesn't seem that hard to do so i'm just like please i'm not gonna hold out on the exterior customization because yeah that's like barely even a thing in this game i wish you could change your roof color because you can buy a really pretty blue mailbox which we did do but i want a blue roof to match it and you you can't change the roof color it's, it just stays red just simple things. Simple things would make me so happy. There was one Harvest Moon game that did that. Ooh, don't remember which one though. Oh, what's the one again? Oh, the one I played. Um, A New Beginning? Was it A New Beginning? 
A New Beginning was like where you could, what I remember from it is that you could put like furniture and stuff around the town and your farm. Like you could put benches and stuff like that, which was like so cool at the time. Um, I want to say that one you could, but I might be really wrong. That was one of those games where I did one playthrough and that was it. I think, okay, um, I really like Lord of the Rings. Like, I haven't read the books. Oh, nice. Um, I've read The Hobbit, though, but I really like the movies. So when I played A New Beginning, I named my character Eowyn, and then I learned you can get a statue that's like a shield maiden statue. And I was like, oh my god, this is so perfect. Like, my, name, my character's name is Eowyn. But I think the criteria for getting it was, like, pretty challenging. Oh, yay. But I think I just, like, lost my motivation to play after that because I was like, oh, I'm, like, never going to get it. But then what else is there for me to do? Like, I'm already married. So then I think that's why I stopped playing. Oh, a third one. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There were... Wait, I think I only did six that time. That's a cool name. Yeah. Oh, Magical Melody gave me a permanent mindset of don't put your stuff from properties that aren't yours. Oh, so I've never customized the town. Wait, why? Why did Magical Melody... I haven't played that one. Why did it give you that mindset? Like, will it disappear if you put it on a different property? Can I find more than three pirate treasures in a day? I don't know why they'd cap it. That'd be kind of weird. You can, like they're 10,000 gold each. So like every additional one is just worth so much money. We still have time, so I'm just gonna sit here and spend the day like this. Ooh, what am I going to do after stream? I'm torn between, I, like, so I've been playing A Wonderful Life. I'm on chapter one, like winter eight or something. And I've already proposed to Muffy. Like, I'm literally just trying to get to chapter two. And I'm so close. Like, oh, like next play session, I'll, I'll be at chapter two. But I just, like, haven't gotten the chance. I could do that. But I also kind of want to record on my next YouTube video. Mm, I might do that. They kind of scold you for placing things you don't want or want on the ground of a property you don't own, really. Weird. Maybe the game tries to warn you because it's like, it's gonna start lagging if you put too much stuff everywhere. But I want, like, I can't think of why else they would dissuade you from doing that. <clears throat> okay, last one. Last fishing of the day. Well, of this day. Because it's counted as littering. And no villagers like when you put litter in their precious town. That is very fair. Oh my god. Remember that was a thing in this game? But you can't litter in this game. Like you can't. Like you can't accidentally throw something on the ground. God that was such a struggle. Especially when you're trying to give a gift to someone. <gasps> 40G. Easy. Easy game. As my boyfriend would say. When he does something challenging. <laughs> and it gave me swing. <clears throat> Just a couple little patches they didn't get to. I 
keep thinking at a glance that those emotes are hamsters. And, oh my god, I, um, I'm kind of a... I got a lot of my overlay stuff from Etsy, so I'm, I'm constant, not constantly, at least every couple days I'm on Etsy, just like browsing what's new from shops that I like. Oh, okay. And um, I came across this Hamtaro one where it was like, like my Be Right Back screen, but it was like, you're in the Hamtaro house and it's like pixel art and like, oh my God, it was so cute. Um. And I think the same seller or a different one also sold like sunflower overlay, which goes with like the hamster one. And I was like, oh my God. And I posted in Discord, I was like, guys, what if we just completely rebranded as like Hamtaro? <laughs> um, and like the sub badges are like sunflower seeds or something. Oh my God. I don't think I'd actually, oh, it's raining. Um, I don't think I'd seriously consider doing that. Oh, we're going to change into our baby chick outfit. Because I kind of like imagining we're like, I love the baby chicks, but I also love imagining we're like a little ducky who enjoys the rain. Um, oh, we don't have to worry about watering. God bless. Wow. For the first time in forever. I miss Hamtaro. Yeah, Hamtaro. I think I was a little too old to be their target audience. But I have younger sisters, so I remember they really liked it, and they had the cutest little toys for it. Oh my god! So it is, it is a big five. Damn. <sighs> Why does my camera seem so weird? I think just because I've been staring at it for a long time. I love the Hamtaro theme song. It's still like stuck with me. I don't feel like singing it, but it's very cute. That was right at my age. Or I just like animal kid shows. Yeah. I think, I don't know, like it's not that someone at my age couldn't enjoy it, but it wasn't like it seemed a little too young for me. Like it just didn't capture my interest like it did my younger sisters. I wonder, I don't know, I'm scared to watch kid shows from the past because I'm worried they're just gonna be really bad. Like I, one time That's So Raven just happened to be on TV. This was like maybe 10 years ago, like like after the show was done. It was just like an old episode and I was like, oh, this is kind of bad. <laughs> Even though I loved that show as a kid. <laughs> like I think the laugh track just feels so like, like, cue laugh track after literally every single line. Oh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. I could not stand that show. My sisters loved it. I had a hard time with it. I was like, mm. But again, I think I was already, t like, I wasn't the target age for it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm always scared to rewatch something from when I was a kid. Because I'm like, mm, I love it in my mind. I don't want to, like... <laughs> Paid it. <laughs> uh, how are we doing for feed? Okay. The jokes come off different nowadays. Right. I know. It's so interesting. That is like a big thing. Um. Yeah. Where you're just watching a show and you're like, oh, homophobia <laughs> at this time in the morning. Like, okay. Yeah. I know. I, I don't know if that's so Raven was like homophobic. That's just like the first thing that comes to mind that really like catches me off guard when watching like shows from the 90s or like early 2000s. Pretty much. Yeah, literally. Oh, hello. No, thank you. I was trying to talk to Blueberry. The way they lied there with their eyes open. <gasps> Wait, I learned how to do this recently. Yeah, I learned how to zoom in. Oh. But the gameplay will still happen. Can I show you guys? Never mind. Oh my god, I finally learned how to zoom in on the Switch. I don't know how long that's been a feature, but I just discovered it recently because my sister used it and I was like, what the fuck? How are you doing that? I missed what I was trying to show you. Basically, when the sprites like take a nap, their eyes stay open. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me. <clears throat> 
Okay, what do we need to do today? If the goddess, we can go fishing. Was it a birthday today? Nope, not a birthday for a while, okay. I could use more flowers. So we could look for flowers. <clears throat> I think that's like the show Friends. Like I, I've just, I know it's like a classic and lots of people like it. But I think I'm just too, I tried to watch it too late and now it's just too, I haven't given it a really solid chance, but I like, I can't get through an episode. I'm just like, ugh. I think that's just one of those things where like, it kind of aged too much for me. You've never watched Friends, wow. Yeah. Oh, like, okay, Friends is not the same as Big Bang Theory, but it's the similar, like, oh, it's a sitcom, there's a laugh track, there's, like, three men, three women, not in season one of Big Bang, but anyway. Um, yeah, Big Bang, ugh. ugh. I don't think that's a hot take. But the fact that Big Bang is, like, modern... And it's like extremely misogynistic and homophobic. I'm like, how are you getting away with this in this day and age? Like, I'm really baffled. Never watched Big Bang either. Yeah, you are not missing much. You're missing fuel for like hatred. <laughs> That's it. So I say you have not missed out. Eh. And they even made a young Sheldon show. I'm like, and it keep Netflix keeps recommending it for me. I'm like, stop. I'm never watching this. Like, if you enjoy it, that's fine. That's fine. I don't I don't want to like yuck anyone's yum. But I'm just like, for me, I could not. It's a no for me. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway. What is a good show? There's lots of good shows. What's a good, like, sitcom show? Hmm. I really want to watch Broad City. I don't know if that counts as a sitcom. But it's a com. It's a comedy. I really want to watch that. Hmm. Oh, yay! The pirate treasure on the ducky outfit is so cute! Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, anyway. Oh, a sitcom? Um, sitcom is short for, like, I think it's like you sit and watch comedy and that's where like the laugh track is where it's like oh it's performed in front of a live audience like you sit and watch comedy like a comedy show but it's like a scripted like show about a family or blah 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 so like but using a laugh track is kind of phased out like Big Bang uses it Friends uses it you haven't seen either so I guess those aren't good examples I don't think it's really common anymore to use them um, hmm, that's why I'm kind of like, what would count as a sitcom nowadays? Like, I know Big Bang, I think, is still on the air, but yeah, that's what it is. There were lots of shows like that. It was like a really common genre, I guess. I think comedies now aren't really focused on that format. I don't think I watch a lot of comedy as I think about it. I think I'm more into like, I, I guess the most recent one, unless I'm forgetting anything, would be Fleabag. But it also, it's a comedy, but there's also drama to it. And it gets kind of like heavy at points where I think traditional comedy doesn't normally do that. It doesn't normally get like that heavy. But I think I like things when there's emotional weight to it. Oh, Schitt's Creek is a good comedy. Would that count as a sitcom? Like, there's no laugh track in Schitt's Creek, but it's a comedy. Oh my god, it's so funny. It gets a little sad at times, but like, not really. It's very lighthearted. 
that that might be like my favorite comedy i guess Ugh, schitt's creek is so effing good so good it's like very canadian because it was made by dan levy's canadian right Yeah, it's really good. I really recommend it. I think the last non-anime thing I've watched was... Oh, Charmed! Wait, Charmed? Is that like that 90s show? Oh my god. I'll definitely look it up. Yeah! What anime do you like? Or like, what anime have you been watching? I'm... I'm pretty into anime. Not as much lately, but I do enjoy anime. I'm trying to think what the last one I saw was. I don't know. Hmm. Like, I want to watch Fruits Basket. Oh, Demon Slayer. That's the one I really like lately. <clears throat> But I haven't been reading the manga, so I don't know where the story's... I know where it's going, but I have no idea what happens, so no spoilers if anyone's seen it. Yeah, Demon Slayer's good. It's not, like, perfect, but you know what? Nothing's perfect, so... I usually stick with Isekais. What is that? What does that mean? Because they're usually only around 12 episodes and still a plot and easy to watch without too much extra drama. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I guess I usually like an action-y, like, thriller, drama. Genre pretty much reincarnated into another world. Oh. Oh, nice. Another one. Okay, I think that's good. Kind of like, what would be an example? Like, oh, we're like living in a video game. Is that kind of like it? Where it's like, oh, it's, or it's like kind of dystopian or something. Hmm. Oh, I want to make it to the cow festival. I think fishing is making the days go by slower. But we are making more money. Oh, getting stuck in video game does count as is isekai? I might be saying it wrong. Okay. I think I've seen a preview for an anime like that. So that's why that came to mind. Oh, I'm feeling a little tired. Um, here, I'm just gonna give, give my eyes a second. Mm. Maybe I'll like, look in the distance for a minute. Oh, the grind is hard sometimes. It's hard sometimes. Um, I'm trying to think what we want to do. We're about six hours into this mini marathon. I did take a break, but you know what? When you have an eight hour work day, I'm like, you mean seven with an hour break, right? Um, <laughs> but, uh, trying to think how to proceed. Let's just keep going. I'm like, do I take a break by playing a different game for like half an hour? <sighs> I do want to get the cow festival done because it is stressy and it'll be nice to be like okay another win we're good breaks are always nice and healthy yeah and this is a long grind um marrying the harvest goddess <laughs> um it's at minimum gonna take us six years I think you can technically do it in fifth year like you have to be in at least fifth year to marry her but we missed the festival where we did, like, it's just the whole thing. Anyway, um, we're in year four, but it's going to take at least six. So we got to wait. Yeah, we got a couple years, sorry, to go. Um, 
I don't know, because I want to just be able to push through. I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking about it. And as I think, we're, we're playing. Hmm. We could run around and find all the truth truth jewels, but they're only- it's gonna take like a minute. Like it's- <laughs> it's not gonna take that long. Wow, these pineapples. Oh, they take a while, don't they? I forgot. They do take a while. Their first the crop. I'm like, when are they gonna be ready? But I think they take- yeah, I think they take at least two weeks. So maybe tomorrow. Hmm, what can we do as a little break? Takes break playing a different story seasons game? I know, I was literally just thinking, I was like, I could show you my Olive Town farm, but I'm I'm in fall of year one. I still haven't married anyone. I kind of lost interest in the game like they I played it I think at release and they did release an update after I stopped playing that like added a lot of quality of life improvements it felt kind of tedious to me like I just feel like it was too much work I was like mm. I don't like when it feels like work you know that game is kind of a slow grow yeah yeah, it kind of lost me. Um, I've heard some people say they love it though, so not to like turn anyone away from it. Um, and it's better now than when I played it, so that's good. <laughs> Should they have had those quality of life improvements at release? Yes. <laughs> but anyway, whatever. That's like, what other game came out? I feel like a game came out... What am I thinking of? Oh, Pokemon Violet and the puddles. Oh, the puddles. Yes, that was part of it. Like, I felt like I wanted my farm to look nice. And like, I had a pens area like this for my farm animals. But then there's like trees growing in there in like three days. And I'm like, what the f Like, oh, sorry, Blueberry, didn't mean to like. Anyway, um. It was just very like, God, like I felt like I was constantly cleaning the farm and I was like, why am I even doing this? Like, yeah, it just, it was a lot of work. <sighs> oh my God, I forgot, I forgot about that. And the puddles, yeah, it was a lot. It could be sunny for a whole month, but the puddles will still spawn. Would they really? Holy moly. Yeah, like what is the farm built on, a swamp? Like, why is that happening? Okay, the sprites didn't finish this last time, so I'm gonna do one more. Like, I have three of them assigned to this and they still can't do this block? Like, what is up with that? Or is it only two right now? I think it's only two. Alright, let's go gift the goddess. So I'm like, is it worth showing you the farm? I don't know, I'm not even that happy with it. I guess if no one's seen all of town, they could see what it kind of looks like. Oh yeah, I don't know. I didn't like it as much as I wanted to. Maybe if I gave it a second chance, it'd be better. I could use, I did like chug my tea kind of quickly, so I could use a restroom break as well. So I think we'll do this day. I'll go take a restroom break. And then I'm going to try to think of what we want to do. Like, I don't know. Is there a game you guys want to see, like, that we could just play shortly just to give us, like, a little break from this. I was tempted to do Happy Home Paradise, like build one house, like design one house, and that's that. I you, I think I. Hmm. How long does it take me to do that? I could try to make it not too long, because sometimes I'll sit there and like really spend forever designing one house. Placing pathway stops trees and puddles. Yeah, that's true. I know. I think that's what I needed to do. Yeah, we could do Happy Home Paradise. It would just be a little break. A little, like, designy, which is kind of fun. Wow, I haven't played Animal Crossing on stream in, like, a really long time. Yeah, placing paths. Um, 
I'm kind of curious to see my Olive Town. Maybe we'll boot up Olive Town just to see what my farm looked like. Because it'll be like a one minute tour. And then we could do Animal Crossing. That sounds nice. Because I said, um, like I would stream for eight hours minimum was like my goal. Like I wanted to commit to eight hours. But if we felt like going beyond that, we could. Um, so it doesn't mean we're like ending right at eight or whatever. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of doing Happy Home Paradise. It was a fun old time. I think KK Bosa just jumped into my head. Okay. I would like at least one more crown. Like it looks like they're holding a sunflower seed, but that's just because I'm not like I'm sitting at a distance, so I can't like really see it. So many good KK songs, I know. KK is kind of revolutionary. An icon? Certainly an icon. Damn. Animal Crossing so good. So good. I kind of miss... Oh, yay. Okay, good. I think we'll keep fishing to the end of the day and then we'll take a mini break. Um, I kind of miss, like, GameCube Animal Crossing. Or even city folk. Like, I love that we're able to put furniture outside, put down paths. I do love that. I really enjoy that. I've played so many hours of New Horizons. Um, but part of me misses the simplicity of GameCube. Oh, lots of fun. You had it too? Yeah. How did we even pick up that game? I think we literally just got it, like... I think I was shopping with my mom. I think we were just like, this looks fun. Like we'd never heard of it before. Um, it was the only Animal Crossing game at the time. I got it for Christmas. Oh my God, what a great gift. Yeah, I miss the simplicity of it and how you feel a little more like, a little more rural, like in the woods. It, it just, it had simplicity. Like, I, I said that already, but I miss that sometimes. And I don't know how to bring that back because, like, as I said, like, I love that you can customize your town, like, head to toe. Like, paths, furniture, blah, blah, blah. Like, I love my town um, and how, like, decked out it is and things. But it, oh, I don't know, it, it does just make it more complex. Like, I don't know. I don't know. My dad knew he loved animals, so he's probably like, oh, animal characters. Sure, why not? Adds to the shopping cart. Yeah, right? I It does have, like, a cutesy look to it. So it probably is like, oh, like, I think my kid would like this. Probably. I don't know. Oh, my God. What a time. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> okay, I think this will be our last one. Okay. You know what would be cool? Like, if by choosing to marry the Harvest Goddess or Kappa, you gain, like... They like gift you with a new special ability or something. I don't know what. I don't know what other ability we need, but that would just be so cool. I don't know. It's just like a, hmm. I don't know what I'm trying to say. A cool gift. Little did he know, the game involves the joy of being in debt majority of the gameplay. That's true. Interest free debt though. Interest free. Um. Which is like better than IRL, so. <sighs> okay, just saved. Cool. 
All right, I'm gonna leave this on for the music. I'm gonna take a quick little restroom break. Um, yeah, then maybe we'll do Happy Home Paradise. Um, by far better than IRL. Yeah, I know. When people are like, Tom Nook's a crook. I'm like, you didn't even have to put a down payment. Like, or did you? I don't know. Like, what do you mean he's a crook? He's way better than like any modern landlord I know. Um, okay. Um, I'm wondering if I should change my title now. Uh, if Tom Nook's a crook, what does that make IRL? Yep, I think you've answered your own rhetorical question. Yeah, I know. <sighs> um, trying to think of what to say in the title. I'm gonna be like, quick, happy home paradise break. I think that's fine, right? That way people aren't like, what the fuck? This isn't story of seasons. Um, I can do like a little tropical tree, yay. Okay, I'll change the game so that if anyone is like newly showing up, they're not like, hello, what is this about? Um, okay. Okay, there we go. I've updated the title. Um, all right, quick break. This could be a good time for you guys to take a break if you haven't gotten up to stretch or use the restroom or you know grab a snack if you're hungry. I know sometimes if I'm like watching something, I end up just like not wanting to like get out of bed or like I put off going to the washroom. Like, so I don't know if this could be a good chance to do it, but also like no pressure if you're not up to that. I'm just like tossing it out there. I'm being so preachy right now. Okay, I'm gonna take a break. I'll be back in like a few minutes. Okay, bye.
Okay. <clears throat> I hope you guys had a good break if you took one as well. Um, I'm pretty sure we just saved, right? Yeah. I'll see if we can. Okay, happy home paradise. It's 6.30 my time, so I want this to not be more than an hour. Um, I'm gonna change the date. Does it matter? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. 6.31 p.m. here. Yeah, here as well. I was like rounding down, so. Um, oh yeah, Virginia. Okay, so I think we would be in the same time zone. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna close the window. I have it a little open, but it's gotten colder, so I'm gonna just quickly close that. Okay. Oh my god, Judy! Judy is like one of my faves. Don't catch a cold. I am getting over a cold, so hopefully my immune system is maxed out right now, and I won't get sick anytime soon, but you never know. Have you played, um, oh yeah, you did, you played GameCube. Do you have a favorite, uh, villager, Kana? And, like, anyone else as well? My favorite's Hampry. He captured my heart in New Leaf, just like... I don't know. I he's just so endearing. Um ooh, I could show you guys my map. Oh you love the wolves! That is cute. I guess I'm just carrying this little basket around. Okay. I'm actually working on an island tour video. I might work on that after stream today. So I won't give you a tour now. We are focused on paradise planning. But this is a little sneak peek for anyone who is interested. Um, I've already checked out the stores and stuff, so let's just... Do I need to hold this basket at all times, though? Maybe we'll put it away. Put it away. Okay. Let's go. Let's go design a home. Oh my god, it's gonna be so fun. I haven't played Happy Home Paradise. I don't know. I actually don't know the last time. I love that it was a DLC and it wasn't like a new game. I want to go to work. Work, 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 work. Yep. Oh, how's the volume? Let me see. Oh, Jesus. Is it loud? Oh, it's a little loud. Okay, I'm going to turn it down a bit. Every game's different, which is annoying AF. I'm like, can you just like figure it out and all sound kind of similar, please? Okay, if it's too quiet, let me know. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I've got a bit of a chill. I don't know why. Music festival's almost here. What? Okay. Okay, here's a little peek at who's here. Oh, Diana! I think I've already done her home. Yeah, I did! <gasps> oh. Oh, you literally want to stand up? Okay. Um, oh, she's giving me a gift? <gasps> Oval entrance mat! Oh, that is a nice one. Oh, thank you, Diana. Damn. Okay, I want to see what the recipe is on the beach. You kind of have to check. Oh, Joey! Okay, maybe jo oh, Hazel. Okay, okay. We've got some options. I'm looking for that bottle, though. Wait, unless I've played this day, this day already. Oh, Carmen! Yeah, these are the ones that- Oh my god, I've played this day before. Okay. I went back in time, but I guess- Nothing new. It's not that loud? Is it too quiet? Oh, 
I don't want any of that stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to work. It's perfect? Okay. Thank you for letting me know. <clears throat> if you're ever like, actually, it's not perfect. And then, I'm happy to hear that. Like, I'm, I'll never be like, ugh. I'm like, no, please tell me. Okay, this is our outfit. I'm still pretty happy with it. Let's get a glance at what they want. Wooden furniture. Okay, easy. Give me a place where I can be as messy as I want to be. Yeah, that's not one I'll be doing. Play tabletop games. Yeah, that sounds so boring. No offense. <gasps> Ever had an iced latte while taking a bath? It's the best. Oh my god. Maybe we'll do that one. Perfect place to work on drawing cartoons. Ooh, which one? Oh, pro level kitchen. Oh, I didn't know this dude was waiting. Um. Mm, I feel like ice lattes kind of like really pulled me in. But if there's one you guys really want, let me know. We can think about it for a second. Ice latte with taking a bath sounds lovely. Yeah, it does sound really nice. I had a way cool dream where I met someone for Paradise Planning that looked just like you. That means... I don't know what it means. And I don't know you. So hi. I heard that vacation houses grow on the islands around here. Could we plant me one, pretty please? Oh. Let's chat. Yay, let's get started. Today. Right now. Leck? That's his catchphrase? Oh my god. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, I was thinking it'd be nice if my vacation home was kind of like this. A cafe that's also a spa. This sounds so cool. Okay. I'm into it. I'm into it. Ooh, cafe that's also a spa. Hmm. Cafe that's also a spa. This could be cool. It might be too bougie. I'm just looking at the different maps. I'm trying to remember where my camera is. Interesting catchphrase. Yep. Yep. It is interesting. This could be kind of nice. Cafe. That's also spawn. I want to make a spa cafe business IRL. Yeah, me too. That was really cool. Hmm. Okay. It's been a hot minute so I just since I played. So I just want to re-familiarize myself. <gasps> a winter spa could be kind of nice. But he doesn't like iced coffee, so maybe we're looking for more like summer. Oh, hi, Jared. How are you doing? I know you were like here earlier via Miomo, but oh, this one looks kind of cool. But I hope you're doing super good. Has it? It has been long since we switched to Animal Crossing. I know. We're taking like a little break. My brain was starting to melt a little. Not in a like, well, I guess that's, there's no good way that your brain's melting. Okay, I kind of like this one. This looks cool. And there's like seating area outside. I like this one. Let's go here. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna try to not spend forever. Ooh, um, okay, we're trying to be conscious of time though. Like I want him to have a living space. Maybe we will do two level. Spa and a waterfall outside definitely sounds comfy. Yeah, because I wanted it to be kind of rustic. Oh, yes. Um, me and Mimo currently taking shifts. She's napping. Oh, my God. So funny. Yeah, no worries. I'm also obsessed with that shiny, like, rainbow heart emo. <laughs> Made by yours truly. But I love seeing it. I love seeing it so much. It's very cute. Yeah, I want it to be, like, not too shishy, but kind of nice enough to be like, oh, okay. Not like, oh, it's going to be really expensive here, you know? I want it to be affordable. It is so pretty. I love the emo. Yay. I'm so glad. I'm glad. I love Joey and his eyebrows. 
Wait, what? This tiger butterfly is from an old guy named Nat. He said a thank you. Okay. Try letting it go from your pocket? What the fuck? Okay. He's such a duck. He is! I was expecting him to say, like, rubber duck bath. But instead, he was like, spa where I can drink iced coffee. I'm like, alright. Cafe that's also a spa. Okay, so you want me to let the butterfly out of my pocket? You can release bugs into everyone's yards. What? Okay. I'm not reading through everything, because it's kind of like... Probably self-explanatory. What the fuck? Where is it? Oh, cool! <gasps> I like this. I forgot you could place bugs. I haven't made houses in forever. I didn't know you could do that. Apparently we just unlocked it, so that's pretty cool. Cool for us. Hmm. Is the camera gonna be okay from this lens? I could flip it over. Let me see. Like, when we're designing... Yeah, this is the side I want to be on. Okay, good, good, good. If you think the camera's blocking anything, feel free to tell me. Okay, so the cafe spa is going to be down here. And then he's going to have a little apartment upstairs. Because it kind of makes me sad when they, like... I don't know. They're like, oh, I run a shop and I sleep on the chair. Like, you know? Okay. Oh, I usually like to get music going, so we have something to listen to. He that, He's like, if there is not a rubber duck, then I quit. Oh, cool. Okay, we've got some cool stuff going. Um, I think the camera's perfect since it's not really covering anything uh, important. Okay, perfect. Great. Good, good, good. I know, it's been a hot minute since I played two, so I'm like, where does the camera go? I'm looking for... Ooh, okay, cafe, spa, hmm. We could try the wooden block. Oh, he likes it. Okay. I don't know what color scheme we're going for yet. Could do mixed wood for now. I like the music. Oh my god, this is actually gonna be so fun. Okay. At least sleep on a comfy sofa. I know. I usually want them to have like living space as well. And I was like, it's a cafe and a spa. So it's already going to be tricky. Let's get... Oh, what color for the rattan should we do? I guess we'll figure it out. Oh, it's, it seems kind of loud. Is it too loud? Uh, maybe it's okay. If it's too loud, let me know. Um... Hmm, stereo almost has coffee colors. Yeah, I'm like, maybe we stick with the like brown, like rustic. This looks cute. What is that? Uh, okay, as much as I want to like this, it's too, it's not a window, you know? That feels a little better. Mm hmm. Mmm, <gasps> that's a really nice color. Okay, let's see what the other like wall options are. Usually I do the wall last, but we kind of out here, so. Mm. Is there anything else that would be nice to look at outside? Like, is that a nice bed? I don't know. It feels kind of spotty. I'm obsessed with that wall. Ugh, it's so good. I don't know if we're going for a rainy vibe though. Hmm. Hmm. That's a cafe curtain. <gasps> that actually doesn't look bad, but it's a little dark. Okay, we can we can fuss with this. We can figure out something later as well. The wall's raining. Yeah, rain is cozy. I love a rain, but I kind of think maybe not for this guy. I don't know.
There is like this floor. But it also has to be a cafe. It not wallpaper? Oh, what? What's not wallpaper? The rainy wall? It was. I think I just, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of liked the floor we had. The water was moving. Yeah, I know. Isn't that so cool? I love that. Okay, we're gonna do this for now. I we'll we'll play with the walls later. Cause we're gonna have to figure out other color schemes. Oh, I'm I'm a sucker for tile. Like, I just am. I don't know why. I do love symmetry. I think that's part of it. Okay, what colors do we have to play with? Oh, the green is cool. <gasps> the stone. What? Oh no, we have so many choices! Because we could go back to doing mossy if we want. There's also this one that has the more wooden feel. Ooh. Okay, I kind of think I like that better. The green is cute. Ooh, this is so tough! Which one do you guys like better? Because, like, I don't want to, like, mix in... I don't want to do, like, too many styles, you know? I guess I could, but it just seems, like, too hard to match when you've got, like... Ooh, I don't know. It's tricky. It's tricky. Uh, tile is easy to clean. That's true. That's true. This does have like the woodsy vibe. A shower. I think we need like benches to go beside. Oh, and dividers, okay. Oh, the pastel. Everyone's like, stop with the pastel. I don't want pastel. I'm like, I want pastel. Mm, oh, wow, I don't know. I'm so indecisive. This is why it takes me so long to design things because I'm like really indecisive. There are other dividers we could look at. Um, oh. Like... Uh, the bamboo you can see through though. How about this? He did not give a flying F about that. Okay. Both are so good. Yeah, it's tough. The pink is so cute. Um, Cause this is going for like a more traditional like Japanese style. Eastern? I don't know. This could be cute somewhere. I don't know. I guess also if you want more modern or natural. Yeah. I do really like that blue color. It doesn't quite match that. If it did, I'd be feeling different, but it don't. I like the green. Wow, I don't know. I'm gonna have to hum and hob with this all day. Okay, <clears throat> except we don't want to hum and hob with this all day. Um, is there? I think I need like a counter because this is gonna be a cafe, right? Yeah. So we do need like a front desk. That be here. Dessert case. He kind of wanted the ice cream case. I'm like, okay. Maybe a changing room. I think that's appropriate. Okay, and if I remember, there was a really they had really cute colors. <gasps> oh, like we could do blue. How does the green compare? 
Ooh, the green's kind of fun. Okay. I need like a front desk. Hmm. Oh, this could be cute. Kind of soothing, maybe, I don't know. That's the more like natural style. I don't know if we'll do that. Oh, hey Eric, how are you doing? I'm pretty good, how about you? We have been doing a little mini marathon. Oh, you're doing well, that's awesome. What have you been up to lately? Uh, we're just taking a break because my brain was kind of melting a little. Um, which is okay, but it was like, I think I just need a break and we'll come back to the game. I don't want us to be too long doing Happy Home Designer, but long enough I feel a little more refreshed or something. Oh, see, like we could really go wooden style. Oh, you just got off work. How was it? But if you're also like, it was not good and I don't want to talk about it, that's okay too. Oh, the bank is cute. Like if there was a better tiled one, but there like isn't. I think I like the natural wood. That moment when they want a proper business, but only give you so much space. Yeah, I can make more space. I can. I'm just like, mm. we'll see. Oh, he loved that. He started clapping and stuff. Okay, shit. Oh, that looks good. I might make this bigger. Because I can make it smaller if I have to. We're trying to decide which bath to use. There's this like wooden one. Um, which has like the nice turquoise water if we want. And then there's this green tile one. So if anyone has a preference. Oh, I'm torn because we're kind of going with a wood motif. So I don't know. My new year's good. Yay, that's good. That is good. Mine's been pretty good so far too, which is nice. Um, let's get this front counter situation kind of locked in. I don't know if I like this wooden thing yet. It looks a little too country. I think I'm gonna move it. Oh, wait, no, I'm trying to remove it. There we go. I think I'm gonna move this back to natural because the dark was a little too dark. Um, and then I think. I don't know. Um, which wallpaper you would want? Yeah, we've got like that cafe one. It's supposed to be a cafe spa. Um, so we're between ideas right now. Like the blue in the window looks nice with the blue tile. We don't have to stick with the blue tile though. What are the colors for this? Joey didn't care for it. No, I'll get rid of it. Okay. What was on here again? Um, massage chair. Does it come in cute colors? No. That looks scary. Oh, here's the, yeah, I wanted, it's a table and not a bench. Okay. I think this comes in nice colors. Ooh, ooh. I kind of just want a solid color though, and I don't think you can do that with these. The little chickies could be kind of funny. Hmm. Okay, I don't know why I'm leaning towards green. I don't know. I think I've just, oh, I don't know. I like this green tile. Like, it's just really intriguing to me. Oh, let me see what that was. Uh, oh, Devson, thank you so much for the follow. How are you doing? Uh, wow, okay. Well, I hope you're having a nice day. Uh, do you play Animal Crossing or Harvest Moon or Story of Seasons? That is what we are doing right now. Ooh, here's the thing too. 
Because we could do mint is the contrasting color. We don't have to do it though. I don't know. Oh, you don't know much with this game. Okay. It's really cute and fun. No, I think the white is too much. Oh, let me do this because then we can see the cushion color. <gasps> oh. Ooh, okay. I don't know how to feel. I kind of like that. We've just like found this like weird green color that I'm kind of like. Is it too much? Because then there's not much wooden accents to go with the table anymore. Oh my god. I don't know. This is why this is why it could take me forever to make stuff. Oh, that looks kind of nice. I like that better. Maybe what we could do too, just as an idea. Um, yeah, these like curtains you can kind of walk through. That seems kind of nice. What do you guys think? It's just like a little more privacy. It might depend on the colors. Oh, this wisteria. I'm obsessed with it. Does that look too wild? Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Could do some of this. This is nice in a cafe and it works in a spa. We could do the light green. Okay, it looks kind of scary. Never mind. We could do this glowing one. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Okay. We've just kind of taken a break from doing the furniture. Now we're <clears throat> now we're doing this. If we're going zen, we could do this color though. That could be like here. It's it's doing something. Something is happening. But I don't know what yet. I do really want like a bench, like where they can sit and like kind of dry off, you know? Um, there's a bamboo. Like I guess that's kind of what I was thinking of. I don't know if I want to go full bamboo though. This is kind of cute. I might get rid of this. Who knows? We can't decide which like spa tub to keep, so we're just out here with that. Maybe I'll put the bed. Kind of like there. It's supposed to be a cafe as well. <laughs> it's kind of a big ask. Um, oh man, I don't know. Okay, okay. We could, we could maybe work on his upstairs and then, oh, I think there should be like a sofa of some kind. I don't have many choices though. Is there a green one? Not really. There's that, but I don't think that looks super great. Is there a different one? No. Mm. There was a yellow green of this, right? Oh, this is kind of cute. Maybe in the waiting area. 
Okay, we could do yellow green. We could bring in some of the wedding things. Hmm. You did like this item. The wall fan, so I'll just stick it there. Um, oh yeah, we can go off with the plants easy. Do they not give me the wedding one? No, how annoying. Okay, I know this movie doesn't fit the vibe, but I want to see the colors. <gasps> there's no green. If there's no green, it does look kind of... No, it doesn't. Alright. Something's happening. We're, we're slowly piecing something together. We'll stick that out. I don't know if I like this. I can't decide. Okay. Maybe we'll have two counters? Or is that too much? That might be excessive. This could be just like a communal, like, there's towels here. Um, I like this bench. I don't know where else to put it, though. Maybe the changing room kind of needs to be, like, a little more out of the way. Look there. I don't know how I feel about that. This could go, like, this is the lounge area? Okay, this could work. Because then it's like, if you're, you can chat with a friend, you know. But you also got your towels right here. I don't know how I feel about the bed. I'm not sure anymore. Okay, okay, this is coming together. Um, maybe that's like there. Okay, I think I should focus more on the cafe section now. Stop, why can't I pick this up? I don't know. That item is so like, no. Never pick me up. Okay. This is turning into something, right? We can use the... They gave us a rugs? Yeah, so we could... Light square tile. Oh, he loves that! Okay. But I kind of want to double this up. I don't know. Looking nice. Thank you! Yeah, if you guys have suggestions, like, I'm I'm really happy to do this collaboratively, you know? If I... Why are you surprised? I already have some. Um... I did want that, like, freezer or something. I guess I don't have to use it. He doesn't care about it. Okay, so we don't have to. Oh, but I, we should do like coffee stuff, um, like a fridge. It can just be a little mini fridge. Oh, a locker. <gasps> he likes it and it's wooden. How do I make this bigger? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to give it more depth. So we have more space for the like cafe part. Um, maybe I'll move this like that. Move this. Oh, okay. That's fine. Stop. What time is it? Okay. We started this at 630. It's been half an hour. Stop. Please. Okay. Um... Maybe I'll have like, oops, like the lounge space all behind here. Like you kind of need to be like admitted. And then it's like, you just help yourself to the spa, to the whatever. I don't know where to put this. Maybe here. That was kind of central. 
the locker can be like before you come in. Uh, maybe I won't do that then. I might go back to brown on the rattan. I don't know yet. We could, this, this mossy ball might be a little too far-fetched. So maybe I'll do the rattan stool to kind of tie that in a bit better. And I still haven't decided what color. Because I think the mint... We're still thinking about that. We can do these like bath mats. Yeah, let's do that. That is such a nice color. Um, what other rugs do we have? I feel like I want like a bigger. I don't, I don't know if I love this wood plank. Like, he kind of liked it, but I'm like, eh. I don't know how to make it work. He more than liked it. He loved it. Okay. Like, how does he feel about this? <gasps> he loves this! Because this is too wood on wood, you know? How do we feel about that? I have mixed feelings. Um, oh, botanical. He doesn't care for it, but it kind of goes with the vibe. I think we might do the botanical. We got the bath mat. Tropical? does not care for okay um <laughs> okay i'm moving this back over here i like symmetry so i kind of want there to be a change room on both sides you know that way you're you don't feel like you're being like obstructive by gonna go change you kind of and you have your privacy Okay, this is coming together. Maybe more couches to lounge like in front. He does not care about this couch, okay. And I don't either. Hmm, like the sloppy might be nice. for bamboo hmm what about Moroccan okay but what are the colors uh, the green's pretty dark oh, I don't know that looks kind of nice doesn't it we're sort of mixing up our styles here but maybe oops but maybe that's okay. Yeah, I'll do this. It's a little less like easy. Okay, this is kind of cool so far, right? Wait, why is this not symmetrical? Oh, this needs to go. Yeah. Okay. It's something. Maybe we should do the coffee stuff now. I think there should definitely be a little fridge. There we go. Yeah, I want the mini fridge. It, oh, he loves it. It comes in cute colors. Like there is a yellow one. No green. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna like plop that there. They don't the workers don't have much space. 
That's like the only thing that's a little cramped. But maybe it's okay. Okay, and then I'm looking for like coffee accessories. Ooh. Like the espresso machine for sure. <gasps> the yellow. Ooh, but what about the green? I kind of like the green. Coffee grinder. Yeah, that's kind of like. I think. Okay, I kind of want to do this though, the like water dispenser. Because then it's like you're staying hydrated. It kind of has the spa vibe to it. There we go. Ooh. I'll just like for decor, you know, I'm gonna like throw some things around. Maybe the coffee cup. Oh, but he really wanted it to be iced coffee. Now that I think about it. Oh, there's the ice cup. I was like, where is it? It says we have one, but I... Yep, there we go. Yum, yum, yum. We'll throw this rubber ducky here. I might do the white. Yeah. Okay, and then I think for the rattan, this is just like too dark. I liked the green, but... Oh yeah, the white brings it all together. Okay. We are not lost. We have found our way. Okay. I think... I think I like the tile bath. So we're gonna bring the tile bath in to both sides. Cause we kinda, I really like that green color. That sort of was the inspiration. Okay, and then we need a little cash register or something. Yeah, I suppose it could be like tucked away. Okay, let's give a little walk through here. I don't know how I feel with this bamboo thing. You got space to change, you know, to chat, to chill. Two, there's two baths, a little sitting area by the bath, and then a little like cafe area, right where the music is. So this is working. I think this is nice. Okay. He kind of likes these shoes. I might like stick them up here. <clears throat> and maybe these ones. Does this have other color? It's kind of cute, but the stone is nowhere else, so it's just a bit. I don't know how I feel about the lights. Okay, this is really coming together. I'm feeling good about it. He wants his photo in here. I don't know about that. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's let's spice things up with like. I feel like when you're in a spa, you're thinking like humidity. Uh, so, oh, it looked cool how it was before. How was it before? It was like this? Yeah. Oh. So, like, plants. Maybe we'll bring this to the other side. Kind of like here. I'm trying to remember the colors. Okay. And then, yes, like this. Oh, we can make, oh, where is it? Oh yeah, we can make like a cool little, I've done this before, it's not unique to this place, but it's just kind of cool. <gasps> the white is pretty. 
Oh, yellow. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh. We could do like multicolor for fun. I might do yellow here. And then the gray is kind of nice. Light brown. Oh, we could do light brown. Let's. Maybe we'll do gray. Okay, that looks kind of cute, right? Okay. Well, that's like this floor kind of taken care of. Um. Maybe real quick, I'll see if there's. Ooh, these frosted pretzels. <gasps> I had just made these. Oh my god, cute. I just got the recipe in the game. I think they look nice. Oh, frosted cookies might win though. Oh, he loves the frosted cookies. Okay. Wow, and I'm suddenly like so hungry. He likes the frozen tree. Okay, we can do something with that. Kind of, yeah, that's kind of in theme. You have frosted pretzels in real life? Okay, I don't think I've ever had a frosted pretzel. So when I got the recipe, I was like, oh, cute, okay. Is, what is the frosting? It, it sounds really cute. Okay, this feels homey, right? I still don't- I still have mixed feelings with this bamboo thing, but I might just leave it alone. I think this is good. Um, maybe some candles? No, that's a hazard. That's a hazard for a business like this. I mean, there's water everywhere, so maybe not really, but... Ooh, I love this planter. God, it's just like so good. The brown is kind of nice, but where would I? Sure. Okay, I think I'm happy with this floor. I, I don't know if the walls look bad together. I think I've gotten used to it that I really don't mind it. So I don't know how to feel. Okay, let's uh, let's do his little living quarters. Oh my god, it's seven eighteen. Okay, we'll be snappy because I don't want us to be away from Mineral Town for too long. <clears throat> Super tasty. Oh, white chocolate dipped in crushed walnuts. Oh, I love white chocolate. It's honestly like my favorite. Does he like that bed for him or just as a? Why do I feel like he'd like a hammock? I've heard that hammock beds are really good for you. He loves that hammock. Okay. He loves this one. We could do the little, the little like birdie one. Is that too on the nose? <laughs> Maybe he would like it. Um, okay, and I do want music, but maybe we'll do like the record player one. Has a nice balance of sweet and salty. Mm. Yeah, that sounds really nice. He's like, listen, I know I'm yellow, but... It's kind of inappropriate for you to just make all my stuff yellow. I'm trying to see what he likes. Mm, you like sloppy? He loves it. Okay. Oh, I want this. <gasps> the yellow looked really good. The green is too, like, meh. And you didn't care for that. 
Is there a search button? I kind of don't think there is, even though there really ought to be one. He doesn't even care about that item. Like, I don't get why things are on this list when they don't care about them. They're like, <laughs> ugly. I'm like, well, you out of it here. Oh, like, I hate not having windows. It's so, like, so claustrophobic. That might be a me thing. I don't know. Trying to remember like what is here in real life in his neighbor neighborhood, his like plot of land. There's the yellow quilt. That's too much yellow. How would you sleep? Probably because some players want to make it look a certain way, even though the client might not like that style. Yeah, that's true. Like, oh, it would it would suit the style, but. The guy themselves is like, man. Sheik is okay. Oh, he kind of likes the wedding wall. <gasps> that kind of goes with the like spa vibe. If I do, how do you do it? You do like stickers? And then you can use, I think I have window designs. Where are they? Mm, okay. Like if I just do that. I don't wanna do the whole thing, but that kind of seemed easier than like moving them all around. Does that look weird? Then you get the sense it's a window. It's not just like, he's gonna fall out off the side of the building. <laughs> that probably looks okay. Okay. Let's get him some starry garland. Because why not? Oh my god, very cute. Um, maybe it like this. Maybe like above the. Sure. Yeah, this is cute. Okay. I just want to give him a little kitchenette. What would he like? Do you like the ranch? You liked the ranch more than that one. Okay. Whoa. That's very green. Is green his favorite though? Uh, I have so many custom designs. Oh, I made for art pieces. <gasps> what do you mean by art pieces? That sounds really nice though. Yeah. If we, if we could like put the sticker on the wall, cause that was a newer item, right? If we could do that when the game came out, I would have spent a lot more time doing it, but I don't think it was a thing. So it's kind of like, I sort of played myself out. He doesn't care. Um, When the like last big update came out, I was already like, yeah, I've already like played the game so much. Where are the fridges? Why are they so hard to find? Give this man a fridge. Where is it at? Oh, here. Okay, your stove's gonna go here then. Yellow? Oh yeah, he hands down he would have stickers. Um, This is kind of cute. Do you hate your kitchen, Joey? Okay. It's very colorful. I would have understand if you hated it because the greens didn't match some sort of like nah. okay we'll do wait okay um i think 
all he needs now is like a little coffee table or something uh up here Do you like the sloppy? He loves the sloppy. Okay. Oh, it's a little hard to look at. Mm, oh, it's so messy. That is hard to look at. It's the dirty. He likes it. We're just gonna move on. Um. Sure you wanna like this. Or this one. He likes that one! Okay. Fuck this dirty table. Goodbye. I just don't like seeing like dirty things on like I'm just like <laughs> Um Oh you can make different designs to turn into shirts or artwork for the house. Oh I made lots of video game characters. Uh like what what kind of characters? Let's see how this looks. I don't know how I feel about it. I think we need to change the floor or something. If we give him a big rug, I think that will kind of uh, neutralize the space a bit. He loved this before. Yeah, he still likes it. Okay. All right. Maybe we'll do that kind of is nice. Okay, this is coming together. Wait, how does he feel about this one though? No, it's gonna be too too much going on. Um. Okay, anything else that we didn't? Maybe he could have a nice shower up here. You know, like, that's the spa space, but he can also have his own private little bath area. Or is that, like, really off-key? I don't know. I don't think so. It's nice to have your own living space. Charmander, Sonic, oh, Link, Kirby, and a few others. How cute. I love that. Hmm. Do you have, like, a favorite video game character? I don't know who mine would be. Honestly, maybe Kirby. Okay, and then we can give him a little bath mat for up here. I think that's fine. But he needs like entertainment or something like something fun up here. Hmm. Like, I don't know what, but something. He's not so into it. Hmm. Oh. A plastic- he's like, is this a joke? You're giving me a plastic pool with a rubber ducky in it? What about- we could pretend this is a hot tub. Oh, just joking. It's too big. He likes the billiard table! Um, where do we put it? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I did think this through. Green, red, and blue. The green is nice. Okay, I don't know if this yellow couch works anymore. No, blue doesn't work. Uh, don't really have a favorite character. Yeah. That's totally fair. I know, it's kind of hard to choose. What's going on? Oh, he's looking at the table. Okay, I was like, what? What are you unhappy with? Is that better or worse? I'm gonna try it. <laughs> okay, it's 7.30. We've officially... Oh god, I still have to do the outside. Like the... Oh. This feels a little more like... I think you're gonna warm up to the rug, Joey. I think you will. I think you will grow to like it. 
Maybe we'll throw a plant in the corner and call it done. Where are the plants? Um, how do you feel about this? What about that? That? Do you not want a plant? Are you not a plant person? You're getting a monster. That's what's happening. Okay, I think this is perfectly fine. I would spend a little more time on it, but I'm conscious of time. Um, I know this comes in a cute color, so I was like, we can give him that. It comes in like, yeah, that kind of goes. Maybe we'll do, oh, I love this shelf, uh, this one. It just looks so good. It just really like, like now the kitchen feels more complete and I can have it match. Yeah. This one. Yeah, that just feels like, wow, that's a kitchen, you know? Okay, it's a little bare basics, but that's okay. He can spruce it up, you know? Like, we're just, like, the model home people where he can add his own personal effects and things like that. Here's the cafe slash spa. I might add like ambient music. It's like so hard to hear though. Oh man, I don't know. Um, I think Fields is nice and peaceful. I think I'm leaving the walls as is. It looks a little whack. Hmm, it does look a little whack. Okay, we'll revisit the walls for a second. Um, oh, what about this? Oh. Wait, oh, did it get rid of all that? Oh, it did. Okay. That's not bad. You know what? I actually think that looks kind of nice. It's a little posh. So high up, yeah. I think that actually looks really good. Okay, you just get two plants there. I don't think it feels too cold. Maybe I'll change the lighting. Um, ooh. Nope, just joking, just joking. Okay. All right, we gotta do the other side, let's go. I think that looks nice though. I didn't know. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh. Hmm. Okay, I sort of already know what I want to do. And if he doesn't like it, that's a him problem. Looks beautiful. Thank you. I think it looks good. I really love this like iron stuff. I just think it looks really nice. Um, okay, and then we need the table. Okay, um, uh, I don't want to do this. Like, could do like there. Okay, bring this over. Yeah, that looks kind of nice, okay. Um, he doesn't love any of them. Like, it's just like non-reactions every time. I kind of like this one. So I might do like a little... Like, 
to fun. Okay. I'm like so hungry all of a sudden. I guess it actually has been almost eight hours. Like I did have a snack earlier though. Um, so I'm just kind of like, hmm. Okay, this this is taking longer than I thought it was going to. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Or like not new, but like, I'm not fast at these designs because I put, I sit and think about it for so long. We're almost there. We're almost there. Um, for a spa, maybe that, or that one, sure. Don't forget eating actual meals. Yeah, you're so right. You are so right. Very important. Um, there's no green roof. What? I want it to look like inviting, like it's a like public space. Okay. Okay, okay. Maybe we'll do we didn't do super zen inside. It's like a little. So we can do that. Yeah. Okay, okay. And then I would love a green door. It looks more inviting if it has a window. That's blue. Not green. Hmm. I thought there was a nice, like, sagey green. Um, okay, we'll do white. <laughs> Good enough. Hmm. Maybe this one? Lilies? Okay, that looks kind of okay. I like the lilies. Okay, and then maybe the outside will decorate with lilies. Um... Where are the lilies? He's so mad about things. Like, okay, not to complain about our client. I just wish I knew what he liked so I could give it to him, you know? Maybe the pink is too out of pocket, I don't know. Maybe. Get over here. Okay. I think if I bring another pink over, that'll balance out nicely. Kind of like... Um. Alright, sure. I want to do the bridge and stuff. Oh. Hello? Should I do a path? Probably. We could try. It might look weird. Ew, it does look weird. Ugh, this is one of my gripes about the game. I'm like, just let me do the corner. <laughs> let me round it out. That doesn't look too bad, I guess. Okay. And then how do we change the bridge? Okay. That's okay. That's looking nice. Um, I think we just need, like, outdoor lanterns. I literally put that on, like every build oh it's kind of a pain to find where is it I can't find it okay this is nice though all right let's we'll we're done um let's go inside to do the tour because that's how I always do it mm. it's done
Yay. Okay. Oh, uh, it's ready. You're the best. Okay. You really worked hard on it. It took you like an hour. It actually, okay, it only took us a little over an hour. That's not bad. All right. The way he wears a little diaper. Oh my God. This looks cozy. I would come here. It sounds like a fun, like friend date, you know, or date, romantic date. Like, yeah, let's like chill out in the spa. They also serve coffee and like cookies. I was expecting him to just like deadpan stare into the camera that whole time. Yay. I'm wondering if I will grab a snack. Uh, I'm leaving. Yay, goodbye Joey. I hope you like your cafe slash spa. I will definitely be by to visit. Ooh. I'm done. Okay, how do you save your game? Okay, um, I'm gonna go... Just say hello to my boyfriend. I think he's taking a nap. And then I think we'll do another hour of Story of Seasons. And then we'll call it. So I'm going to change our game category and stuff. Okay. We saved. Yeah, I might run and grab like... I don't know. I'm trying to think what snack I could eat quickly. I'm not sure. Hmm. I'll figure it out. I just want to get music going for you guys so you're not just like sitting in silence if you're listening. Oh, and I should turn the music back, back up because it's quieter in this game. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take a very brief break. Gonna run and grab a snack. So yeah, if you guys haven't had a snack in a while, this could be a good time for you too. Also to stretch and stuff. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think we'll do like one more hour. I wanna get the cow festival done. So we'll see, we'll see how far we get. Okay, all right, I'll be right back. I'll see you guys soon.
Okay, <clears throat> I'm back now. Um, and we are back to the grind. Here we go. This is the last one. Okay. Ooh. Welcome back. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, we're only a few days away from the cow festival. I think we'll at least try to go that far. Oh, just joking. We have one, two, three, four, five days still. Oh. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how far I get. I do want to play another solid hour of this, so I think we'll see where that takes us. this crumb have five okay okay <clears throat> yeah we're not getting three more hearts in the, the meantime <sighs> I think I like we ate um like grilled cheese sandwiches earlier but I think the bread kind of like, you know when it has like a hard crust, it kind of like scratched the top of my mouth. Not in a like injurious way, but just in a like, mmm, it's kind of like a little tender. <clears throat> what am I looking for? The milker. Okay, okay. It's just gonna take me a, a little second to get back in the swing of things, but. Hmm. <sighs> Hope uncomfy goes away. Yeah, thank you. It's it's not that like, uncomfy is probably the way to describe it because it's not painful. It's more just like, mm, what's that about? You know. Is there a game or anything you guys are looking forward to in the new year? Aside from the Story of Seasons remake, of course, or like A Wonderful Life? Yeah. I was like, is it accurate to say Story of Seasons remake? Yes, it is. Um, my boyfriend and I started playing, yeah, any farming sim games. Oh, like, do you, is there any specific ones? You're just like any that come out. Like, I find so many games come out just for PC, and I don't play on my PC that much. Like, I sit here and play the Switch, but honestly, if I'm not streaming, I'm usually taking the Switch downstairs and I'm like chilling on the couch playing handheld. I think I just would rat, like, if I get to sit and play video games, I don't want it to be. Like, this is also my workspace. Like, I don't know. I'm like, I feel more relaxed if I'm chilling on the couch. Which is, I could still play on my laptop that way. But I don't know, I just tend not to. Anything similar to Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons? Yeah. I wonder what's coming out this year. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't keep track of that. Oh no, I want that. Whoopsie. Okay. But I could make this into a home. I have no idea either. Yeah, that's okay. I was just wondering if like anyone like knew of a good game or even if it's not a farming sim. But yeah, the hype for a wonderful life is really real. Oop. I don't think there's anything else I'm looking forward to like I am that game. I wonder how far someone's put like what's like the record for like playtime for story of seasons friends of mineral town because we're putting a lot of hours into it i'm sure some people play it like they just play hard every day 
and they like the routine of it, you know? Oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. Oopsie. I feel bad when they're like working on it and I just water the squares they've already watered. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'll water this block. Okay, hopefully they can do the rest. I know sometimes they don't, but I'm like, honestly, I've done like three quarters of the water. <laughs> I think you can do the rest. I'm kind of cold. I don't know why. The vent is closed because you usually have the window open. Oh, God. When they say they can help, you still do majority of the work. I know. It's honestly mostly the animals I appreciate them helping with and harvesting because I can't use a tool to do like either of those quickly. Um, I might heal up a little because we're, we're not like at full. We haven't been at full in a while. Ooh. Ooh, I made a, here, I'm gonna open the vent. Get some warm air in here. Okay, that's probably good enough. All right, let's go fishing. It's interesting when we use the teleport stone to get to the beach um because i had read that if you use the teleport stone to get to an area you can't see hard events like it won't trigger a hard event like it normally would if you walked into the beach but that time it did so i was like i really wasn't expecting that Ooh. <clears throat> that is strange yeah so i'm like either that is not accurate or it's not always accurate yeah i don't know i don't know if i've triggered a heart event um just teleporting normally I love our little, like, our little ducky tail. Or, like, baby chick tail, I guess. It's so cute. It's just like, me. Okay, I'll cut the branch. Very nice. Bonito, yum. Hmm. I 
should probably go talk to Lou and Van more. But I always get it mixed up, like, what day they're at the inn. I guess I could, like, I don't know. Whatever. Next time we play, we can maybe make that a priority. Because I think Van will sell you records. Like, I don't get that. I keep meaning to look it up, but I never remember. Come on, pirate treasure. I believe in you. Nice. Yeah. Yep. I just gotta remember to look it up. <clears throat> this might be the longest we've gone without, uh... Um, finding pirate treasure. Oh, shit. <gasps> there we go. See, all we had to do was um, complain about it, and then it would show up. That's all. I do have to run and grab my meds. I left them downstairs, um, and my alarm just went off for them, so... I think once we're saved for the day, I'll just <sighs> just ready to grab it. It's downstairs. Oh, I'm gonna try to fix my sleep schedule today. Wow, it's so weird that I'm going back to class next week. I don't know. Because I just started this program in September. So it's like all new people, like new profs, new school. It just seems weird to be like, oh, I'm going back to that. That wasn't just like a funny, tiki, <laughs> like mini chapter. It's like a real thing. Another one. All right, let's try for another. Another one. Like once we've gotten two, it's now like more worth our time than mining is. At least that's how I'm seeing it. So I'm happy with two. Ooh. Okay, you know what I think I'll do after stream? I think I'm gonna read. I have this book I've been reading, oh, which is pretty nice. I'm, I'm liking it. Um, but I find I'm just like busy or distracted so I don't end up actually reading it. Oh, which is kind of a missed opportunity, you know? Could be reading that. Okay. Oh, this one. Okay, I'm just gonna run downstairs and grab my meds. I'll be like one second. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm really tired. Okay, right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, here's a little med check for anyone else who takes medication or vitamins or something and you've either forgotten to take it or your timer's gone off or something. Yeah. Mm. 
Thank you, Kenna. <sighs> All right, let's, uh... Oh, it's men's birthday. Okay. Let's remember... Oh, pineapples are almost ready. Okay. Yeah, they take forever. Holy. Oh, the sprites are almost done. Ooh, okay. Once I have enough, uh, milk, I think I don't need to collect it anymore. And that would save time. So I'm tempted. Oh, medicine icky, I don't take. Well, I guess it depends on what kind of medicine. I'm, I'm all for like, hey, if it's making your life better or easier, like, yeah. Um, as long as it's not like, I don't know, like I'm not a doctor, <laughs> but, <clears throat> but yeah, but it's also okay to be like, mm, it's not for me, I don't wanna, don't wanna, just doesn't feel right for me, that's, that's valid as well. Gummy medicine tasty. Oh, I love gummy vitamins. I honestly should get some because then I would like take a multivitamin. I feel like I've heard mixed things like multivitamins are great or they're a waste of time. Like I've heard both. I'm like, I don't know what the truth is. Because yeah, if I had a gummy multivitamin, you bet I'd be eating that every day. Yum, 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 yum. I wonder who would be good to ask. I don't know. I feel like whenever I ask my doctor questions like that, he just says what I kind of said. He's like, I don't know. There's research to show both. And then I'm like, well, okay. So that's not an answer. Like, it's an answer, but it's like, I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Does anyone need a. Nope, we're good. Okay. Goodbye. Let's go, water. <clears throat> Theoretically, hmm, I wonder at what point I'll start playing this off stream. Or maybe that time will never come, because like, this is pretty grindy, you know? So it's like, it's, it's fun to still stream it, because we can still like chat and stuff like that. But at the same time, I could like sit and watch Netflix and do this at the same time, you know? Not while streaming, but yeah. I guess it depends what you eat. If you don't eat enough vitamins, um, vitamin might help. If you eat good every day, probably don't need vitamins. Yeah, different for everyone. That's so true. I know. I feel like my diet is like a little all over the place. So I feel like I get enough vitamins sometimes. I've done my duty. I think you guys can do the rest. Oh, but it's Aqua's birthday, right? Wait, no, it's Mint's birthday. Mint's the green one? Okay. You did. Mint, it's your birthday today. Cake and ice cream. It's on its way. Today's my birthday. This is a super nice present. Yay. See? This is what I mean. Eyes open. Even though, even though they're sleeping. Mint was like, I'm embarrassed. I need a good nap under the tree so you can't see me. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna read after. That'll be nice. Like Gandalf! Oh my god, you're so right. That's very true. Gandalf do be sleeping with his eyes open. When do your eyes kind of like get dry? I know he's like a wizard or whatever, but I don't know. Okay, let's go gift the goddess. Let's go fish. Let me think. Let me check my um my little guide because I don't want to miss. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, I don't have any animal breeding to do aside from after the cow festival. So yeah, we're literally just kind of like rolling with it every day. I uh, would we'll definitely get dry and get dusted them. Oh, okay, I got these acrylic paint markers for Christmas and they're awesome. Um, they basically are like markers, but they have like, it's like liquid, well paint is already kind of a liquid. Um, um, they're just great because like when you write with them, it kind of like pools and smooths. So you don't see like lines, you're just seeing like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Um, they're awesome though. And this was so weird, like I was setting up my new bullet journal, so I was like using them and I was like drawing every color in the back of my book so I can have easy reference for them. And then when I went to the bathroom later that day, yeah, they are really nice. I um, I looked in the mirror and they had like a splatter, like very specifically one just below, kind of like in my eyelashes almost. And then one like right on like, I don't know what you call that, um, like the rim of your eyelid, where people used to put eyeliner, but they don't anymore. Um, I was like, oh, like it just splatters a bit when I write with it. I'm like, oh my God, I did not even register it like splatter basically in my eye. Okay. But it, it came off easily enough. And then literally the next day, I continued to work on my bullet journal. I used a similar color again, went to the bathroom, and this paint splatter was in the exact, like, I was like, this already happened. Like, it was literally, like, in the exact same spot, like, on the rim of my eyelid and right in my eyelid. I was like, this happened yesterday. And I remember being very careful about, like, gently getting it out. But the next day it happened in the same... I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was literally so confused. Because it, it wasn't deja vu. You know, you can tell when something's deja vu. Like, it wasn't that. I was like, how is this happening exactly again? Like, how am I holding this pen that is just getting me in the same spot and not hurting me? Like, it easily could have splashed into my eye. <laughs> it, like, basically did. So weird. It was just like... I was like, well, this is such a bizarre experience that's like inconsequential, but really weird. Anyway, I don't know why that came up, but, um, oh yeah, because we're talking about eyes and like forgetting at night. Uh, <laughs> I like cannot, I can't deal with like eye stuff. Oh, I couldn't be an opto like optometrist, optician. I just can't. My eyes start just like streaming when I think about eye stuff too much because they're so sensitive. They're like, no, no. And I'm like, it's fine. You're just watching a show with a little violence or something. Like, it's not that bad, but my eyes can't take it. They're just streaming. Like, um, I have pretty sensitive eyes. Like, I'm, I'm pretty light sensitive. I don't know if that's it. My eyes are just sensitive, okay? But anyway, yeah. Oh. oh my god yeah anyway <clears throat> like someone was telling me this story of how, about how they got like an eye infection and they're going on and on about the story and my eyes just start streaming I'm just trying to casually be like oh yeah <laughs> in your eye <laughs> but I'm not crying it's just like my eyes just can't handle it like it's a neurological thing or something Oh, I started wearing scented in glasses and they were pretty nice. That is nice. I used to wear transition glasses, but I found it kind of annoying. Um, cause mine, like they were fast to tint, but took like minutes and minutes to detint. So if I went like out shopping, I'd go in a store and I'm, it's like too dark and I'm like removing them and then I can't see clearly. And I'm like, Oh, like I found it to be a hassle. So now I just keep like prescription sunglasses in my car and I'm just like switching. That's what you have. Oh, and agreed. Okay. Like, do they work? Like, do you think you get them again or like not really? 
for me, I was like, I don't think I'm getting this again unless they really improve the technology. But not, I don't know, not that I'm aware of. I'm probably due to go to the optometrist. Oh, yes, finally. I was like, oh my god, please. Don't let this be a waste of our time. Probably not. Yeah, they seem cool in practice. Like, I was happy with them, but it, it just became a nuisance, like, over time. Might go back to contacts. Wow. I think I don't, oh, I don't know. I stuff freaks me out. I'd have a hard time. Oh, I keep scratching my glasses. Oh, how? That's a bummer. I would like another pirate treasure, so we're gonna try a little longer. Okay, do you want a second one? Okay, this is our last one, and then we'll see if we get one. Mm. That's okay. Some days we find three, so it bounces out in the end. Keep them as safe as I can, but they still get scratched up. Dang! I think that's what's making my eyesight worse. Because my eyes are adjusting to the scratches. Oh no. Yeah, that would be hard. Especially when it's like so up close. Like your eye might be like trying to focus on that. And it's like not what you're supposed to focus on. Is it Rand's birthday? Yeah, it is. Mm. Rand likes eggs, right? Let me see. What does Rand like? Pancakes! Oh, she fucking loves pancakes. Okay. As well as cake and bomb kuchen. We can probably make that. Mm. Okay, let's start from the top because I'm not familiar with what's here. I don't want butter. Oh, we can make butter. Dang. Okay. Um, I really don't have the recipe for pancakes. Like, it seems so simple. Okay, we need to go get butter. That's fine. Oh, I need to ask the sprites for help. I think they're not all here today. is very soothing. I do like that. Uh, flaw about contacts though is you have to get used to touching your eyes and having cold liquid touching your eyes <gasps> each morning. Wait, what? Cookie, what's going on? <gasps> Are you guys out of feed again? Oh my god. Guys. No, that's so annoying. I feel like I'm constantly replenishing. Oh, frick. I feel bad. Okay. Well, I gotta race to look after the animals. Oh, man. Okay. Get fodder. Make butter. Give gift to Ran. Talk to Harvest Sprites. Those are the things I gotta do today. <sighs> um, other than that, contacts are pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I've never worn contacts. Um, like, I think my eyes 
It was mostly when I started university, they started to go pretty south. I don't know why. Um, maybe from staring at, like, my laptop to, like, study and stuff? Ugh, if there's one thing I don't ever want to do again, it's undergrad. Okay, there's a lot of things I don't ever want to do again, but undergrad was brutal. It's so much work. Huge chore list. I know, it's a lot to remember. And yeah, comfy music. It is comfy. I do want to unlock more music, though. I've tried it playing Spotify while we stream, but it sound, people have said it sounds crackly, which is, like, not pleasant, so... Um, you know. I believe it. I'm trying to think of what you believe it about. I'm trying to remember. It's okay. I just, uh... <sighs> that is a lot to remember. Oh, my eyes from, like, studying and looking at my laptop all the time. Yes, undergrad. Yes. Yeah. I know, it's a lot of work. Not to, like, discourage anyone from going. It's more just like, wow. Looking back, I'm like, god damn. I don't want to have to do that again. You could say the same about high school, though. Like, I'm like, do I want to do high school again? No. God. You know? Some people might feel differently, and that's okay, but... And then, then, I think there's just a lot of things, when you put a lot of work into it, you're like, would I do it all over again? No. Or at least, like, having done it once, would I do it twice? No. I barely passed high school, never again. Yeah. That's really fair. It's also just not for everyone, like... Like, the way that we're taught things, and it's like... I feel like so much of high school and undergrad was like a memorization test. How much can you memorize and regurgitate on a test? And I'm like, yeah, and then it's out my memory the next day because like, I'm just so focused on trying to memorize like a, literally like a thousand facts, you know? Yeah. I, I feel like the program I'm in now is like somewhat different from that, which is nice. Like, it feels like it's more like uh, learning from discussion and we don't do tests, we do like assignments. So it's, that are, and often they're very like personal. It's like a reflection and blah, blah, blah. So it's a different way of learning and I'm liking it a lot more. So you just had an adult, not things we never have to remember in our future. Yeah. It's hard because like some things, yes. A lot of things? No. Oh, uh, where am I going? Okay. I just like got lost for a second. I was like, hmm? What am I doing? Hi, Mucky. See this blue mailbox? Like, I wish I could have my roof match it. Oh, how pretty would that be? But no, that's not a thing. All right, we're stocked up on fodder again. I think we can spare a medium milk to make butter. It will make Ran a cake. Maki is so sweet. Jerry's like, oh shit, there's food in here now. Okay. And I'm like, yes, there is. Uh, this is the, oh, please. This is the butter maker, okay. Yeah, teach me how to do taxes. Like, holy moly. Also, I don't know, taxes are such a weird concept to me. Like, yeah, it's just weird. <clears throat> oh, what is this? Hi, Iris, make us something I'm gonna eat. I've had this event before. Oh. <laughs> Please pardon the intrusion. Wait, did I not save when I did this? Or can this happen anytime? Yeah, taxes are confusing AF. Sorry to drop in on you, but I heard you're a great cook and I was hoping you could make me something. Might I ask you to make something for me too? Ellie, you're a sweet precious angel. I'll make you anything any day. 
Me too, please. I'm starving. Okay, Miranda, is your birthday? This will be a fiercely fantabulous meal, I'm sure. Wait, so this can happen more than once? Because I swear to God we did this before. So yeah, surprise, the whole gang's here. Mind if we sit at your table? It would be wonderful if you could ask everyone what they'd like to have first. Once you're done with one dish, bring it over. No need to wait until it's all done to serve. Sure, you can do no wrong in the kitchen, but this is a special occasion. Please mind a request. Oh, why are they all in your house? I know. So yeah, I know this is a lot to put in your plate, but could you make something for all of us? I don't have that many recipes unlocked, so this is the hard part. I'm sure you are capable. The voices of the spirits have spoken to me, and they say you can do anything. Coming right up. We may as well try. I, this is like a random event that can happen. We will wait here at the table then. Yep, we'll be patient, mostly, kinda. Everyone gets a rag! Yeah. Please be sure to put away what you're holding before you come to take our orders. Okay. We'll be waiting. I'm sure your skills are every bit as splendiferous as the rumors whisper. I have two pages of recipes and I think there's like four. Last time I did this, like, they would ask for something I don't have the recipe for. And you can't just like throw ingredients together like in the original. Like, you can only cook by using a recipe. Oh, fuck. Okay. And you only have one thing of butter. This isn't a restaurant, ladies. I know. I think I love popcorn. Easy. I'll make you popcorn. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, that one I can do. I felt like I was waiting forever. Karen, it took two seconds. Why the attitude? Down the hatch it goes, okay. Moon dumplings, okay, I think I can do that. <sighs> Moon dumplings are down here. That's a Karen for you. Oh my gosh. That's kind of funny. Okay, wait, I know I can make moon dumplings. Can I not? Maybe I just have them from the festival. Is she gonna know if I've made them or not? Like, oh no, that's mochi. Do I not have moon dumplings? I thought I did. The way she told me what she wanted and I was like, easy. And I, I don't have it. <clears throat> don't you get them from the one festival? Like, are my eyes just like, really over the day <clears throat> okay i'm double checking i feel like i've made them before oh they're right here oh oh scared me i'm like i swear to god i've made these <clears throat> they look so good Uh, this is what I was waiting for. It looks so very tempting. I'll be sure to mind my table manners. Time to eat. Okay. Deep restaurant. I want cheese fondue. Ooh, I do have the recipe, but do I have cheese? <gasps> I do, amazingly. Wow, it's using a lot of ingredients. Okay, Brian, I know it's your birthday. <clears throat> oh my god, yay, yes. <clears throat> oh, carbonara. Oh. <gasps> Is that an egg on top? I remembered I can zoom in. Oh my god, amazing. Oh, we can really zoom in. <gasps> yeah, that is an egg on top. Oh my god. My mom made car carbonara once and it was like so good. <sighs> carbonara, yeah. Uh, it's ready, yay. Okay, three for three so far. Get him a billy. Okay. Madeleines? Okay, I can make that. 
Wait, I have the recipe. I don't know if I can make it. I'll use a platinum egg. Um, wheat flour, honey. Oh, I only have one butter. It's what she wants, though. I know I have less platinum egg, but I'm trying to save up the regular eggs. Um, and I get platinum eggs every day, so. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, you were quite the efficient chef. I knew I had assessed you correctly. I give my thanks for this meal. Okay, two more. I am craving tamagoyaki. Oh, my boyfriend really likes that. This one? No, that's okonomiyaki. Oh, he really likes okonomiyaki. Tamak? Oh, this one. Oh, yes, I can make it. Thank God. I should stock up on my <clears throat> cooking ingredients after this, apparently. Wow. Okay, we just have one more to do. Rolled egg sushi. Oh, is that what it's called? It does kind of look that way. It looks so good. Mm, I might have eggs for dinner because I didn't have eggs for breakfast. <gasps> one of my favorites is sushi places. Okay, I should try it then. Yay, it's ready. Thanks so much. I'm going to dig right in. All right, Marie. <sighs> Fingers crossed that's something I can make. Veggie juice. Fuck. I can't make veggie juice. I'm like pretty sure I can't. <sighs> oh, I can. Just joking. Oh, maybe I did get the recipe. I think last time this happened, she asked for it and I didn't have the recipe, but I do now. I'm actually so happy we can make it for her. I love Marie. I married her in one of my files. I think it was the file I played the most in. Goodness, is it done already? You are an efficient chef. Now for the taste test. Thank you very much. That was decadent. Thank you for cooking for me today. It was very kind of you. I hope we can do this again sometime. Wow. Okay, we were successful. I really thought we were not gonna be. I'm gonna go make more butter so I can make Rana cake. Again, hello? Maki. Maki was like jumping at the door. I don't know what's going on. Isn't there an, a recipe for butter? Like, I don't know why I don't have it. Okay. There we go. I love butter. I'm a butter fiend. Pretty much just egg, sugar, and a bit of salt. Um, okay, wait one second. I'm gonna... I want to teleport before I... Okay. Uh, get a square pan, roll thin layer of egg, roll into a roll, pour more egg. And continue rolling until you're out of liquid egg and you have a big rolled egg. Then slice and serve. What the... F I think I need to see a video to really understand it. But it sounds good. Uh, welcome. Okay, it's your... Oh, I didn't even make it! I just made butter. Here's some butter, Ran. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Maki, are you trying to get inside? You're, like, always at the door. You can get inside, can't you? You let yourself in and out every day. <sighs> so she likes this one. She also likes cake, which doesn't use milk, so I think I'll use that. Okay, we're making cake. It is her birthday. <clears throat> oh, look how good this is! Now that I know how to zoom in. Wow, wow, wow. That looks... Oh, that actually looks so good. It's like angel food cake. <gasps> Strawberry shortcake! That's what it looks like. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Whoa, is that a birthday present? E, I'm so happy. I wondered if that would push her to red. It didn't. And that's it. Oh, Lou is here. Back in Forgotten Valley, we've got a whole lot of oddball ingredients. I'm talking cookie, 
they'd shock you. Do you like cooking, Iris? Then I have just the thing for you. I've got a nice little recipe for a baked apple. Ring a bell? All you need is an apple, a fry pan, and an appetite. Wow! Simple and delicious. Talk about living the sweet dream, eh? I love Lou! Wait, what is in there? <gasps> Enhance. Ooh, it looks like caramel or something. I don't think it's supposed to be. What? You need me for something? Lou is so funny. Okay, so I, she's here Sundays. Okay, and then I think Van is Wednesday. Okay, okay. Yes, I was like, someone's here Wednesday. It, it's Van. All right. <sighs> oh, we missed the um the pet shop day, but... Oh, Maki's at seven hearts. Once Maki's at eight, we can buy a new pet. So maybe in the fall. What's the fall pet? Capybara is winter. I think spring is the cat. Summer, I think, is the penguin. So it might be the puppy. Oh my god. I... Okay. <clears throat> Part of my very, like... What do you call that? Uh... No, uh, I don't know music. <laughs> the deep voice I just uh, gave everybody. All right. Wow, wow, wow. We're only a few days away from the, I think, cow festival. That was a success though, that random cooking event. Okay, and we learned like a few new recipes. Um. The store's probably closed, yeah? I mean, like... Yeah, they're closed. All right. I think I will try to regen some of my health. Oh my god, those emotes are so cute. Mm. We're almost at 4.5 million. And we haven't even shipped pineapples yet. Like, we've made... Almost half a million this stream. That's pretty crazy. Wait, were we at 4.2 when we started or 4.1? I don't know. Either way. Either way. Nice. Yeah. Once we're at 5 million, well, there's an achievement. And then we're halfway to 10 million. So there's that. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, let's go fishing, I guess. I don't know what else we would- Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> no, 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 no. Uh oh. Oh my god, please be open. Please, please, please. Oh, shit. Oh, I fucked up. Okay. I don't have any sprites helping me tomorrow. <laughs> That's not good. Oh no. Okay. That's a lesson to me. To never forget. And I forgot today. I did forget. See, whenever there's an event, I'm like, I'm like, huh? Like, I just, I really lose track of what I'm doing. Okay, that's okay. It just means we have to look after our animals. <laughs> if tomorrow the... Pineapples are ready. Go figure. They probably... We'll see. They're probably going to be ready tomorrow. And there's going to be no one to help me harvest them. Uh, that's alright. Oh, a sardine. Cute. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to talk to them. They closed their little shop so early. I'm like, please be open later. That's usually my luck. I yeah, right? I <clears throat> I'm like, oh, it's probably gonna be what happens. Maybe I'll be really lucky and it'll rain tomorrow. Yay! Okay, we found one pirate treasure. Awesome. I feel like finding pirate treasure is like maybe breaking even instead of going to the mine. So I really would like to try to get two whenever I do this. This is probably faster than the mine. It's probably faster anyway. <clears throat> hmm.
Wow, Rand had an awesome birthday. All the girls came to my house. I made them all food. And then she got cake from me. I was so pessimistic and annoyed when they showed up. I was like, because I feel so sad when I like fail it. And they're like, oh, this is not what I asked for. Or they're like, why won't you make it for me? I'm like, I don't know how to make it. I don't have the recipe. So that was like pretty good luck that, I mean, do we have most of the recipes? I don't know. Maybe I have most of them by now. I thought I didn't. I stopped keeping track because I, I was like, this is too much work on top of trying to marry the goddess, like getting all the recipes. So I kind of just gave up, not gave up, but I stopped like actively. Yes. Good, good, good. I was like, oh, I was like, oh shit, it's 1 a.m. Like, I hope that's a pirate treasure. And it was. Is everything watered? Like, please, I did most of it for you and you still haven't watered at all. <gasps> this little patch, stomp. I don't understand. They just can't do it in time? Like, I don't really get it. Okay, they just missed a little bit of it. <clears throat> That's fine, I guess. Maybe we should make a baked apple, because that's like really easy. And then it's like one more thing. Yeah, we have three pages now. One more thing that's easy for us to make. Baked apple. Yay. Is there anything else? It's, I haven't been keeping track of like what we've made before and what we haven't. And the game tracks it but doesn't tell you, which is annoying. So, I don't know. Okay. Well, that was a pretty solid day. Um. Okay, we have to talk to the sprites tomorrow at all cost, at any cost. I'm gonna get wheat flour right now, so I don't forget. He's sleeping. Oh, capybara moved. So I really don't have the sprites helping me. Oh no. Okay, okay. It's. I mean, <laughs> I said I hoped it was gonna rain. <laughs> oh my god! Look at this luck. Um. Like, I messed up one patch of pineapples, and that's where the rock landed. So it. It took out one less pineapple than it normally. No, two less than it normally would have, which is actually pretty lucky. Huh. Well, it does bring us a day closer to the cow festival, so... I'll put a flower in there. It's okay, guys. You're safe inside. Alright, I can go to sleep. I don't think I'm gonna save. I'm just gonna sleep because I didn't do anything. Oh, you know what? Can I use the teleport stone? I've never tried that. I kind of want to see. This is it, right? That was it? Yeah. Okay, wait. I just want to reload and try the teleport stone. Have I tried that? I don't know. Okay, let's say hi to the babies. Is it going to be like, you're crazy? I can't go outside today. Okay. All right. That's kind of anticlimactic, but whatever. Now we know. All right. 
Mm. Zach's still showing up to take the shipment, though. Oh, I was really hoping it'd be raining. Oh, it's gonna be a painful day. So much work to do. Okay. Oh, the Moon Moon Festival's tomorrow. <gasps> okay. I don't know why I'm acting surprised. I like forgot that the day before they'll come to you. Okay, so. I'm just checking my list of who we want to enter. We want to enter Cookie. Oh, this is actually so brutal. Oh, I have so many chores to do today, but I'm going to have to reload. I'm just thinking. Okay, here's the thing. I have three cows to enter. I need them to make gold milk. If they make platinum, I need to reload and enter a different cow because I need to be able to ship both gold and platinum. Um, and if they make platinum right after winning, it means they've skipped gold, which is annoying. So I need to reload. I'm trying to think of how to do this because the sprites aren't here, which means I have to do all the chores myself, but I might have to reload this day anyway. So I think what I'm going to do, wow, this is a lot of thinking at the end of a long stream. <clears throat> I think I'm going to enter a cow, literally skip to the next day, enter the festival and see what the outcome is. And if it's good, I'll just repeat it, but I'll do all the chores today. And if it's not good, I didn't waste my time doing all these chores. I'm going to have to redo anyway. Okay. That's the plan. <sighs> okay. We're entering cookie. Um... There's a very good chance Cookie is going to make Platinum, but I'm kind of taking my chances with that. Oh. Oh. I guess it's smart. It's so much work. It's so annoying. I could let them outside to feed them that. Like, I feel just so bad. Um... I think I literally have to skip to the next day. It's just not worth the time because I'm going to have to redo all of this. Um, okay, hold on. Let me think for a second. Let me make sure my save files are good. I'm going to write this file. At least pineapples don't need to be harvested. Oh, they don't? Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, that is really good. That's actually a huge relief. I totally thought they were going to need to be harvested. Um, they probably will tomorrow. Um, but that's okay. Okay, so breed Kofina. I still need to do that. <sighs> 7. S18. Okay, that's the file I need to reload. I just wrote it down so I don't get confused. Here we go. I'm not going to save because I'm just going to keep playing. If we make gold, that's great. Um, and animals can't die in this one. I know that sounds kind of bad, but they can't, so I'm gonna, oh, I actually want, I'm just gonna read a really interesting book. When does the festival start? I'll just do it again. <clears throat> oh, wait, I didn't even read that. I didn't know they could die in previous ones. Yeah, and this one, in the original, they could. Um, I just want to, like, get this over with, because I'm going to replay it anyway. Like, I'm not saving. Like, I'm not going to talk to anyone. I'm just going to do it. I'm not reading the dialogue because we're just doing this to see. I have to remember to feed Cookie though, so that they make milk the next day. And we win. Okay, I mean, that's expected. But it is a good thing. It's like, yes, yes, okay. Rainbow's Cookie! Okay. We'll, we'll, 
I'll read through all this because we've never, no, we've won this festival before, but we're, ha we're doing this all over again, even if we make gold. So <clears throat> yeah, I already have that trophy because we've already done this with the, our fruit cow. Okay, let's go feed Cookie. That's Creme. That's Millie. Cookie, where are you? Cookie. You're a champion. There you go. All right. Okay, and then we're not saving, we're just going to the next day and we're going to see what kind of milk Cookie produces. Okay. It feels really weird to not- AGAIN?! <sighs> this game is really fucking with me. <laughs> no, because now Cookie's not going to make milk tomorrow. Oh, this game is fucking with me so bad right now. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I hate going this forward this far in the future when we, like, haven't saved. Okay. I'll try to milk cookie. I don't think anything will happen, though. Okay, I think Cookie's gonna be over here probably. Okay, we'll try. I don't think it'll work. I think the game is like, yeah. No. Okay. This is so much work. We have three cows to try out. So if Cookie makes platinum, it's okay. We will just reload, submit a different cow, try again. Okay, I fed Cookie, right? Oh my God. It doesn't show you if you fed them. All right, I'll just. Oh, this is stressing me out so bad. I don't like, I've never put myself this far in the future without saving. My pets are like, what are you doing? I don't need to be stressed about this. This is okay. We're just gonna see what happens. All right, Cookie, moment of truth. Took like five days. I think that's, it's gold. <gasps> really, I'm shocked. Oh. If it storms again, oh my God. Uh, yeah, for real. The game knows, I know. Wow, I'm shocked. I really thought we were gonna have to use, like Cookie, of the cows I have that have eight hearts, there's three of them who I could enter in the contest and would win. Cookie's the oldest one. So that means I was letting them go outside, but if they're outside for a thousand hours, they'll make platinum instead of gold, which I don't want to happen. So I recently stopped letting them outside, but Cookie had spent time outside. So I was like, well, let's try Cookie first. Um, and then we'll see, like, because the younger ones wouldn't have spent as much time outside, if any at all. I just want to double check the shipping log. Like, is that what it looks like? Yeah, milk gold. Okay. Wow, I'm shocked. Okay, I'm gonna make a note that Cookie is the one. Cookie is the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm amazed. We had two backups. I was like, I'm not going another festival where we win platinum instead of gold and we have to wait another year. I was like, that's not happening again. That's happened to us before. And it was so annoying. Um, okay. I'm, I'm relieved. I'm really relieved. The thing is now we need to redo all that. Um, 
the two typhoons that was wild okay i'm just thinking like let me just like i'm confirmation in case i doubt myself okay all right it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay we know that now so cookie is going okay And part of me is like, let me think about this for a hot second. I'm looking at my animal list. Yeah, Kofina is, is our coffee cow with eight hearts. She's younger than Cookie, so she would have spent less time. Freesia was like, I think a baby, but I'm actually gonna end, yeah. Oh my god I'm hmm like I'm wondering if I should submit the other animals just to confirm that they'll make gold but I'm kind of like mm, I don't know about that chief that's like a lot of work and I think I have enough confirmation like that's the thing the game won't it won't tell you how old they are or like who was born first I'm pretty sure Fresia was a baby. I could enter Fresia just to double check. Hmm. I could do it to double check. And it'll just speed through the days again. Just because I can't remember how old Fresia is, like. I wrote down that Kofina is younger than Cookie, but I didn't write information about Fresia. I think because Fresia is a baby, like was a baby when I did all this, so I didn't like feel the need to write that down. Like the rational part of me is saying like, you don't need to do that, you know, but the other part of me is like, are you going to be worrying? So maybe I'll just do it. I'll just do it. We can speed through the days again and it'll be fine. Okay, so here's what we did. We slept. Moogie shows up the next day. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, we have to sleep again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I should just save that day, but I, I kind of don't want to fuck with anything right now. Let's just do what we've done. I think we don't need to do this, but I'll, I'll just feel better. We'll have the confirmation. Okay, I'm literally just gonna go to bed, go to the festival. Yeah, go to bed. Yeah. Oh my god, this is a whole thing. This is what this is what it entails marrying the harvest goddess, I guess. This is these are like the little tricky parts to it. Um Okay, I can read a book to pass the time. Uh three hours, that's fine. Um Let's go. Let's let Fresia win. Fresia should win. Right? Fresia had eight hearts. Yeah? Yeah, because Fresia was my backup. Okay. Well, my third backup. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what? Starting at 10? I was like, bro, what news are you going to drop on me right now? We'll just wait a little minute. This is good. I'm glad we played this far because now we know. Oh, and it is like a way off for real. <laughs> it is a way off. All right, let's just do the festival. All right. Oh, what was that? Just my phone, it's fine. wins amazing uh 
All right. Okay, and I need to go feed. This is the weird thing. They don't feed your animal on the festival day. Like you just, I just always assumed that they did. So then it's annoying, like, the next day they won't make milk. And it's like, what? It's like, oh, because they didn't feed you? Okay. All right, now we can go to bed. It might be a typhoon again. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of random. Okay, and then we're going to see what milk... Oh, it's not. Okay, okay. Awesome. We can just go check. Yeah, that didn't take too long. For a little more peace of mind, yeah, worth it. Imagine Fresio makes platinum. I'll literally scream. Build a festival for set animals and don't feed any of them. That's messed up. Right? I agree. Yeah, it's gold. Okay. Okay, I just gonna write this down. So, um, this is year four, right? Okay, year four, Cookie, Kofina, Brescia, Gold. Yay, okay. So that means when I enter them in later years, I'm still never gonna let them outside. Oh, I don't know, okay. Anyway, stop. Um, I, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Okay. We're going to enter Cookie, though, because Cookie's the oldest one, has spent some time outside, and I just want to get that, like, get that done, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it's a typhoon. I'll talk to... Happy Barb. Okay, we're gonna complete this, like, this day, uh, this festival, and then maybe we'll wrap the stream there, and I think that's a really good place to leave it off. Okay, we're entering Cookie. I think I don't need to breed my other cows then. Like, if they were making platinum, that means I need to now, like, submit. I need to breed a different animal who hasn't spent a thousand hours outside and enter them in the festival instead. But because we basically just got confirmation that the others are fine, like, I don't think I need to breed them any further. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I need to. Like, I could if more years are going by and they haven't made plot, like, they haven't made X product yet. Because then it could enter more in the festival and that, like, doubles my chances. Like, if I have more animals producing platinum, that increases my chances that they'll be producing an X product. Hmm, oh, man, I don't know if that's worth it though. Because once they're all making platinum, I'm literally just like reloading each night um, to see who makes platinum or not. Okay, I'm caring for the animals today. Very tempted to just let them all outside, but I think. I think I don't want to take my chances. Like, I just feel safer not letting them do that. I don't know why the game did us so dirty with like some of these mechanics. Oh. <sighs> but we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm feeling a lot better now that we have this confirmation. So glad we pushed through for that. I mean, I guess I'm holding on to this army as well. A thousand, like, here's the other tricky part. A thousand hours outside is kind of a lot. 
So how am I gonna get that? Like, I'm gonna be starting from zero by the time they're all making gold products. I could just honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Oh no. Okay, now I need to milk everyone. Okay. Oh wait, no one needs to be milked because it was a typhoon. So no one's making anything. But I do need to brush everyone. Okay. I think I hand fed everyone. Okay, I have to not forget to talk to the sprites today. Oh, <laughs> it'll be so annoying if I forget. I think we'll be okay. like when I entered it was like my angora rabbit into the fluffy festival which kind of works the same way um where like they make gold or they make platinum like I I used to always let my animals outside on nice days and I was like shocked that this rabbit was already making platinum and they skipped gold like I couldn't believe it so maybe a thousand hours outside really isn't as much as I think it is because it's not a thousand real hours, it's a thousand, like, game hours. Wait, let's think about this. If we play ten hours, twelve hours a day... Um... Here, I'll just use my calculator, it's a little easier. Okay. Twelve hours a day. If I let them out for twelve hours... Um... Like, I'm doing a thousand divided by 12. That's only 83 days. That's like less than three months to get platinum. Like, to spend a thousand hours outside. Oh my god, that's no time at all. Okay, I don't need to worry about that. It's fine, it's Gucci. I don't remember who I talked to. All of them, apparently. They still make eggs. I'm confused by that. There was a typhoon yesterday, wasn't there? Yeah. And they still have eggs. Like, I'm so confused. Oh, easy peasy. Okay. We are on our way. <sighs> I, like, I came across this page. Um... It was like, oh, guide to marrying the harvest goddess. I was like, wait, why haven't I seen this? Because I, before I started this, I really did do a lot of research. But there's no, like, here's when to breed your animals. Like, the animal breeding is very, like, you kind of just have to figure it out on your own. There isn't a clear guide. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And then I saw this guide. It's like, it's like, oh, we'll walk you through, like, each of the requirements. I'm like, oh amazing like incredible yes please because it's difficult to figure it out and they they're like you need to ship every item in the game <laughs> anyway next requirement i'm like okay this is why i didn't remember this because it's not helpful like maybe for the other requirements it's helpful but shipping every item to me is by far the most difficult it's the most difficult if you don't intend to play the game for like 10 years like if you're just like, well, we'll see what happens, like, sure, fine. But I'm like, no, I'm trying to, you know, I'm not speed running it, but I, I don't want to take, like, you have to be in year five to marry her. So initially I was like, yeah, let's do it year five. Like, that was my goal. That's not happening at this point. It's going to be like year six or seven, which is okay. Maybe six, maybe six. Um, where was I going with this? Anyway, I don't know, I just kind of laughed because I was like, oh, okay, you just like, this guy just glossed over the most difficult part of it. <laughs> like, helpful. Uh, slash, like, not helpful. 
Oh yeah, I'm watering this whole field. Okay, it honestly won't take me long. But yeah, anyway. I was thinking, pretty much, yeah. Um, I was thinking when, well, I don't know. I would really like to marry the Harvest Goddess like this year, like 2023. I think we can do it. I think we can. So I was thinking I might make a, uh, I don't know, I might make a YouTube video being like, here are hot effing tips for marrying the Harvest Goddess. Like arguably the most difficult marriage candidate in this game. She's more difficult in other games to marry. Like DS is wild. It's wild. And someone's done it. Like they were streaming it. I was like, what the heck? I didn't know how difficult it was at the time. But someone told me the requirements after and I was like, okay, maybe I should stop complaining. I hope I don't sound like I'm complaining. It's more just like, I don't know, it's difficult. And I, I knew it was going to be difficult, but anyway. Yeah, I might make a video because I feel like that'd be kind of... I haven't like recorded... Hmm. Huh. There's only so many requirements. I'd never... I, hmm. Maybe I should have been clipping. No, I think I've got every moment. I at least have screenshots. I forgot it's 2023 now. Yeah. It's a wild time. It's 2023. Um, okay. It's harvest sprites. Harvest sprites. I have to talk to the harvest sprites. Um, I need not forget. I'm gonna like keep all these eggs because I used a lot of them up. So yeah, that's my New Year's resolution. Just joking, it's not. Like, it's like, it would be nice. I, I would like to try to do it this year. Because we're, we're well on our way. We really, really are. At this point, it's a grind and that's it. Like, it's, it, it's just grinding it. Um. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. How's our honey situation? I'm gonna top it off. <sighs> I'm feeling really good about the scalp as the wool. Okay, let's go ask for help because we need it badly. I kind of want to be a little more strategic about like blueberry and plum are the best at watering. Oh, aqua's very close as well. These two are good at harvesting. I kind of want to get Aqua focused on harvesting though. Because watering is easy. Like I just did it all in no time. But I would like someone watering it a little every day. I do need to alternate pumpkin and cherry. And I think I've learned to have them alternate by a few days. Cause they literally had a one day gap in between them. So I got totally screwed. Cause it was like, oh, I forgot to ask for the help for one day. Like I left no room for error. So I'll come back in a few days to ask the others for help. I think I'm gonna do Aqua and Sunny for harvesting. Okay, Aqua, Sunny. Wait, is that what I said? Or did I mean Mint? Yeah, Aqua and Sunny. Okay, I'm enlisting these three for help right now. Okay, that's how we'll do this. Can you mass harvest in the game? Uh, I don't think there's a way to mass harvest. I wish, if there, if there is, oh my God, maybe there is and I don't know. I don't think so though. Harvesting is the, is the like most time consuming one because there's no tool. You have to do it like one by one. Yeah. And then these two are going to harvest. Okay. Harvest for seven days, yes. Okay, and then 
plum, I'll ask to help with watering. There isn't really a logical way to do this. Um, maybe... Maybe I'll ask Cherry. Okay, and then these three will be left. So water, harvest, animal. Okay, that doesn't seem... Doesn't seem too bad. All right, and I'll, I'll gift them all. I should talk to the other ones as well. Okay, we're back on track. All right, and then I didn't talk to them, so I'll talk to them. Didn't talk to Plum. Okay. Easy. Done. Bye. Alright. Let's go gift the goddess. Ooh, thank you. Okay. I'm gonna replenish our stamina a little. That adrenaline from like, oh my god, I really have to focus on figuring out this cow thing. I don't want to lose track. Um, really got me into my like third wave today. Third wind? Oh, third wave. Ew. Yeah, third wind is what I meant. Thank you. You're so kind, Donna. I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Usually I stream for like maybe four hours, like three to three to five, I would say. But I really like I'm starting class again next week, so I don't know if I'll stream because I might be feeling like, whoa, that was a lot. Um, so, yeah, I really wanted to squeeze in another like lengthy stream just to get us some good progress going hmm. okay let's go fishing and then tomorrow's the cow festival oh yeah we're doing good we're doing good am i missing someone's birthday i don't know let me check i'll check quickly Oh, Kai is on the 22nd. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, I was like, it hasn't been Kai's birthday yet. <gasps> Pirate treasure, first try. Don't overdo it. Yeah, I definitely, I used to stream two to three times a week back when I was working. But once I started school, I was like, whoa, <laughs> I don't have time. Like, I can't keep this up. So it dropped to once a week. And then like, there were lots of weeks where I was just like, I have like so much to do. I don't really have time. So I feel like I'm pretty good at, um, I guess, managing. So yeah, next week, I, I usually like tweet or, um, we do have a Discord, by the way, Kana, if you want to join. Um, it's, it's 18, or no, 18 plus? Yeah, so I don't know your age or anything, but it's 18 plus. Um, anyone 18 plus is welcome to join. Um... So yeah, I post my like schedule every week. I usually try to keep it the same, but it's more like, am I streaming this week? And if so, just confirming that the time is the same, you know? It is usually Thursday nights, um, but Thursdays might be busy days for me this term. So I don't know, I, I have to see how it goes. We'll see what happens. But yeah, definitely past 18. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> it didn't start as 18 plus like we made it 18 plus kind of early on because i don't know it just feels a little more like 
Hmm. Yeah, just feels a little more comfortable, like knowing everyone is like not a minor. Another one, yes. There, there are some people who like who might still be minors in there, which is okay. Like I, I wasn't gonna kick them out, but I was like, okay, moving forward, like I think we'll we'll have it be eighteen plus. I think that's been a good call. It is a tough one though, because I'm like, ugh, I don't want to like actively exclude anyone. I think it is just one of those things, like, and just being conscious of like, I don't know, it's just so weird. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Give us one more crown, one more crown. That actually wasn't that horrible. Like we had to do all the chores today. It takes a, if you're the, doing that every day, oh, it really does like add up. But one day of doing chores, it wasn't as horrible as I thought it was going to be. One more crown, baby, one more crown. A boot. All right. We tried. We tried. Well, we got two. Two is pretty good. I'm like fairly confident I did water everything. Okay, so I need to be careful about my save here. I don't want to save over that one. I know it should be okay, but I just want to like err on the side of caution and really not over save that one. Just in case I fucked up. Like, I don't know. We'll save over it once we're good. Like, but yeah. Oh, it's Wednesday. Van would have been at the end. Whoops. That's the thing. I can never remember. And then I was like, oh, it's Thursday. And I forgot to check. It's like, I just keep forgetting. Okay. I think we are going to wear our cow costume. You know, just getting theme for the day same um oh i'm trying to remember what i was saying that you're saying same about um oh like you're not gonna save over yeah like not saving over until we're like so certain we've locked in the gold because <laughs> oh that'd just be brutal it's a year gone to waste honestly like not gone to waste but it adds a year because the festival happens once a year you can only enter one animal and there's four different types of cows, so you need every type of cow to win. So yeah, it's a whole thing, but it's okay. We're we're plugging through. We're we're making a hat and can. Today Wednesday. Oh, today's Wednesday. Oh, it's the festival though. Um. Okay, but can we go? Will he be there? we could check doesn't hurt to try maybe he's not into festivals who knows I want to stock up on butter but I'm gonna do that later okay and even with watering we still weren't ready to go today okay. did I give the goddess yesterday I don't know I don't know You did. I did? Okay. Thank you. That's, um, that's good. That's good to know. I, cause sometimes there was like a time where like, she like dropped a friendship note. I was like, what the fuck? Don't I talk to her and gift her every day? But I think I had like forgotten to for like a week or something. I just like, I just didn't remember to that session. So I'm always like wondering if I did. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. That is helpful. Okay. I'm actually going to stock up on the platinum eggs because I have gone through them with the cooking. How are we doing? For okay. We need more food. Let's water. Is 
The repetitive definitely makes everyday mash together. Yeah, that's so true. That is true. I know, because I'm like, did I do it two days ago? One day ago? <laughs> when did I do this last? I don't know. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna like settle in with the book after this. The book is kind of related to school though, so I wonder if that's gonna keep my brain up. Kind of like it did last night. I had a hard time sleeping. I don't know. Whew. School book. Yeah, it's like, it's not a book about school. It's a book about like the profession I'm like going to school for. Um, so it's like, it's good, but it might be too, um, like when I got into school, I was so excited because I, I tried like for a few years to get in. Um, and then my going away gift from my my colleagues at work, I was so surprised, was like an Indigo gift card, like Chapters, which is like the main bookstore here. So I like treated myself to a bunch of like recommended books for entering the profession. Um, and I have this like really nice aesthetic bookshelf of like, oh, you know, all these like books I can read. But I'm like, well, maybe I should read them. Maybe they should do more than sit on my shelf. So. I, like, uh, but I, I did buy them out of curiosity. Like, I do want to read them. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, I need to wait a few days before asking them for help. Um, I'm going to go give the goddess. Go see if I can, if Van is at the end. Because that'd be cool if he is. If he's not, that's okay. I've gone many a year forgetting to visit him at the inn, so it's fine. Okay. Uh, we have time. Maybe I'll go look for more pink cat flowers. I'm not sure why... I'm not sure why I love pink cat flowers so much. I don't know. Their name is just so feminine and cute. And also it's like a really pretty pink color and they kind of look like um like they're big but they remind me of lily of the valley like the little like the little cups oh i buy lots of language language books that's exciting um okay i have two questions oh the uh, gentle pink color unique shape yeah i know it is really nice um okay i was curious like how many languages you know but also if you're learning a language right now oh it's locked we can't go okay that's all right i'll just walk it's like a foot over here okay i think we did what we can today i could fish but whatever okay we're probably gonna win um i've decided i don't feel like reading everything because this is our fourth year doing this and um yeah i do have all my vods on like youtube um so that like the whole mary the harvest goddess journey is like captured somewhere so i i don't think you're missing much by me not reading the dialogue like yeah okay Cookie's gonna win. You know what I just remembered? Um, and we're matching. The winner is Rainbow's Cookie. Well done. Congratulations, I knew you could do it. Oh, fluently English. Okay, currently learning Korean and Japanese. I know a little Spanish, but that was just scraps of knowledge left from high school. Yeah, that's fair. That's me in French. Like in Canada, we take French class. 
Um, I really wanted to become fluent, but it was just like really hard to keep up once I started university. I um, am only fluent in English. I feel like it'd be fun to learn another language. Like maybe I could try to learn French again. Yay. <sighs> um. Yeah. Japanese would be cool. I've always wanted to go on a trip to Japan. But I don't know, I've never traveled to a country where like English wasn't the official language or one of the official languages. So I've never had to deal with like a language barrier before. That might be tough. I mean, people do it, so not to say that I couldn't do it, but. Oh, I... Hey, you did amazing, Blueberry. Keep up the good work. I will finish it up. You don't worry. You don't worry about that. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Cherry. All right. So I have one guy water. I pick up on languages easily, but if I don't use it on a regular basis, then I forget. So I kind of slow down learning. Yeah, that's the thing. Like when I was learning French, I was like, honestly, I'm never going to use this like outside of class and I'm like busting my ass, like trying to not fail my classes. Like maybe I drop French. So that's what I did. It looks like they watered everything but that, so that's that's good. I could go fishing, but I kind of want to just like kind of just want to move on, you know. If you go to South Korea, you can still easily get around without knowing the language. Oh, lots of signs are in English and Korean. Ooh, okay, that sounds. A lot easier like hmm maybe you should go to Korea as well mm -hmm. Maki I love you okay now I'm gonna save I'm not gonna save over that one I think I'll save over this is like the night before the festival I don't think I'm gonna need that one But I do need to go feed. I need to go feed Cookie, I almost forgot. Um, when paying for Metro to move around, they have big English button that's hard to miss. Really easy to use. Okay, great. Ooh, that is good to hear. Cookie is probably over this way. They also have maps in English at every ticket station, so you know where to get off. That is really helpful. Wow. Dang. That's good to know. Alright. I'll just save over that one again. Whew, I'm feeling hungry. I'm feeling tired. Let's go get that gold milk and then we'll, uh, maybe we'll finish off the day. Like the hand maps you can take. Oh, yeah, hand maps. <gasps> oh, the pineapples. Their first harvest. Like it took three weeks for them to start growing. That's so much. Don't forget to get some sleep. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna try to not stay up too late tonight. Cause my sleep schedule's not that bad. It's more just like school's like 8:30 in the morning. Maybe that that sounded so windy of me, but I'm just like, oh, that's rough. 
Okay, let's get this done. Yay, we did it. Back to the gold milk. Hell yes. Okay. So early. I know, right? It is early. Yay, Cookie is a champion. Jurian is a champion. So Fresia will be up. I think I'll do Kofina next. And then Fresia. Yay. All right. Oh. I'm trying to save up that milk still. Almost same time as my work. Do you, um... You mentioned Walmart before. Do you work at Walmart now? I'm, I'm like, I'm just curious where you work. You don't have to share if you don't want to. Um, but I'm curious. All right. I used to work at Walmart. Oh, now I work at Food Lion uh, in the bakery section. Oh my gosh. Ooh. How do you like that? Or not like that, I suppose. But I hope you like it, but if you don't, I mean, that's all right, too. It sounds nice. It sounds fun. Oh. Okay, gotta go buy rabbit feed. Oh. There's a lot to do. Um, okay, rabbit feed. Hmm. I'm just thinking for a sec. So I have this gold milk. I need to ship it. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I was like, whoa, what if in like just a, a day from now, Cookie starts making platinum, but I'm not letting them outside so that can't happen. Okay. Okay. Ooh. It's fine. Okay. So we're going to ship the gold milk. That'll be off the list. But I also need to do the gold cheese. So I might, but butter is not a shippable thing, is it? Because it counts as a recipe? Like, is butter on this list? I'm looking. I don't think you have to make like gold butter. No, nah. that's not a thing. You do have to make gold mayonnaise though. Um, I might just hold on to it. Like the success is there, it's done, but that might, I, okay. You know what, maybe it's just easier if I just write it. Um, so the cookie's done. Uh, I need to make gold cheese is next. Okay, I need to remember to do that. Walmart treated everyone like a non-living robot with no soul. Food Lion actually treats us like living beings. That's good. My manager knows I'm a huge introvert. So every now and then she'll give me three to four days off in a row to recover. Oh my God, that's so nice. Wow. It sounds like they really uh, respect you and want to make working there as like feasible as possible. So that's great. Wait, why am I coming over here? I mean, I'm already here. I'll give the goddess, I guess. I need to go help with the crops. <sighs> and then we're back to the farm. And the water. Oh, this is easy for me to water because they won't have started this yet. Hello? Is the sound okay? Something just sounded weird. Now, if only I paid enough to move out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Living at living at home can be that can be tough for sure. I know. If only I paid a living wage. Even like at my previous job, like I made pretty good money. Um. Like, rent was never affordable though. Like. 
I think in Canada, what's considered like affordable housing is if it costs no more than 30 to 35% of your income. And that's never been the case for me. Even though I had like what was considered like a good paying job, like, I mean, I, at least I had enough money to like, okay, I can pay rent. It's costing me half my income, but at least I could do it. But still like, I don't know, that frustrated me so bad. Cause I'm like, oh, I worked so hard. I went to school all these years and I still can't really, I can afford rent, but it's not technically affordable. And I can't afford a house, like a down payment, like. Anyway, I know lots of people are in that boat, so it's not like it's just a me problem, but yeah, it is rough. It is rough, but um, I don't know. Like, I'm fortunate that I was able to still, like, you know, live away from home and stuff like that, so I don't know. I hope that happens for you someday soon. Hmm... Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like something's really got to change soon with like our current, like society slash economy. No, I don't want to be all doomsday, -y. like it doesn't have to be doomsday though, but I, I just really think like, we really do need change, like, like housing is so unaffordable, like people, inflation is like really out of control, like something's got to give, you know? really doesn't help when you don't plan on having a significant other oh so you're like you're not like oh we'll I'll have a second income that will help someday like that's not like not something you're looking for do they think they can do it on their own i'm kind of curious to see how much they can do kai's birthday's tomorrow okay oh i've got so many i do need to go buy chicken feed I'll ship this for now. Oh. Like, there's 30,000 right there. Dang. I could teleport. Yeah, I'll teleport. It's just so much easier. I need all the chicken feed you got. Okay. I need to buy. Oh, I need to buy chicken feed. Like, a lot. I'll just buy 200. How much does that cost? It's only 2,000. I'm just gonna buy three. Yeah, it's only 3,000 gold. Oh! Thanks for stuffing my pockets full. God. I mean, I did buy it. I did ask for it, but I'm like, I forgot they do that. Dang. All right, well, anyway. Hmm, I wonder what I'm gonna eat after this. Uh, I plan on just having me and my pets, but can't afford living for just me alone. And living with friends that might have significant others online? Oh, seems kind of unstable. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that is like a tough, it's tough to try to plan that out when you're like, well, I could have a roommate, but then what's going to happen a year from now? Like, that is really tricky. I will say my one sister, um, like she moved in with her boyfriend who had a roommate, but they get along so well that even when they decided to move again, like they just all move together and they still live together. And it seems to work really well for them. Um... I know that's just like one case. I guess I just mean to say like, I don't know, maybe it is a possibility, but I can also understand the like uncertainty around it. Yeah, it's great for them. It maybe wouldn't work for everyone. Um, and who knows? I know my one sister, like I have a lot of sisters. <laughs> maybe I'll go look for pink cat flower because I really don't have much. Um, yeah, lived with roommates for, like, several years, even though she had, like, 
a long-term boyfriend, like, I don't know. You never know what could happen. Pink cat flower, pink cat flower, please, please, please. Where are you? Ooh, two. And that's it. Okay, what else did I need to do today? Um, how... Yeah, I want to wait another day before asking for their help. Um, just to give more, like, buffer time. Mm. Like, the overlap is good, because then it's, like, doubled up, but... Oh. I'm just trying to think. What else do we have to do today? We bought chicken feed. We got the gold milk. I'll see how much they can harvest and water on their own. We'll finish that off. And then what? I don't know. That might be it. That might be it. Alright, I'll just finish this one. Okay, I'm gonna talk to them all as they leave. Oh yeah, Aqua's new at the harvesting. Maybe I'll water first because it'll be easier to see like, oh cherry. What if they have the numbers online as to how many squares the sprite cover in a oh period of time? Yeah, I wonder too. I, I've had people, I heard one person say, like, if you want them to do a huge field, you need, like, every single Harvest Sprite doing it. I'm like, I really need sprites to look after my animals, though, because that is, like, really repetitive and time-consuming, and it's, it's just hard to keep track of, like, wait, who did I talk to? Wait, who did I, like, because they move around and stuff. Um, so I need at least two doing that so that they can alternate. I watered these all. Yeah, that might be good. So yeah, I was like, I can't literally enlist all of them. Um, I know harvesting's hard, like... I should maybe start transitioning. Like, I'm gonna have these three committed to harvesting. It's been pretty manageable as of late. There were times where I was like, staying up until 5 a.m. and not harvesting all of them in time. But I think I'm in a good rhythm with it where it is quite manageable. Um, I think we're gonna call it here. We've really done a lot today. We won the Fetch Fest. We got the last Power Berry. <gasps> Look how clean, 10 Power Berries. Uh, we also won the Cow Festival. We know the three eight heart cows are all going to make gold, and the one of them is. Um, we've made really good progress, yeah. I, oh, and the cooking event that happens. Like, I, to I totally thought it was not going to go well, but it went really well, so. Yeah, I'm going to save over this one. I think we're good now. Ugh. Oh, this has been a long stream. Um... Yeah, I really appreciate you guys, you know, spending time with me, whether you're lurking or you're in chat. And we did do Animal Crossing. Yes, we did a design a cafe spa, which was kind of cute, kind of fun. Um, I'm going to plant my socials here. It's got Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Oh my God, YouTube. Okay, so right now. Yeah, no problem, Canna. Thank you for chatting. It was, it was so nice meeting you today and, like, getting to know you a bit. Um, I love chatting with people about the game and, like, I don't know, other games and stuff like that. So, oh, my God, and all the desserts and stuff. That's been so fun. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to complete a couple YouTube videos and, like, have them go live maybe next week. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to stress myself out over it. Um. But currently our YouTube has like all my VODs and like clips and highlights and stuff in playlists that are easy to watch. Um, and we do have a Discord, so yeah, feel free to follow or not follow. Like it's, you know, do what you want, but that's the best way to find uh, updates and things like that. I'm going to 
look for someone to raid, but I just want to say thank you again. I really appreciate all of you. Um, and I hope you do something kind for yourself and oh, enjoy the weekend coming up. And if you're going back to school, um, yeah, good luck. I hope it goes well. You, you get off to a good start. I'm also really hoping I am able to get off to a good start. Um, yeah, we made super solid progress today. Okay, I'm going to see who's online. If you guys have suggestions, feel free to let me know. We can pass on the cozy vibes to someone else. Um, let's see who is live. Mm. Oh, okay, we're gonna raid, um, how long have they been live? Okay, not too long. Good, good, good. Um, we're gonna raid, they're called Wormy. I'm trying to remember what game I found them through. I don't know, but they, they stream really like cute, cozy games. Right now they're playing the Unicorn Princess, which I remember they described on Twitter as like um, a horse girl game, but it looks really cute. I'm not a horse girl myself, but it does look really cool. Um, let's see. I do have some raid messages. That is the sub one. Here's the followers one. I'm probably gonna raid and run because I could use some food and I kind of want to like decompress after a long stream. So yeah, I will see you over there or not. No pressure to use the messages or participate in the raid. Um, but if you've got this going on in the background, I just like raiding to pass on the love and also like if you have it on in the background, it's not just like abruptly ending, like it's gonna continue. Um, yeah, have a wonderful night. Yes, everyone, you as well. Uh, Kana, it was Kana? I'm trying to remember how I've been saying your name. Um, I'm so bad at that, but um, yeah, really take care. It was so nice chatting and I hope you guys all have a great day and everything. So we'll chat again sometime. Bye-bye.